like a pair of fairies. Won't so we? So nice. Plinkety, plinkety. Oh, plinkety, Christmassy. Plinkety, plinkety. Plinkety, pling. Do you know, today, Christmas Eve, I think it's the first time I've actually read those. <laughs> I don't remember seeing them before. I mean, they've been going on all, all months, but oh, yeah, uh, we, we're just too, Are you ready? We're too busy dancing, aren't yes. we? Yes, yeah. Um, so yeah, oh gosh, yeah, Alan, sorry. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> Alan, who makes those amazing VTs. Um, yeah, sorry, I've only just read them, Alan. <laughs> Um, but they are very lovely. Yes, they it's are. Claire McDonald. Oh, good morning, morning. Look, everybody. I feel bad now. I haven't got beady boppers. Oh, you can share these. You can have. No, them. no, they look really lovely <laughs> on you. I would never steal your beady boppers. Never. I'll find oh. something. Don't okay, worry. Okay, we'll find you something. I'll find something. Yes. Even if it's that big bow sticking on. Yes. My head. Something yeah, like we'll that. We'll do that. Uh, happy Christmas Eve, lovely jewelry makers. Are you ready for what will be a really, really, really wonderful, wonderful morning show? Oh, oh there's so much, Claire, isn't there? Do you know what I've got? Yes. I've got bare copper. Yes. At nine o'clock. And then I've got sterling silver at the, in the masterclass. And it's, it's textured sheet. And it's like spinner fidget rings. There's a new tool. Brand new tool. Liver of sulfur. So, oh, we're going to get smelly. Yes, we're going to get really stinky. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Claire, in, like, in, in, in the lead up to the show, was just, was just telling Finn and Dan about how stinky liver of sulfur Yes, is. I was trying to prep them. Because I think, yeah, until you've I smelled don't, it. No, I don't think they fully expect no, how bad it's, it's going so to good. be. It's so good. You'll have people walking past the Joy Maker studio. Like, Ooh. <laughs> so. um, yes. Hey, don't blame me. <laughs> who's, who's been on the sprouts early? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, she went there, didn't I? Yeah, genuinely. You know, I said I was going shopping, food shopping after the show yesterday. Right. Um, you know, I was literally psyching myself up yeah. in my car and once I eventually got a space. Um, trying to find a trolley. There's no trolleys. So I'm following, literally stalking people as they leave, leave, leave to steal their <laughs> shop to steal their trolley. And I found one guy and I was like, oh, he's got whatever it is in boxes. That means he's going to unpack it nice and quickly into this car. And he didn't. Um, anyway, so I followed him. I was like, can I borrow your trolley after, well, you know, once you finish? He said, yes, yes, of course, bless him. Um, and he would have been probably, I don't know, 80, something like that. His trolley, I'm not even joking, not a single other item of food, one of the deep trolleys, was full to the top of sprouts. He just bought sprouts? Just sprouts. Oh. Nothing else. Just sprouts. Oh. I know. Oh. I mean, I like sprouts, but that's that's taking it that's to a lot of level, sprouts, isn't it? Yeah. A full trolley of them. Anyway, yeah. thank you very much for letting me have your trolley after you. So, yeah, that was exciting. So, some people just like like sprouts. Yes, they are lovely. They are nice. They are lovely they are nice. and how, very funny. How do you cook your sprouts? Uh, I'm going to do them with some um, a bit of uh, like bacon bits and um, what's the nut thing? Chestnuts. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Bit of butter. Yeah. Salt and pepper? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't recovered from the mince pies I did uh, yesterday. Oh, I didn't They, they were a bit pie. odd. What do you mean odd? Well, they, uh, I don't know. They didn't, they didn't look like mince pies. So, oh. yeah, we'll see. Oh. Yeah, so, so when, did you, when are we having those then? Uh, no, uh, well, it was for today, <laughs> but I'd be way too embarrassed to, yeah. I'm only joking. To bring them in. <laughs> Um, right then, let's get cracking because you have got an amazing show, as I said. You've got um, some beautiful cabochons. You've got some amazing, amazing jadeite deals. Your deal of the day today is simply stunning, and we're going to take it to a brand new low price. But kickstarting the show as we always do, um, it's your fabulous creations in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Starting us off this morning, um, a lady of huge talent. Oh, she is, yes. I always admire lovely. her work on, uh, so uh, on Facebook. Hello, yeah. Margaret Gibson. This is oh, your beautiful hi. creation. Oh, love her. She is lovely. Oh, Look at her bag and little boots. And the little arms and legs. 
How amazing is she? Margaret says, this week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a doll that I bought from a Christmas market booth in Stockport Town Centre. Um, I didn't make her, nor is she made from jewellery maker stuff. However, the matching necklace, bracelet and earrings are mine and all jewellery maker items. Um, good luck to all the Waffers and happy Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas to you, Margaret. Oh, it's lovely, Margaret. I love Christmas. that. And you and coordinated it very well, that colour Perfect. I like a furry dress too. Yes, yeah. And a little boots. Lovely. Um, number 262, again, an, a, another lady wow. with amazing talent, is um, our Julia Tinsley. Hello to you, Julia. That's, That's beautiful. Yeah. Is that tiger's eye, I'm going to say? Um, hi, all. Uh, JM, here's a simple necklace using beautiful tiger's eye cabochons I brought from you some time ago. Merry Christmas to everybody, both at JM Towers and all to, uh, to you at home watching. May you all have a wonderful Christmas, full of happiness with the uh, ones you love. Ah, oh, Julia, and to you, darling. Happy Christmas and That's New Year. That's gorgeous jewellery. It's stunning. I love those cabochons. Uh, 263 is from... Um, in fact, should I pass it over? Go for it. This is from uh, Susan Wright. Wow, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that wire work. Mixed media. Um, good morning, Bauble Buddies. I have made this um, macrame wonky heart as a present for a friend who's having a rough time right now. Ooh. Fine Eslon, uh, a faceted fasciderite and Mayuki seed beads from JM with a recycled pearl. Happy Christmas to all the JM family. Even if we're watching alone, we're watching together. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, wishing everyone a sparkly festive season and a hugely creative 2023. Oh, that's Aww, a lovely season. Beautiful. That's really nice. And send in love. Work, send in lovely. love to your friend as yes. well. And and you're so right, you know, it we we are, you know, all together. Yes, aren't we? We, are. we are all yeah, together. We are. Uh, and then I've got uh, 264, and this is Kayla Newman. Wow. Lovely, look Kayla. Look at those. Hi. Hope everyone is well and has a wonderful Christmas and New Year. This is a piece I made a while back whilst trying to learn pearl knotting with these beautiful pearls. Huge hugs to you all. And that's from Kayla. Ah, oh, wonderful. Happy Christmas, Kayla. Uh, and then I've got 265, and this is Trisha. Wow, look at that. It's oh, beautiful. that's a beautiful bauble. Really nice. Love the colours. Yeah, like peacock eyes, isn't it? Um, this is a bauble that I beaded with JM seed beads and glass beads uh, from my stash. Wishing everyone at JM a happy and peaceful Christmas. And that's from Trisha. It's beautiful, Chris uh, Trisha. That's really lovely. Love isn't it? that. Ooh, Be just hung colours. proudly on your Christmas really tree. Lovely. Thank you for your entries. And well very, done, very good luck because we will be doing, of course, the draw on Wednesday. I've lost complete track of what day of the week it is now. Sorry. It happens, doesn't it? Well, as soon as Christmas arrives, I, I immediately switch to dates. It is Saturday today, isn't it? Is it? Yes. It's Saturday yes. today. Yes. Yes. Um, but over Christmas, I only do dates. I don't do days. No, I don't yes. understand yeah. where I am. Um, so that will happen on Wednesday morning, whatever date that might be. Um, OK, we're going to open the box as well in the 12 o'clock hour. Is that right? Yes, in the 12 o'clock hour. So the last one. Goodness me. Goodness me. Where's this month uh, gone? I know, it's flown by. And Russ has said, uh, if you pop along to all our website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, um, there I am. Yep. <laughs> um, looking like I'm dancing. All the deals are loaded until nine o'clock, so you can shop ahead. Ooh, um, I like those points. Yeah, that beautiful Ooh, nice. early bird, by the way, your Burmese jadeite bean oh, pendant. Ooh. I know, the Amazonites, you've got beautiful Sioux light in there. Uh, Aragonite, oh, how nice. My favourite um, it is the biggest grandage right I've ever seen. 4.6 carats in a faceted round. How beautiful is that? And some of these items will be going even lower. So you can shop ahead. You can guarantee your success. And um, even if you check out nice and early, everybody will uh, secure that final low price tag. Amazing. And do come and text in. Um, yeah, tell us what you're up to. You know, what does your Christmas Eve involve? Are you done? Are you sorted? Are you frantically tearing around the shops? Can you literally just sit home, uh, sit at home with a nice cup of tea, feet up, making jewellery? I don't know. What does it involve? Because I do know, like Michael Wolfe yesterday, left it all to the last minute, didn't Did he? Did he? Oh, my God. He had, like, he had some, like, 17 presents to buy last night. Last night. I was like, I'll be stressing. I'll be so stressed. Um, OK, so without further ado, should we get cracking? Yeah. Shall we? Um, are we starting with that beautiful bean pendant? I was going to say, that's the early bird, isn't it? Um, so you can shop ahead. It is going a lot lower. First time that we've ever brought you um, the little pea pod. 
which is hugely symbolic of family, by the way, the pea pod. Oh, it's so um, nice. It's sweet, isn't it? Yeah, really yeah. lovely. Really sweet. So very, very symbolic, the little peas. Never had it in white before. We've had it in the green, but never in white. Look at that. And it's ice white jadeite. Um, at nine o'clock, remember we said yesterday... Oh, yes, the last remaining quantity of the most incredible bangle. And Caroline messaged into the show. Um, here it is. Mm. We're talking about type A Burmese jadeite and the fact that you have got both, well, a multitude of colours in actual fact. You've got a really strong lavender saturation. You've got beautiful greens. Um, you've got 360 carats. If you're lucky enough to already be a custodian of this amazing piece, can you do me a favour? Will you message into the studio? You can do that via the website. Um, Caroline did it yesterday. I've never seen a jade out bangle like that before. There That's are amazing, literally nine it? left. It's coming up at nine o'clock today. We're going to do that, Claire. It's amazing. It's, have it? you ever yeah. seen no, those colours? Never. It's never. so rare, so rare. And I'm going to say it's so valuable um, because of the extreme rarities of those colours. So mm. there's only nine available. Um, OK, shall we get cracking with goldstone oh lovely in some tumbles you don't expect to see goldstone in tumbles do you because it is a man-made uh, uh treasure i almost want i want to say gemstone it's technically i suppose it's not a gemstone although it doesn't have to be natural to be classified as a gem in accordance to the gia um but you don't expect to see goldstone in tumbles because i don't think i ever have no because they're in rounds and cabochons but that that's a really nice shape isn't it and that's because obviously tumbles they're all sort of quirky original shapes mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, you, and as a man-made component, you've got to make them all different mm. and quirky, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. Don't ever see it. It's really beautiful. Um, you get these wonderful little suspensions of beautiful, almost star-like inclusions internally. It works so beautifully with sea beading. Um, it has absolutely, absolutely become one of our favourites, I think, here at Jewelry Maker, because visually it's so striking, isn't it? In the studio, we're looking at it at its worst possible light. When you actually get Goldstone outside, that's when you really see those wonderful performances, those beautiful sparkles. Now, we're at twelve ninety nine, Claire. Is that Christmas Eve price point? Yeah, it's OK. It's OK. It's you don't okay. sound convinced. I, well, I think we could do I think better. we can do better as yeah, well. Yeah, that's better. How about under ten pounds? That is better. Six ninety nine. Yeah. How about under five pounds? Is that a Christmas Eve price point for yes, you? It yes, is. yes, I think so too. What a way to start your Christmas Eve morning. Happy Christmas, everybody. I hope you're well. Um, I hope you're looking forward to the celebrations. If you're spending it with us, then you're going to have the, an amazing Christmas show. I know I've seen the lineup. It is incredible. Oh, okay. Yes, it looks fantastic. Incredible. So, yes. Um, yeah. So do pop along and say hello to uh, Susie and Zena tomorrow. And Roscoe. Roscoe, you're going to be here, aren't you? Yes, and Dan's going to be here. Aren't you, Dan? See you in Christmas with, uh, with our lovely audience. Um, yes, exactly. Exactly. So there's no one I would rather spend it with. Oh, amazing. Yvette, hello to you, Kim, Jacqueline, Mary and Jerry. Hello to you, new customers, County Dome. Congratulations to you in 17 seconds. We are going to take it under five pounds. How many do we have, though? Oh, we got quantity. Oh, was that your top then? Oh yes. Yeah, sorry, was, was that... it really noisy? No, you I just, I like just... Velcro. Yeah, sorry, that was my top. What it's, does Santa's hat do it's if you push it the other way? It turns. To... Well, I thought oh. it was a slice of pizza for years, but it's not. It's um, it's just like a clown hat. I thought that's nice. Pizza. It looks. Oh, it does look like pizza, like that, yeah, like a pepperoni it? pizza. Yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. But yeah, it's not. <laughs> Switch it depending how the mood takes you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, whether you fancy a Santa hat or a pizza, pizza. slice, whichever. £4.99. pence. You know, you can wear it all year round if you're <laughs> yes. wearing a pizza. Yes. Just, yeah. <laughs> she, just, <laughs> she just loves pizza. Why have you got pizza on your jumper? Just love it. Just right. love it. Who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't love? Particularly pepperoni. Oh. OK. Yes, that's a really good texting topic, Ross. Ross is saying, what do you love that you would wear on your jumper? Dogs. Yeah, uh, yeah, dogs has got to be up there. Yeah. Particularly particularly our dogs. Yeah, our dogs. And if they had, a, like, a squeaky noise, oh, what would our yeah. dog sound like? It depends, doesn't it? Like... <laughs> <laughs> or, oh, 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 oh. that's what our dogs sound like. They're slightly broken. <laughs> uh, 60 seconds on your screen, not going fast enough. It's, it is Christmas Eve morning. We need to get this activity and excitement brewing. Yeah, come on. It's, I know it's only quarter past eight, 
This is our first auction of the day. We rarely ever see Goldstone in your uh, in tumbles, full of sparkle, like a beautiful Vincent van Gogh sky. Yeah, it is Starry Night, Ross. I'm amazed I haven't burst into that song. <laughs> Would you like me to? Uh, mm. He went, mm. starry, starry night. Oh, I, f I get my um, paint wobbling. Paint your palettes blue and grey. I can't sing that. Look out on a summer's day. There you go. There we are. There we are. There you go. That's lovely. And there it is. Did you like that, Claire? Did, yeah. It's really one of my nice. favourite songs, that yeah. is Vincent. Aww. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let you see what I mean? It literally looks like your Goldstone, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It literally does. That's maybe what Vincent van Gogh's inspiration, probably the other <laughs> way around, but never mind. <laughs> um, do you think it was my singing that inspired Vincent van Gogh? Possibly. It's highly likely. Oh, uh, morning, everybody. <laughs> good morning, lovely jewellery makers. £2.99, pence. lots of multi-buyers saying, might as well snap up a few of them. Even if you just restranded them, Claire? Yeah, definitely. And I think at that price as well, I'm seeing some multi-buyers because it would be lovely as a twist, wouldn't it? Mm. And a full full necklace. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. In amongst some lovely seed beads, I think would be yes. really pretty. Just yeah. to really highlight that gorgeous starry, uh, the starry inclusions within. Kim snapped up two. Emma's got three. Sally Ann's got six. Karen's got two. Mary and Jerry have got two. Jacqueline, Julie. Remember, these deals are only available until nine o'clock um, because you're on a lounge hour. Um, do you know, do you know, when you say it out loud, a lounge hour, how, <laughs> it just, I don't, it doesn't make me have, what does that mean? Lounge hour. You're lounging. It should be like, like well, you can't no. lounge, that's the thing. You oh, can't yeah, lounge. so it's the opposite it's then, isn't it? Opposite. So right, it's the opposite. Oh, it's the don't lounge hour. Don't lounge then. hour, exactly. Don't relax. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, you've got to check them out, otherwise yeah. these deals will disappear from your basket. Well done. Um, Oh, the pendants. Can we do the Amazonite? Because it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that colour. Isn't it stunning? I actually picked this up when I sat down this morning. It's so pretty. Literally suspend it from a sterling silver chain or um, or, you know, or, or leather. I love that size. I know we've done them before, but it's like, this is lovely. That's <gasps> silver as well, Claire. Oh, gosh, yes, it's sterling, isn't it? Yeah. That is beautiful. Ross is saying I'd wear that. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be great on a charm bracelet too. Should we do it in two price crashes? Look at the quality of that Amazonite, completely natural. A member of the Feldspar family. Oh, um, they say that Amazonite continues to, uh, will glow at sunset and sunrise. Oh. Um, a wonderful, a wonderful tropical colour. Oh, and it's the milk tray, man. <laughs> the squeaky shoes. <laughs> Adam's just, Adam, Adam's just walked in. I realise he's all in black. He looks like the milk tray, man. Or oh, because the lady loves the tray. <laughs> climbing through, you'd be climbing through windows. No, that's Santa. No, don't. <laughs> Santa doesn't climb through windows either. Nine ninety nine, but we're going even lower. It's Christmas Eve. Why not? Forty nine seconds. Forty eight seconds. Oh, yeah. Um, as if we're going lower than this, though, Claire. I know for something so low and it's so on trend, isn't it? I really like that size. I bet you Pandora don't do nine ninety nine Amazon night charms. I bet they don't. I bet they don't. I bet you the likes of Monica Veneda, who loves Amazonite, by the way, doesn't do 9.99 deals. No. And it's very precise, isn't it? Very precise yeah. tone. Can I say something? Yeah. And some of you might roll your eyes. I know Claire will. I know she will. Uh, Claire, yeah. get ready for the eye roll. Ready? I'd get him now for next Christmas. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Milk tray man will desires as well. And 9 99 and we're going even lower, though. It's not going to take up a lot of space, is it? Look, you'll thank me next Christmas. <laughs> you'll thank me. It's not going to take up a lot of space. <laughs> or just because presents or, or birthday presents. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? 99 And, you know, I, I think I would, um, I'd have that with other things as well. Maybe, like, a, a large pearl or another silver charm and, like, layer them up. Be really tactile. Mm. Move nicely. Flair. What? Yeah, I just thought I'd roll my eyes. Oh, go on, do it again then, let's see. <laughs> oh, when I, when I do it, it does a... With my <laughs> Your bucket. beady pocket. Yeah. Oh. It's not quite... <laughs> It hurts me now. The beady boppers go, go mental as well. <laughs> Six ninety nine. Cheryl Dawn, Yvette, Victoria, Linda, Buckinghamshire, Maker, Vera, hello to you, Maker, Maker, Dawn. Um, a lot of multi-buyers. Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, lovely jewellery makers. 
Um, how amazing is that? It's so pretty, isn't it? And I think this size, if I hold it against my wrist, look, it'd be really sweet on a, on a charm bracelet. Word. You know, we do those really nice sterling yes, bracelets. Yes, the big link ones. Yeah. Yes, yeah. How nice would that be on there? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I didn't think it could get any better. It, I know. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. You should see the oh labyrinth. Oh my gosh! Um, what did what did Ross just say? <gasps> he says I'm going to match the price. How beautiful is oh. that? How beautiful! Labyrinth, the Heathcliff of gemstones. It's got a darkness and moodiness, oh but a romantic side as well. And look at that. That's got clarity as well, hasn't it? With Ooh. that one. That is, and they're siblings. Together. Yeah, well, they're sibling gemstones, aren't they? They're both members of the Feldspar family. So that I think they need to be together. Don't you think? Yes. Need to be together. Look at that labyrinth. So uh, labyrinth is a phenomena gemstone. What that basically means um, is it produces a beautiful optical effect. Can you see that flash of blue? Tiny microscopic platelets within this gemstone will capture and play with the light to give you that wonderful phenomena. Um, isn't it pretty? It's so pretty, that yes. Is stunning. Alongside maybe your, uh, your Amazonite, I think, would be mm. very sweet. Um, yeah, it's stunningly beautiful. Look at that labyrinth. How many have we got, Roscoe? That's incredible. 56. I asked that because I know, A, I can see all the multi buyers, but also I know how popular labyrinth is, not just with our audience, you know, um, globally. This is, and I can see why. It is a really, it, it's a striking gemstone, isn't it? And it's one of those, Mark was saying yesterday that Andrew, he doesn't, he's not much into gems, but he loves labyrinth. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Loves labyrinth because, yeah, I can see it. it's fascinating, isn't it? Um, hello to you, Nikki. I got two of these labyrinth points. They're beautiful. They are, aren't they? And I don't blame you for getting two. I, it's one of those opportunities that if you only got one, you'd regret it, wouldn't you? Aww. At 6 99 I've got just over 50, or rather I had just over 50 opportunities. They are 925 sterling silver as well. It can be a sweet little pendant. It could be a lovely little charm. Um, beautiful. beautiful. Yes, well. that's true. Look at that. Look at that stunning. labyrinth. Absolutely stunning. And Nikki, I will message you back. Just had a very, very full on week. You have I been prom busy. <laughs> I she's promise been, I'll um, message she's been you back. A very busy, 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 busy. Because uh, you're in on Boxing Day as well, aren't you? I am, yeah. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Lots of lovely Claire Spending over Christmas. Spending Christmas with everybody. Ah, are you going to wear your beady boppers then? I might do. Yeah, why not? I might do, yeah. Why not? Um, look at all those multi buyers. Well done. These are actually very close to selling out. Good morning, Gabrielle. Hello, darling. Hello, oh, Teresa, hi, Linda, Vera, Victoria. Hello to you, London, Cheryl, Linda, Caroline, Jacqueline, Annie, Yvette, Christina, Mary, Janet, Susan. Well done. I'm missing you. Might roll your eyes, Claire. Roll my eyes again. Right. No, 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 no. Well, you can if you want. Um, <laughs> but you, know, not gonna, you could start your Christmas draw nice and early. Oh, I'm there. definitely rolling my eyes at that. That's not going to happen. I, so I, I'd say, oh, yes, that's, I know that's a great idea. But, but then something happens between that great idea and then actually doing it. Oh. I don't, I don't, I, yeah, it just goes awry. I'm going to just get you a big box. Yeah. I'll decorate it up. Yeah. 2023 Christmas. Yeah. Claire's 2023 Christmas. But if I got that and put that in that box, I'd get that out and no, have it for can't. me. you can't. You can't. You can't do that. You can't do that. Oh. Once it's in the Christmas box, it's in the Christmas box. Well, you'd have to look after it yeah, then. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, thanks. Fair enough. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Um, now, coming up, first time ever, first time ever, that you're getting the opportunity to get hold of the beautiful pea pod in your hand. These are master carved, hand carved um, in one of the most valuable gemstones in the world. And even more than that, it's actual ice white jadeite too. So we've never done white jadeite in your pea pods. Very symbolic, by the way, of family. Your family, basically. It's so nice. It's so sweet. I love it. We've had it in the, uh, at the apple green, but never in the white. You can shop ahead. It is going lower than the price point that you're seeing on the website. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love these. I find them really endearing. Like I said, it brings it, it just conjures up images of your wonderful family. Um, okay, let's do what? Sorry, Thulite. Oh, the cabochons. Oh. These are so pretty. These are love. I've, I've worked with these, and they are so nice. The colour is beautiful. How many are you getting? Oh, is this two separate examples? Right, I get it. I get it. I get it. <gasps> So here's one example. So it says you can get between uh, three and seven. 
pieces, but you are guaranteed 160 carats. Look at that. Oh my word. I know, I've got, I've got Marquise, I've got some drops, I've got a really beautiful natural thulite. You've got a wonderful trapezoid. Sorry, I have to say that word, I love that word. Um, look, we're at 19.99. Thulite is named after a mythical, um, a mythical town. Oh, really? It's a mythical town. When they first discovered it in Norway, so this is from the original place of discovery, um, they believed there was a, a, a town, I think, called Thul, and they've named it after that. Oh. There you go. 1999. The quality of these are absolutely unbelievable. We are... I'm going to say it out loud. Should we take Thulite, what a gemstone we really rarely ever see, a beautiful shade of pink. Should we take them under £10 today? Um, hello, Miss Janet saying, happy Christmas Eve, girls and Team JM. Aww. Settled in for a lovely show, an excellent... Um, do you mean demos? <laughs> <laughs> there are a few demons, Miss Janet, yes. There are quite a few demons. I'll try not to let them, you know, be too loved, out there. Don't you just love typing? Though. they're so funny and so they? accurate as well Miss Janet <laughs> thank you no yeah. no, no. Uh, <laughs> very Christmas looking forward to your excellent demons yes looking forward they're to those bless you Miss very Janet yeah, demos they will be amazing in the nine o'clock hour I assure you of that goodness me they were at 6.99 Goodness that's brilliant, me. isn't it? Yeah. And for, for such an unusual colour, I think, as well. And, you know, you think how that, you know, that's going to work stunningly. It with. reminds me of, like, a sorbet. If you look at the um, the bare copper that we've got coming up. So the lovely thing that you can do with the the um, the copper is you can make it sort of the really rich, those rich sort of browns and golds like that in the coppery colour. Or you can make it really, really pink. So if you wanted to set it and have so something like that a little bit pinkier. Oh, nice. Look how nice that's going to work. Yes, yeah, like a rose gold. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. beautiful. I'm, I'm clinging to this heart because I really like the heart. It's really nice. I've get... never seen that. It's gorgeous. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely stunning because you've got, look, you've got that size as well, that shape. Not All different nice. shapes, basically. Like I said, we guarantee the carrot weight. Um, you'll get between three and seven of these. So how amazing is that? Uh, Michelle, Vera, hello to West Sussex. Cheryl, Gabrielle, Christine, Jacqueline. Uh, morning, Kayla. Morning, lovelies. Um, hope you all have a great Christmas and year ahead. We're all sorted. Chinese tonight. <gasps> Lol. Oh, yeah. Um, also, that little fox is way better at home. Um, oh, you're referencing the jadeite fox, aren't you there, Kayla? Happy Christmas. Christmas, darling. Oh, do you know, um, Merry Christmas. I think a Chinese is something we tend to do on Christmas Eve as well. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. The fox is adorable. So reiterating what uh, what Michaela actually just said, just so you know, there's only two left. Um, and you know the lotus bee next to it? There's one left of oh, those gosh, at twelve right. ninety nine for Type A jadeite. There's loads and loads and loads of amazing deals. Um, the labyrinth sold out, the jadeite rice bead sold out. <clears throat> There's less than five of each of the jadeites that are across your screen right now. Um, yeah, there's some Ooh, limited, limited opportunities Look at some of these well. things. I know, wow. Beautiful. beautiful. That's stunning, by the way. Thank you. Um, shall we do the Aragonite, which is this really beautiful yellow? I love this colour. That is lovely, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Nice. It's, got, it's got a look of um, amber about it. It has actually quite, of, quite, yeah. quite um, a, a waxy luster. Yeah. Yeah, These um, are really nice. It's, I'm chuckling because my father-in-law, we FaceTimed my, uh, Tom the other day and he was saying, he's like, I oh, tuned in now the other day. He's like, you had your uh, posh voice on. I was like, I don't talk posh on here. What are you talking about? He's like, you do. You start, you know, you start trying to be a bit posh. I was like, I don't. Have you ever watched me for any length of time? And, and he was like, yeah, do you want to know one of your posh words? I was like, go on then. And he went, luster. I went, no, that's a, you can't throw that one at me. That's a gem term. I can't, I wouldn't say it every I guess day. It's how you, oh my yeah, gosh, you, your hair's got so much luster. <laughs> I don't say that, do I? <laughs> do you have to say it? Could you say like luster? Luster? No, you, you're, you've got like a, like a bit more oh, of a growl. You, don't you chirp up now like as a, well. <laughs> luster. 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 I was like, oh God. Luster. Um, but there is an amazing luster to these. That's that reflection, yes, just is. in case my, my, my lovely father-in-law <laughs> is watching. That's the reflective surface on the top of the gemstone. That's not an L-ism. That's a gem-ism. 19.99. Look how beautiful that beautiful yellow is. I, I, and you it's don't see that colour. 
Oh, it's, it is very mm. amber-esque, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, but in sizes that you, you know, wouldn't you wouldn't usually get would you that size size in amber no so absolutely not again with the bare copper would be beautiful. yeah i was gonna say can you pass me your, yeah your, should your we have a look copper? i think it would be beautiful with that you're sort of orangey mm. yeah it's like this and they're like sweets aren't they yeah <coughs> excuse me oh look at that it's gonna go perfectly with your kits that are coming yeah, up later will. all it of really the kits will. actually whether it be yeah. the copper or the silver, silver yes um, we don't see it very often it's going under 10 pounds i reckon this is going to be um like a first time maybe introducing this gemstone to many people's stashes yeah, i don't think i've i don't think i've, I don't think I've, I've had, had it, it either yeah. i don't think i've found you know get your aragonite here yeah under 10 pounds today did we say under 10 Oh, no, it's not under 10. Wait, 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 it's not under 10. It's under five. I know. First time ever acquiring Aragonite? I, well, it would be for me anyway. It's beautiful. I, and I'll be honest, I'll be completely honest. I know very little about Aragonite because we don't, don't see it. No, I don't think, no, I don't think I have. But it's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. And you think as well with your, you know, your plated, you know, your gold, your, your copper uh, wires, your, so your gold plated copper wires, mm. um, your rose gold is going to look lovely with that too. Oh, I love it. Perfect for your wire, mm. wire workers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, with your uh, antique bronze, I think oh, it would look yes. lovely with yes. as well. Yes, it would. Yeah. What about and, things and like your pearly seasons. wires? Yes, we haven't seen those for a long time, have no. we? Yeah, that, that pearlized wire would be nice. Four yeah. pounds and ninety-nine pence. I reckon. Text in if you are. Um, is this your first purchase of Aragonite? Because it would be for me if I was if I if I was able to shop with you right now. This would be the first purchase mm. of Aragonite that I've ever had, and I've been collecting gemstones for many years. Um, hello, Linda in Bedfordshire. Yeah. Morning to my favourite two ladies. Oh, bless you, Linda. Okay. Um, started my countdown to retirement in April, oh. so stocking up now at these fantastic prices. Uh, Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas to you, Linda. Oh, Merry and Christmas. And how wonderful you retire in April. Yes, that's going to be amazing. Oh, you'll be able to join us every day then. Yes. How good's yeah. that? Yeah. Good oh, for lovely. you, darling. Good yeah. for you and well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, amazing. Yeah, well, I promise then, Linda, we'll bring you as many, as many pre-retirement deals as we possibly yes. can. Um, have you got Aragonite? Because I don't. I, I don't no, know. I don't. No? And it is. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. I might, I might even say, I love amber, don't get me wrong. I think I'd choose Aragonite over amber. Mm, I like the markings in it. So, yeah, yeah it's nice. Me too. Shall we do? Oh, hands down. I love it. The biggest grand digerite mm. that we have ever seen. Bar none. Bar none. Firstly, can I just explain that grand digerite, I know that lots of our regular viewers know this, so do bear with us. But just in case there's obviously new people tuning in, um, this is a gemstone that is in the top 10 rarest in the world, is also in the top 10 most expensive in the world. You don't have to take my word for it. Look at Forbes. They do a list regularly um, updating it. And I reckon as well, the updated version will actually, a grand digerite would have jumped up a list. And you might be thinking, how does a gemstone move up a list in terms of its rarity? Well, supply and demand, firstly, but there's no supply. Grand Digerite is mined out. The only location that was unearthing this gemstone, and that's Madagascar, is gone. So if you consider yourself to be a collector or a connoisseur, you, there really is no better time than right now to get hold of Grand Digerite. I, I love this gemstone, um, and I buy it not just because I think it's beautiful, I buy it because I have children, and I know that they probably won't ever be able to get hold of it if it wasn't for this, these connections. Mm. This is the biggest I've ever seen. It is certified. It is round, brilliant cut, which is just uh, incredible. <clears throat> Natural. The quality is, again, if you look at the photograph on the Forbes list, and it'll say alongside it, $20,000 uh, $20, per carat, you'll notice it's not the most eye clean. This is not a stone that you are, look at, are looking for diamond-like clarity. You should expect, if you like, a level of translucency to this gemstone. Um, we rarely ever see it faceted. It's normally in cabochons, and that's because it is so astonishingly expensive 
to cut facets is well considered quite wasteful. Look at that. Uh, uh, do you know, Claire? This mm. this is worthy of an 18 karat gold mm. mount. Yes. Yeah. With the finest quality diamonds, maybe haloing it. Can you yeah. imagine that as a finished piece Absolutely. of jewellery? I'm just going to turn it this way as well, so you can see. It's it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Those of you that are regular um, with us here at Jewelry Maker, how often do you see faceted grandid right? Not often, is it? Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning to my two favourite giggle girls. Uh, what a stunning colour! First time I've ever seen this gemstone. Do you know what, Jacqueline? Look, look take a little look at this, darling. Isn't it beautiful? Are you talking about the aragonite? You're talking about the grandid right now. It could be either because they're both mm. stunning, aren't they? Mm. Um, but here it is, Forbes. And this is probably a bit out of date. I reckon Grand Digerite could have jumped up that list. Um, but Grand Digerite, number three, and this is the most expensive gemstones in the world. Mm. So it's uh, on, in this article, number three. But look at that. Look at that. Look, look at the level of translucency. It's not completely flawless and eye clean. You've actually got a better quality here in the studio. You remember what I said, how you never see it faceted? Read this. It's a final paragraph, and I think this four stands for fourth in terms of the rarest. Bearing in mind there's, there's, there's 4,000 minerals on this planet. So, Grandidier is number four. number four. The gemstone was named after French explorer Alfred Grandidier, who studied the natural history of Madagascar. Grandidier was discovered in 1902 in southern Madagascar, where you're sourcing yours from right now, and a new Grandidier deposit in Madagascar was just discovered in 2014. It's now mined out. Grandidierite gemstones are often translucent with a bluish green gemstone, hardly seen. Um, now, just look at the color I have on the back of my hand. So uh, with a blue green color, hardly ever seen. That's what you have here, mm. natural blue green. Grandidierite is pleochroic and can, can transmit blue, green and white. Can you see the flashes of white? Oh, it's just incredible. It's very resistant to scratching, hence ideal for jewellery use. Due to its scarcity, faceted stones are very rare. I am holding one of the biggest grandidurites, mm -hmm. 11 millimetres in a faceted round brilliant cut. Can you see now why I absolutely Consider, and you might be thinking, well, I'm a jewellery maker, Al. I don't work with 18 karat gold. I get it. Listen, neither do I. However, this is something that at some point I would, this is only my mind, um, of course, and you, you might think differently. I would at some point take this into a goldsmith's and say, this is the design that I want to create. Mm, mm, I want it in 18 mm. karat gold. I'd like it to have accenting diamonds because that is the luxury that we're getting here. That is the rarity. There is no grand digerite coming from the ground right now. We're not going to mess around. We're going to go to one price crash. And, it, and, and please, 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 please know... It is no reflection of the true value or worth. Forbes themselves, $20,000 per carat. And you saw the example of the stone. This is actually a better color. It doesn't have a big black inclusion in the center of it like this stone. This is a stronger blue-green color in the one that's on the back of my hand right now. It's embarrassing at 99 pounds, quite frankly, but nobody needs to know that's as little as you paid for it. It's a natural certified grandid, you're right. You've got all the specifications on your authenticity card. Absolutely, this is the kind of piece, the kind of gemstone that you could, you, you could put in your high, expensive, precious metals like, like your mm. platinums and your 18 mm. carat. I get that it costs money. Now, remember, you only have, I, I've only got three left. Also, also, um, it's only available for, what, 22 minutes now. It will disappear um, from uh, anyone's basket uh, come nine o'clock. Unbelievable. Well done. Oh, I tell you what, what a show. I know. We've only just started, Claire. Do you fancy some black oh, diamonds? Oh, yes, please. Remember, oh, your peas in the pod. Put a black diamond, then a peas in the pod. How beautiful would that be? Just one little black diamond on top of your white oh, pea of pods. Oh, beautiful things this morning. I know. First time ever bringing you natural type A white jade uh, pea pod. Just one black diamond on the top mm. of that. How beautiful would that be? And um, remember at nine o'clock as well, we have the last nine of that incredible multicolored type A jadeite bangle. 
Um, this is astonishingly rare, astonishingly collectible, and something that you should definitely, definitely get valued. Nine o'clock, and there's only nine chances, so make sure you're quick on that one. Um, okay, let's bring you some top quality black diamonds. Look at these beautiful faceted cubes. 1.85 carats. I mean, seriously, at £299. I bet you haven't popped into any diamond retailers lately and seen almost just shy of two carats um, of black diamonds for 300 quid. It's not going to happen, is it? We just did something really ridiculous, didn't we, on, a, on, on Grand Didurite? Should we do something absolutely ridiculous on black diamonds? Yeah, why not? Why it's not? Christmas. It's Christmas. We've got sausage rolls. We've got beady boppers. You know... Let's do it. Let's do black diamond deals then as well. I'm going to move over a bit so I can... Oh! <laughs> well, I moved over so that I could see the price. I know. 1.85 carats of black diamonds for £49.99. And pence. You know, look, 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 look. Really? Ross's friend has just, can I say that? Uh, Ross's friend has just bought a, a, bought a what? A 1.3 lab grown diamond, decolourless VSI, lab grown though, 1800 pounds. 1800 pounds. Wow. We're bringing you genuine mother nature black <clears throat> diamonds for 49.99 goodness me and they're top quality as well with a black diamond obviously you're not looking for for brilliance you're not, you're not going to see inside the diamond um but you are looking for luster and you're looking for a top quality cut um as you can see it here in the studio as i kind of roll the strand in between my fingers you can see that beautiful light performance again it goes back to that word luster mm. um you've got 90 minutes to make these amazing purchases how many do we have ross go i've got one left oh one oh 1.85 carats of black diamonds it's gonna sell out well done well done well done should we do, shall we be i love it i love it when ross says it like that l should we do something else crazy yeah you think this rivals oh. the two before? oh this strand is unbelievable it's absolutely unbelievable oh oh it's so lovely isn't it oh <sighs> Who launched this? Okay, and what did they take it to? That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. I mean, listen, listen, lovely Neary. Um, that's far <laughs> too low. Oh my goodness. Fa I'm all for our lovely audience getting the best price. We're gonna match it, of course we are. I mean, this Ooh, is all get I ready. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, look at that. Like, I don't understand this. So yesterday we brought you the most amazing strand of white topaz, which was smaller than these. These are bigger, equally as amazing. Um, Gosh, they're lovely, And it's they? going lower than what the strand yesterday was. <gasps> if, if the powers that be had placed this into the hands of Ross and said, what price do you think this should be? Uh, Ross is going to show you what price he thinks this should be. He says, I'm not closing it here, though. Yes. That's amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, it's 35 carats of natural, flawless, colourless white topaz, full of brilliance and sparkle. We rarely ever see it in this size. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? We normally it? get the small yes. micro Yeah, Yeah, which, ones, are, don't which we? are beautiful and Stunning. I love. This is incredible. Do you know what I do, Claire? I put those black diamonds alternating. Yes. It. So, yeah. like, white topaz, black that? diamond. <gasps> white topaz, black diamond. Nice. Why not? We're not stopping there, though. Um, Claire, your jaw hit the floor, didn't it, when it you heard did. what this is going to? It how, did. How many have we got, Ross? And it didn't sell out. That's beautiful. Look at that. How did it not sell out? <gasps> We've got 60 of these available. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I mean, you could use stunning. one of them, couldn't you? Yeah. One on a head pin. Oh. And all that sparkle. One I mean, on they... top of your dealer day pearls. Yes, yeah. Which are coming up at 10 o'clock today. Look, I mean, that, that's, that's yes. the quality that wow. we're talking about here. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I hope you are ready, everybody at home. Can you imagine it alongside those pearls? Beautiful. This is wrong on so many levels. So, so, so many levels. 
Oh. It's going to be like, it'd be like spotlights, wouldn't it? So if you put something else in there, that would be spotlights. You can, you know, can you imagine the light that that's going to bring in? So not only is it really, really beautiful, it's going to be so useful in your jewellery designs Fire, as well. Literally. Yes, like bouncing off the walls. Spots everywhere. So, nine, nine. Incredible. Yes. Alternative pills. Absolutely, Jacqueline. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely, your deal of the day. How perfect so is lovely. that? Yeah. I'm amazed it didn't sell out. Hello, yeah. Ted. Aww. A great big thank you to you, uh, uh, to, to Jewelry Maker for keeping me company through the year. Merry Christmas to all the crew, especially my pair of beautiful blonde bombshells. Ah, Ted. Aww, Ted. Thank you. That's Ted, nice. Well, you're isn't smooth. It? Ted's smooth. He is. He's lovely. Yeah. Happy He's Christmas. Lovely. Yeah. Ted. Merry Christmas, Ted. Thank you for tuning in, my darling, and being with us yeah. as well. I hope you have a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, time. Hello to you, Patsy. Hello, El Claire and all at Jewelry Maker. Uh, beds changed, housework <gasps> done, in the early hours, veg to prep today, still got two gifts to make. Merry Christmas, Pat. So you sound, oh, that sounds pretty that's organised. very productive as well, Very, Pat, very so organised. Yeah. Well done. Um, I've done the beds. Well done. I've done the beds. I've got one bed to change because <clears> Tom's <throat> friend stayed over last night. So, and we've got to do a quick change of because the father-in-law's coming tomorrow. Uh, I've done some of the veg. Some of my veg. I've done none of my veg. I mean, I'm not, I'm not cooking my dinner tomorrow, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But I haven't made my bed. <laughs> but I have done the rest of the house. Does that count? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Have you done your shopping? Not as, uh, I've got a, a little bit more. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. You seem pretty organised. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Nine ninety nine. though, seriously. Seriously. That's incredible. Look, we're under magnification here, Claire. Can you well, find... there's nothing, is there? There's yeah, absolutely nothing. No flaws, no, no faults. We not had at all. 60 of these. If they don't sell out today, and I, I'll say it, lovely Tom Neary, I'll tell you what, that's that's probably one of the deals of the century. $9.99. Oh, I might have to get him on Boxing Day for that. <laughs> you that's tell it. him. I say, will. Oi, Tom, that's, that's, I will. that's naughty, that is. But awesome that is at the same time. Beautiful, beautiful. How many have we got left, Ross? How many have we got left? 19 remaining. Can you imagine um, a nice station necklace, long line, sterling silver chain, so you cut your lengths maybe oh, an inch or two in between, and yeah, catch the light. Oh, in, yeah. Re, yeah, I'd like that. I may. We don't see topaz no. though in that size. No, Amazing. I'm all around the world getting involved. Yeah, Hello, Jeannie, enjoy California. those. California, awesome, absolutely awesome. Um, okay, let's do Rubalite Quartz. Oh, oh! So you've got what two gemstones? You've got quartz as a mineral, and then rubellite, which is obviously fall. It happens. It does happen. So you. Oh, look at the markings on it! How exciting is that? So you've got rubellite in quartz. So another example of that would be, say, tourmalated quartz, um, where you have tourmaline inclusions growing within, or uh, oh, <coughs> you could have nice. peridot, which has diamonds inside. It's fascinating, isn't it? Again, £14.99. I've never held rubellite quartz before. Rubellite is astonishingly mm. rare, astonishingly expensive. Um, it's a variety of tourmaline, one of the most expensive varieties of the tourmaline as well, which gives you um, this kind of reddish pink colour. And it's sort of framed within quartz. Actually doing it favours as well, because that's going to benefit its durability. £6.99. Again, if you've got your collector's connoisseur's hat on, I don't own rubellite quartz. No, I've no, I don't think I've ever seen it. But you've also got, haven't you? You've got the the colours, the markings, the interest. You've got, you know, the faceting. So you've got a look at the sparkle that you've got there, and it's a great shape. We don't see that shape very often, do we? That sort of that oval. Yeah, like I'm thinking back to your like stations that. necklace again. Yes. I think it'd be lovely as your yeah. stations yeah, necklace. Yeah, it would. It would. I'm one of those gemstones, like I said, not many people would be familiar with. So you yeah. could say, oh, this is actually two yeah. gemstones. It's quartz and rubellite. Yeah which Mother Nature um, has literally formed alongside one another. $6.99. Make sure you have a little look on the website. There are loads of amazing deals. Um, locked, loaded. Some will be going even lower. Some have gone already lower. Um, lots of sellouts, as you can see as well. I will be bringing you, for the first time ever, your Type A white jadeite little pea pods. Um, they're your early bird this morning. And remember, just as we tick over into the nine o'clock hour into Claire's awesome kits, we've got that incredible, the best 
mangle of jade out that we've ever done. Mm. But there are only nine of them left. Um, yeah, the fact that you actually have a multitude of colours, you know, it's, it's, it's so mm. exciting to be able to say that you, not just one green or one white or a black, you've actually got lavenders in there as well. Um, okay, let's do a, a very sweet gemstone. Oh gosh, look at that, that's pretty. Love blue lips. Yes. Conjures up images, doesn't it, I think, of summertime. Mm. It's very, very elegant. I can just imagine you and I blanket out in a nice, beautiful field, saying, what a woman. Um, Could you come to mine? We, we mow the lawn first and then we'll lie out on the on the freshly mown. That sounds yeah, perfect. Yeah, lawn, yeah. Absolutely. Do that. I'll do the picnic. <clears throat> Lovely sky. Yeah, you yeah. do the sausage rolls. I'll, I'll provide sausage. some, yeah, maybe some Prosecco. Sounds wonderful. Yeah. That sounds nice, especially yeah. in Wharton Warren. <laughs> the poshest place ever that Claire lives. <laughs> <clears throat> this is the gemstone that's set in the scene. Yeah, oh. That. Such wow. a beautiful strand. Up to seven millimetres you've got from three to seven. So you could literally just restrand this, Claire, couldn't you? It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, known as the Queen of Agate. When it comes to blue lace agate, you have areas of translucency, um, areas are of opacity. If you can imagine, if you can visualise sort of like cloud-like formations mm. sort of rolling across a wonderful summer's day sky, oh, yeah. um, then it's going to look something along these lines. This is completely and utterly natural. Please be careful sourcing something that's labelled as blue lace agate and it's, it, and it's treated. Um, it probably won't be blue lace agate um, because you can dye agate of course I think we all know that as well blue lace really should be natural um, <clears throat> and, and, and there is a big long story to it as well it's actually a British uh, uh, gentleman that discovered this amazing gemstone um, and it's captured the hearts it's often in some of the biggest jewelers like your um, Monica Veneda uses it alongside things like Amazonite really pretty stone 49 pounds and 99 pence but we're no way near says Ross we're gonna go even lower if I got quantity of these this would be nice with little peapods. It would. Well, they complement each other really well, don't they? £19.99. Nice. I think it's because they've got both got that kind of ethereal... Yes, yes. Like it is, is very, very definitely otherworldly, isn't it? Just an aura. Looking... Yes. Like you, yeah. Claire, you've got an aura around you. You have <laughs> a halo. That's what it is. Yeah, Although absolutely. we did, we have brought up demons. Yes, yeah. Me and my demons. <laughs> <laughs> 19 pounds and 99 pence uh, i mean how beautiful would this be in just a simple knotted necklace mm. um it would look lovely blue with, silk like oh, a, yeah like yes. a powder blue yeah yeah nice yes. lovely um amazing stay where you are shall we do a malachite slider bracelet oh it's gorgeous this absolutely beautiful um, and I'm, I'm going to try my hardest. I, I always struggle, though, to not talk about the original launch of the slide bracelet back in 2017. Yeah, basically, when we first launched the bracelets, yeah, they were £24.99. pence. One, without any addition of gemstones. Malachite is hugely popular at the moment. You've got Lola Rose. I saw an advert with her um, last night using it in uh, their watches. Um, they also do beaded jewellery. You've got Chopard. You've got Piaget. Uh, you've got Van Cleef and Arpe all these big high-end they call themselves maisons <laughs> the Van Cleef and Arpel the maison that's how they refer to themselves as um, are using this gemstone and I understand why it's absolutely beautiful very shallow forming mm. very distinctive you get these really wonderful uh, separations of green it is sterling silver and if I just do this for a second, you can see all you need to do is attach, I don't know, whatever, a connector, a choice of, uh, a choice of gemstones. That strand there. This strand? That, oh, that the, needs to go, doesn't that, it? That one? Yes. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Can you imagine? That would be amazing jewellery, wouldn't it? Just an inch <gasps> of, say, these. Yeah. In between the two jump rings. Yeah. Slider bracelet, job done. Yeah. Absolutely. It's so nice. We'll do that straight after because I totally it's agree gorgeous. with you, Claire. Perfect combination. £14.99. And, and it's Congo Malachite, which is long uh, regarded as some of the best in the world. <clears throat> Have I got many of these available? No. Just 22. Um, let's do those three millimetre faceted uh, um, Malachites. It always has been one of my favourite gemstones. I absolutely mm. love this gem. Um, it's so distinctive, you know, and, and there was a lot of sort of 
joking um, over in Tucson. You know, where's Elle? If you couldn't find me, you'd just hunt down the Malachite and I'd be loitering around there. It's just fascinating because it forms in these kind of nodules. Um, it's very shallow forming, so it's a gemstone that it's pointless digging to thousands of, uh, of meters below the surface, say like tanzanite, um, because it's just become less and less and less and less and less available. Um, often found alongside sort of your copper deposit. Uh, malachite, we've got this love affair with this gemstone. You've got these wonderful distinctions and separations between the greens. It is probably the only green gemstone that has that saturation, if that makes sense. 16 carats that you're getting, beautifully faceted, Gosh, top quality at 14.99. And uh, no doubt about it, you have to pay a premium for malachite. There mm. are certain stones, I think, that we immediately have a price point in our heads. Um, and let's talk about sort of stranded gemstones here. So like Sharite, for example, Malachite, absolutely. Uh, uh, Botswana agate, blue lace mm. agate. We have a certain price point in our head. Yeah, definitely. And if you think it's other things, and that, 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 the patterning, doesn't it, influences. So I've seen stationery with that Malachite. Uh, pattern, you know, yep. home wallpaper. Oh. You know, it, it, it's very recognisable, isn't it? People might not know the name of it, but it is, it's it's recognisable. The Malachite really wallpaper is so expensive yes. as yeah. well. So yeah. expensive. I think, it, uh, I think it's like £150 per roll. Mm. Um, but beautiful, absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah, Dolce & Gabbana have done handbags with yes. their Malachite kind of print. It's, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's so inspiring. Beautiful. Well done, everybody. Very limited, though. Um, shall we do... Huh? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, we had these yesterday in a different gemstone and they absolutely flew out the door. Um, oh, that's that one. Sorry, beg your pardon. That one? It's with the coral pinch bale. So if I, there you go, you can see a really beautiful aquamarine um, um, in your oval. So this has got that lovely opacity, really holds on to the colour. Um, 12 by 18 millimetres in its size. Comes with a 925 sterling silver coral bale. Um, that, if I just turn it that way, Claire, and show everybody. Yeah, so just pinch. You just pinch. That's nice, isn't it? So it's sitting and you get that lovely fluidity going across the, across the aquamarine. My six-year-old could make this. Yeah. You just open up the sterling silver, which is beautifully malleable. It'd be great with your kits that are coming mm. up later on. Yeah, it would. Um, just tease open the pinch bale, literally then close it if you like, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to imagine, describe this action. Um, but actually have the two pegs then that go into the drill hole. Yeah, like a pincer, I guess. Um, into the drill hole and then it's secure. If you want mm. to glue it, you can absolutely do that as well. A However, nice big bale as well, yeah. wouldn't it be? Yeah. Not necessary and it, it will tessellate. Um, I do have have the white opal one um, it's exactly the same I'll show you the price point as well exactly the same there's the white opal I launched these and they absolutely flew out the door so you can get hold of that too we'll bring the price onto your screen 7.99 seriously it's opal um, amazing absolutely amazing oh what sorry yes oh Jadeite is coming up next, your early bird. The little, a little peas in the pod. Everything on the website now is priced up accordingly, so you've got a couple of minutes. We will run over ever so slightly um, the 9 o'clock hour. And then after 9 o'clock, um, within Claire's kiss hour, we are bringing you the last remaining quantities of, um, of that beautiful Jadeite bangle. Sorry, I'm just trying to open this just because... Um, beautiful black opal. Look at this. You've got the most amazing play of colour. Op black opal again is up there in terms of one of the world's rarest. If you can imagine it, and I oh describe it every single time, if you imagine it a firework off at day, you'll see the colours, won't you? And it'll be beautiful and pretty. The red. However, if you let a firework <gasps> off at night, it's oh. going to be even more magical and, and more intense. Uh, you've just mentioned the reds there, Claire. Red is actually one of the rarest colours to get in your opal, and that's down to sort of the spectrum of colours and the distance that it has to travel between the object and the observer itself. Um, absolutely oh. magical gemstone. Oh. Um, if you've been watching things like opal hunters, there's black opal oh, miners gosh. there, um, and they're all desperately see, uh, you know, uh, trying to source quality like this, you know, which has that really beautiful blaze of colour. 
You're getting both of them as well. A pack of two, seven by five millimeter calibrated stones. Um, wow. Again, that deep, intense black mm. body color, which you'll find lots of articles actually talking about how important that is when it comes to black opal. The darker the body color, um, the more it's going to highlight the, uh, the, so the, the colors inside. You would almost assume it'd be the other way around, wouldn't you? Mm. You'd almost assume a, a very dark body color would hide. It would, yeah. But it yeah, doesn't. Get lost, yeah. Nineteen ninety nine for black opal. We're not closing there either. How many have we got, Ross? Time's ticking. 50? Have we really? How beautiful would these be in studs? Mm. Well, they're perfect, aren't they? Perfect earrings. And 7x5 is the perfect size for that as well. Yeah. Now, you can get natural black opal. It's astonishingly expensive. There are ways and means to encourage what would already be a black opal, but um, to sort of intensify its lovely colour. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Oh, it's magical, isn't it? Yes. Like Apps. And again, remember, here in the studio, Opal does not favour our studio lighting, which no. is literally floodlights. Um, when you actually take this into, uh, when you take this into natural sunlight, or um, you know, if you were to go into a, a, a jeweller's, you'd see little twinkly spotlights and things mm. like that. Um, opal prefers natural sunlight. That's when you'll really see your opals come into your own at fourteen ninety nine. That's seven pound fifty each, which is just crazy, isn't, nice, it? isn't it? You could just, I could just stare at that. Me too. All day. It's just magical, isn't it? It is, yeah. Absolutely yeah. magical. A load of you there. Well done. Make sure you check mm. out those baskets because time Beautiful. is ticking. Your early bird is next. Now, hang on. Goodness me, that's so good. Wow. Ooh. Have you just clocked it? Richard Wise, who really is the, for me, I would say the number one name in the gemstone world. If you want any advice, you would go to Richard Wise, given the choice. Um, he said once upon a time that a pure white jadeite jade with a fine texture and a moderate translucency should be considered the finest of its type. Your early bird is more than moderate more than fine it definitely has that pure white hue but even more than that it's also ice translucency this is astonishing quality i've got 165 and i know that we've got some wonderful collectors who watch and have acquired some fantastic jadeite opportunities during the last sort of two years or so that window of opportunity Please don't let this slip through your fingers because it is one of the best white jadeites I've ever brought to air. Once this auction ends, you won't be able to get hold of it. Trust me when I tell you this is going to an astonishing early bird price. <laughs> So for those of you that know Dave Troth, um, I hope he's feeling better, bless him. Oh, no. Yeah, he's been poorly. Oh, poor thing. You'll have seen, uh, he went over to Hong Kong uh, last month, I think it was, um, and he went over there to source two gemstones. He went over to look for the finest quality pearls and the finest quality jadeite, because obviously with the new, recent news of the jadeite market, um, sourcing has become even more challenging. But even before that news, it was virtually impossible even then. But I want to show you, Richard Wise, when I studied my accreditation with the GIA and Steve Bennett, who is our, our founder, um, gave me a book called Secrets of the Gem Trade. You, it's actually one of the few gem books which isn't going to say, you're not going to have to remortgage your house to actually buy, which gem books tend to be. But um, you can buy this on places like eBay, for example. I would highly recommend it. But Richard Wise really is that figure in the gem world that everybody really knows. You know, any, every gemologist will know Richard Wise. Um, everybody in the profession should know who Richard Wise is. Um, he's hugely respected. And here, thank you. Thank you, Russ. Oh. Here it is, the secrets of the gem trade. So um, it has been updated. So obviously with new discoveries of gemstones, new knowledge of gemstones, you know, much like the Grand Deed right we spoke about, things do change. Um, but it, 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 you know, Look, this has been, uh, this is probably like one of the original, uh, mm. original books. Um, it's a bit grubby. It's well loved. I prefer books to look like that. Definitely, personally. yeah. Um, but yeah, as it, it, you know, it's it hugely, 
hugely, hugely detailed and features every single gemstone that you can possibly, possibly imagine within. Look, there we go, pearls, um, colorless diamonds. So anything you need to know, oh, I actually just saw Jade out then, will be within, uh, will be within the pages of this book. Um, but he actually said this, and I quote, and it's within this book. In modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue with a fine texture. If it's not fine, by the way, you can see the grain. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, and a moderate translucency. Well, yours isn't moderate. Yours is ice translucency. So it's even better. Would be the finest of its type. And that's Richard Wise's words. He didn't say that about your imperial greens. He didn't say that about any other color. He specified white. Historically, white jadeite was only ever seen adorned by Chinese emperors. Because this was so rare, sort of your average Joe Bloggs wasn't able to source this gemstone. It was exclusive. Um, exclusive to the emperors of China. Um, these days, you can own it. However, we have to invest in it. It's a very, very expensive considered stone. Um, Wang So spoke about jadeite and said, on examining jades, one should regard those white in color as the best. That's back in 1833. Everyone thinks that it's imperial green, that, and, and no doubt about it, imperial green is the most, probably the most expensive. However, actually, white jadeite historically is considered the rarest and the most celebrated and the most prized. <clears throat> so I hope we can just absorb Wang Sao and Richard Wise's words. I'm not about to show you a, a, a natural white jadeite that maybe has an area of white, I'm going to show you a type A natural jadeite that is completely pure white. It's a 20 carat single stone. We have never done the pea pod before in white. We've had it in green, never in white before. The pea pod, by the way, if you're wondering why, is very symbolic of family. And that might be uh, not, not necessarily your immediate family. It can be extended family. It can be your family of friends, whichever it is. It's about, it's about a unity, basically. Um, the auction is open and people have already shopped ahead, uh, pre-ordered and multi-bought. Thank you so much for your trust. I think this is probably one of the most perfect pendants that we've actually brought mm. to air. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's as complex as the master carvings that you've seen maybe in the past. You know, there's no doubt about it. Like the dragon I had yesterday probably is way, way, way more involved in terms of the carving. Um, but the simple form of the pea pod is hugely, hugely significant. And also, can you notice how the little blanket of the pea pod itself, look how pure and translucent, mm. that's that ice quality that we aspire to. You could probably read text through that. Even if we were to stop at 99.99, that's an unbelievable deal for this level of quality. I could literally show you photographs from the Pillar and Stone uh, booth back in at the beginning of this year. I could show you photographs on Mason and Kay. I could show you ancient pieces that have been auctioned um, at Sotheby's and Bonhams and Christie's that won't have the translucency that's on your screens right now and most certainly will not have a 99 pounds and 99 pence price tag. Look at this. The GIA Jade Report. Look how beautiful that cabochon is. Can you see the luster? Can you see the translucency? Shape, you can see they're translucent. Color, white, treatment, none like yours. And that's only 6.9 carats. Only 6.9 carats. You are getting extreme gem quality here. Pillar and Stone wouldn't have had a pure white, ice white, translucent, type A, jadeite cabochon at double figure prices. I can say that for certain. At £49.99, it is astonishing that we can do this. And I don't ever want us to lose sight or be blasé and think, ah, oh, okay, 
Yeah, I'll get, I'll get it next week. That's ridiculous, we're at 49 mm. It wasn't until recently, literally the last year or so, that I even saw white jade in person. I'd seen it within the book, within Richard Wise's Secrets of a Gems Trade, but I'd never actually seen it in person. At 49 <coughs> excuse me, we are not done there. There was 165 opportunities. We've done the pea pod in the greens, which was, which was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I bought that as well. It is slightly more opaque. You don't quite have the translucency that I'm seeing on your screens right now. Um, I've got my mobile phone here, and the reason why I brought it in, hang on, is so that I can do this. Yeah. Are you ready? I want to show you the translucency. And this is all they would do in uh, sort of, uh, you know, any gem event. Look at that. It is simply magical. It is, isn't it? Because that's exactly, that's what you do with them, isn't it? That's the, that's the beauty of like a, you know, when you look at have a pea pod, isn't it like that? It's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Beautiful, isn't it, Claire? Yeah, it really is. And I just love, I, I just love the sentiment behind it's the, the pea pod. It's the simplicity as well. Yeah. I know what you're saying about intricate carving. It wouldn't be the same if it was. No, it, exactly. Know? We're not stopping that's there, That's not what though. it's about, is it? Nope. Look at the high goo. Mm. The haiku is very simple in yeah. terms of its yeah. shape, but it's also one of the most meaningful. I've got 165. I want to see you on the phone lines, though, because this is absolutely astonishing. We can bring you certain gemstones, <coughs> excuse me, for £29.99. pence. Pure ice white jadeite should not be anywhere near that price point. This should be at the very least, I'm gonna say at the very, very least, and only because I, I have become complacent with our jadeite prices, I guess, 99.99, to be bringing you 20 carats with that level of almost, look, 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 look at the exterior, as I call like, a, if you like, the blanket of the pea pod mm. itself, the pod itself. Look at how pure and translucent that, uh, that, 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 that gemstone is. It's impeccable, impeccable quality. There's no black Blend. You know, the, the, the pieces that I've shown you in the past, maybe that have been auctioned um, at Sotheby's, lots of pieces that date back literally hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of years. You know, for thousands of pounds, they're being auctioned. <coughs> they don't even have that linen white colour. It's Christmas Eve, Ross, and, he's, and Ross has just said, shall we do something completely unplanned? Claire, is that the price that it says on my star buy sheet? Yeah. We're going to go lower. And I think that, you know, and I love all, I, I love different quartz, you know, but that's the sort of price for a carved, a beautifully carved quartz. piece with, with yeah, of, of sentiment and, you know, that is, has been carved so beautifully, you know, because there's lots of, of you know, <coughs> you've got to be able to carve very well to get that smooth and curves, that rounded effect. I think that's an amazing price for, you know, if you were going to have something in, in, you know, in quartz, which I love, but that's amazing price. We shouldn't be able to purchase jadeite no. of this quality for money that you can get out of cash point. Mm. You should have to bank transfer it. We're going to do this. It's completely unplanned. Can you imagine gifting this to your children? Oh, I'd be so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would wear this though at the same time. Mm. It was not meant to go any lower than 29.99. When we were prepping for this Christmas Eve show, I was like, my goodness me, that's amazing. Look, at, it's amazing in terms of the quality. And I didn't even get hung up on the price that it was actually going at. It's, it's some of the best white jade I, I've actually seen in person. Do you agree? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's completely yeah. pure, completely natural. Yeah. I got, oh, Ross, oh, I like it. Did you like that tone he had in yeah. his voice then? Yeah. I guarantee yeah. you've not got white, white jade out like this at the price that I'm taking it to. At the end of this minute, he says, I'm going to give you another minute and I'm going to tell you the price that we're, we're, we're considering. Okay. I like that. Look at the quality. If you were to literally run this atop, across the top of a book, you could read text through mm. it. It's that beautifully gemmy. In a minute from now, we are, oh, we're at 
We're going to half that price. There oh we go. I've said word. it. I've said it. I've said it. We had 165 opportunities. Um, as soon as this clock runs out, we are going to half that price. We are in double figure quantities now. Ooh. Senga's got two. Victoria's got two. Janet's got three. Maker in London's got two. Another London's got two. Keith, Victoria, Janet, Mary, Irene, Buckinghamshire, Helen, Tracy. Uh, London, you've just got four. Uh, sorry, three. Victoria and Kent, you've just got four. Well done. Janice, hello to you. Richard, Avon, Jill, London. I can't keep up with you now. Uh, Teresa, Christine. I've got people who've made their confirmations who are now choosing to come back in to get more. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Why wouldn't you? Mirtha, Tidfield, well done. Keith, I can see you've upped your quantity. Well done, lovely. Dorset's up their quantity as well. I mean, you could literally, Claire, just pop that onto a bale, suspend it from a sterling silver chain. That's a piece of jewellery that could retail for considerable amounts of money if you can choose to part with it. I personally wouldn't. This is the kind of thing that I would buy for each member of the family. Mm. I think my husband would wear that. Mm. You know, just simple lark said not. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. This is the first time. white jade and that gorgeous yes. sentiment. It's not a white quartz. No disrespect to quartz. No. No disrespect to jasper. It's not a jasper. This is jadeite, one of the world's rarest and most valuable gemstones globally. You know, if you, again, if that's news to you right now, Google it. Google top 10 rarest gemstones. I guarantee jadeite will be in there. And then if you actually re re uh, sort of research the rarest colours of jadeite, you'll find that white is absolutely up there. I've just shown you. Richard Wise himself, the author of The Secrets of the Gems Trade, um, said it. It should be considered the finest of its type. £14.99 is completely and utterly mad. Um, absolutely it's mad. It's lovely, isn't it? It is beautiful. Absolutely lovely. And it's a really tactile piece as well, I think. Stunning. You, you know, if you were, had it on long cord or long chain, yeah. I do think it is something that you would Feel. You'd reach for, wouldn't you? Absolutely. But look how sweet it is up at the neckline too. And I like the fact that it's quite, you know, people go, peas? Why are you wearing peas? Oh, no, it's a lovely sentiment. It is. You like peas, yeah, peas in a pod, aren't you? Now, this is a lounge hour, so I'm going to give you the countdown. Both this auction and every auction that we have brought you so far um, is about to close. So you need to check them out. If you're one of the many people that still have it in their baskets, you've got to check it out. Because in 51 Ooh. seconds, you won't be getting white jadeite, 20 carats in this beautiful ice white, eye clean, beautiful hand carved pea pod for £14.99. Not just this, all the other pieces, the Grand Digirite, the diamonds, the white topaz, the thulite, the yeah, malachite. the lovely malachite that we had, yeah. The, uh, yeah, the oh, diamonds, yes, the yes. opals, they are all disappear from the website. So you do need to check them out. Um, absolutely amazing. We've got that bangle coming up as well. Um, oh, my goodness me, there are just what nine. beautiful, beautiful pieces today. I know, absolutely. Fourteen mm. ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Vera, Alison, good luck. Alison, if you've got a phone in your hand, you'll be all right as long as you press your option one. Susan, Hazel, Janice, Jill, Mary, Sonika, Derbyshire, Nikki, Avon, Yvette, Cambridgeshire. Oh, it's done. Oh, that time literally vanished before me. Now, just before we dive into the break, Ross, but that means everything on the website. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, well done. If you go to the website, do you know what you'll see? Us. Where's all the... Nothing. Oh. We've gone. That's how a lounge hour works. Oh. That's how we take it as low as we do, because it's on a curfew, if you like. At that low price point for a limited period. Okay. I don't say this lightly, and I, I, listen, I'm lucky enough to have a jadeite bangle, thanks to Jewelry Maker. This is the best bangle we've ever done. Um, Dave launched it not that long ago. And what's so beautiful about it is, well, firstly, this is type A grade. It's not dyed. It's not polymer infused, impregnated. It's natural. You need to consider jadeite forms in vast boulders and I know Dave has showed you photos before they're all cut into slices um, and then they map out use it looking at the quality of the jadeite you know what would be best to obviously achieve the most value I suppose um, 
So imagine having a sort of a slice of jadeite boulder that could be literally, it can be huge. It can be absolutely huge. It can be much smaller. But imagine having that slice and it's got translucency, but within that, uh, that jadeite slice, you've got areas of green, you've got areas of imperial, areas of imperial black. You've got the lavender colors, which are, well, 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 well Roland Schlussel actually said he believes lavender jadeite will become more expensive than imperial jadeite um, at the beginning of this year. And what the uh, lepidus will do is they'll kind of basically use a template and sort of work around that slice of boulder to try and achieve the best pieces. I've n I, I would, would never even entertain being able to bring something like this to air. Gems have never seen anything like this. Uh, it, it's remarkable. It's the best bangle we've ever done. Um, bar none. It's been on air once. Um, and I have nine left. Here we go. Can we show that? This is the million dollar jadeite slice. That's what they refer this slice to. You can see the outline of the boulder. Every jadeite, whatever color, will be cut into slices and then they'll work out what shape it's going to be or carving it's going to be thereafter. But due to the fault lines, this material cannot, cannot be used for bangles. Can you see how you've got those? It looks like yeah. cracks, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, they have to actually cut round those, uh, otherwise it would literally break. Um, the estimate, uh, estimation of the value of this rough is around $1 million due to the transparency and the intensity of colour. That colour is natural. Can you see those beautiful? I know it's referred to as lavender, um, but that's a really intense pink, really, really intense pink colour. And this is the com these are slides that Dave showed you when he, we launched this. Uh, Dave, I agree, um, your idea very clever, but uh, it may take a lot of time to achieve your desired grade with how much rough uh, we would have to acquire. We are confident, though, that we can provide the same grade in your designs um, as including the link, uh, the bangle link. Now, we will work on this project exclusively for you before offering to other designers, as this is your idea. Now, what that basically means is what Dave, uh, Dave had a conversation with um, a, a Jadeite supplier and said, look, I want to bring to our audience the best quality Jadeite bangle. Um, I want it to have um, as much translucency as possible. I very much like it to include a multitude of colors. Whatever you can do, we will purchase the entire quantity. And that's exactly what he did do. Um, they will all be different. They will all be slightly different because this is a natural material. Um, so for example, some might have, I don't know, 50% lavender, 50% green. Some might have areas of it. Some might have areas of white and imperial in there as well. But the stipulation, and they've all been hand selected and checked as well by Dave himself is that they are of the finest quality and they have the multitude of colors. Check this out, seriously. Um, there are nine available, that is it. Caroline, you messaged us, um, was it this morning or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, yeah, talking about, you put, You were lucky enough to purchase this and, and, and it's remarkable saying how beautiful it is. Um, I don't think we could even entertain being able to do something mm -hmm. of this grade mm -hmm. again. There are nine in existence and I'm not about to sit here and tell you that this is going to be an affordable piece. I'm not about to do that. It's not an affordable piece of jewellery. I mean, you look, you look at that jadeite bangle that was um, went to auction back in 2012. Price realised, it's got amazing translucency, but the colour of the green is actually not that dissimilar to, to you have in yours, but you have the addition of lavender and, uh, and darker colours too. Look at the price, 225,000 Hong Kong dollars. There are a quantity of nine. The, this op these are one of those once in a lifetime opportunities. There are 350 carats. There's no limit. The only limit is we have nine available. This is auction house worthy. Uh, there are seven left now. Well done. Six. Six remaining. If you missed out the first time round, you need to be quick. We, will, uh, it, we honestly will never have this quality again. It's the best I've ever, ever, ever seen and probably will ever see. Look at those natural colours, Claire. They do, they just transfix you, don't they? So beautiful. No dyeing, 
No polymer impregnation. That slice is a million dollars. Look at the colors. Mm -hmm. All right, it doesn't have quite the same translucency. If it had that translucency, we'd need a million pounds off you, please, <laughs> mm -hmm. if not more. And everyone will be exclusive to you, of course. This is a natural material. No two will be exactly the same. If they did look exactly the same, then it's, then it's dyed or, or, or fake. Um, this is natural and certified as such. At, and frankly, at 1,299, that's an absolute steal. An absolute steal. Are you ready? We're going to go to it because we're over allocated. Massively over allocated. Well done to those of you that have confirmed. Good luck to those of you that haven't. I can't, we won't be able, I never say never. I shouldn't be conclusive, but. It, oh, I, highly unlikely we're ever going to be able to do something like this. I've got less than five left, and there's 22 of you with it in your baskets. £299. It's crazy to be even discussing this level of quality with, a hun with, with hundreds in the, in, mm. in the sentence. It's crazy to say that. Please, as well, <clears throat> get it insured. You need to get this valued. You need to get it insured. Oh, there's one left. There is one left. There's one live quantity left. London, Dorset, Warwickshire, Buckinghamshire, Devon, Yorkshire, Lanarkshire, Wiltshire, Kent and Durham. Well done. That's it. Sold That's out. Incredible. Anybody, I have to say this, anybody that is, uh, is lucky enough to own that bangle, I'm so sorry to those people that missed out, anybody that is lucky enough to own that bangle, you have the best I've ever seen in over, what, how old am I? 24 years. 24 years of working with gemstones. I had to think how old I was. <laughs> uh, truly amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Congratulations to you all. If you missed out, then wish list it because if for whatever reason some i don't know a card doesn't go through or an order gets cancelled um I, I doubt it will but um it's always worth wish listing it because then our call center can give you a call if one falls back into stock absolutely awesome now claire your kits yes bear copper i love bear copper oh i may and me, I absolutely love it. It's yeah, it's wonderful to work with. Absolutely wonderful. Oh well, I'm so yeah. looking forward to this. I mean, that bracelet that you've shown us. We've got wonderful spinner star rings as well. Yes, we've got those coming, coming up. up later. Yeah. So, yeah. um, all about your good old metal smithing. Absolutely. Yes. Love it. Now, yeah. do not go yeah. anywhere. That's amazing. Is that little leaves suspended yes. from there? Yeah. Oh, join Claire. Don't go anywhere because we've got some absolutely incredible kits coming your way, and anybody can do it as well. Even if you mm. uh, if you don't consider yourself to be a metal smith, Claire's your girl. Um, so we will be back. Don't go anywhere after this. Lovely jewellery makers, it's Christmas and for Christmas Eve we have the most amazing rundown show. We've got the fantastic Claire McDonald with textured sterling silver sheets, a brand new tool launch, the ring flare tool, we have an 8am white jadeite, little peas in the pod. At 10 o'clock, your deal of the day are the most amazing pearls. And at 11 a.m., a wonderful selection of jade. So let's shake our bellies like a bowl full of jelly. I'll see you there. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here. Firstly, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your kindness and support throughout what has been quite a tough 2022 for us here at Chestnut Close. We've got through it all. We've got through it all with your help. So massive thank you, first of all. And secondly, and most importantly, I'd just like to wish each and every one of you the happiest of Christmases and the most peaceful and safest of New Year's. Take care. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, actually, no, it is going to be Christmas. 
day this weekend and guess what i am being joined by my beautiful little elf helper the fabulous susie menham now that have you been good boys and girls i think you probably have we think you are anyway so father christmas has given an answer to the list that i've asked for for you for christmas day would you like to know what it is yes good so let me tell you what we've got so with the fabulous susie menham of course it's pearls we've got a pearl knotting and fresh water pearls kit which she will work her magic on, of course, it's Susie. Now listen to this, this is exciting. Rainbow Christmas Compendium Storage. We like a bit of storage, don't we? Jewelry making cloth in red. Because it's Christmas and festive. Nephrite bangles. And you know what our jade bangles are like? These are brand spanking new for Christmas Day. Olmec jadeite carved ring. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we do. And listen to this, a brand new VOD. What's a VOD? Video on demand. Video on demand. Oh, Alan, does that mean it's downloadable? No. Oh, we've only waited 12, 13 years for that. Fabulous. Brand new VOD video on demand. Oh, tutorial from Susie as well. So, lots more besides, lots of goodies. We always have a great time on Christmas Day. We might just crack open a bottle of bubbles. I haven't been drinking, honestly. So do please join us this coming Christmas Day for the wonderful, wonderful festive show from 8am till midday. Make sure you join us on Boxing Day. We've got Claire McDonald and an amazing show. The deal of the day is a silver framed South Sea Pearl Pendant with Zircon. We've also got the bangle forming tool. We've also got loads of basket openers and we've got an incredible hematite selection as well. We'll see you on Boxing Day. Just wanted to thank you for all your continued support throughout this year and to let you know how much you've inspired me. So I'd just like to wish you all, from the bottom of my heart, a very Merry Christmas. I hope that 2023 brings you peace and happiness with lots of opportunities for happy dancing moments. So once again, wishing you a very Merry Christmas from me. And not forgetting Tilly. coordinate with your doggies no <laughs> I love We're that not, I'm not as organized as that no nor me nor me um not as first of I tried to put a sweater on my dogs I think they'd be like ah! <laughs> just wouldn't happen just wouldn't happen um yeah make sure you tune in tomorrow so it's gonna be an amazing Christmas day show it really is but we've got still so much to bring you if you've never done any form of metal smithing in your uh, jewelry maker journey Today, let's tick that box. Do I need to have any kind of qualification to be a metalsmith? No. Can I not. learn this? Yes. In... Yeah, because this is going to be your, so. The, depending on what what you get, but you've got here, um, it's nothing nothing heavy uh, or um, uh, yeah, so big tools there. or anything like that. What, yeah. what this will be is um, you can do a mixture of because we've got great tools, we've got nice forming pliers, so we've got things that will really help you um, form the shape of things. But what, what you're looking at here, because you're working with like a raw or a bare um, metal, uh, it means you can colour it, you can polish it, um, so you can colour it and darken it, you can um, uh, create different textures on it. Um, so, so in a way, bare copper is, is the perfect, um, if maybe you sew sterling silver, you can do all the things that you can do to sterling silver, you can solder it if you want to, um, you can high, you know, high shine on it, um, texture it. It, it's, it's just, it is so, so lovely to work with. So lovely. Every single metalsmith uh, design that I've spoken to is, is really enthusiastic about copper. Yes, yeah, so it's lovely and soft to work with. Uh, I mean, it has different, and uh, you know, some about properties as well, doesn't it? You know, you'll get a lot of, you know, people with arthritis, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, so what you're looking at here? Oh, Claire, that's beautiful. So, if you look at things, um, it's it's something that um, it doesn't, you know, it 
it's the bear, the bear copper doesn't have a plating on. So if, this is a good example, actually, if you look at this. This is a mix of the two. Um, so the, the leaves that you've got there, although they are a copper core, they've got like um, Coat. a, a coating on them. So that piece, so if I just turn it round, you can see, so we've got a mixture here. So it's gone in the liver of sulphur. So you can see that's the darker, the darker tone, which then highlights the, see the lighter, pinkier tone? Yeah. So if it's the... Um, the uh, if it's got the coating on it, it won't it won't take on that uh, that liver of sulphur that that oxidising. But you know because it because it doesn't have that it's it's bare, so it, it naturally ages as well, which is really lovely. Shall we um shall shall we fragrance people's homes then? Yes, with um <laughs> something we haven't seen in absolutely months. And when I say fragrance your home, it's stinky. It's really stinky. Um, smells like eggs. There's no two ways about it. it yeah, it's, it's, it's whiffy. It's whiffy, it, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. And that's what gives you that really beautiful sort of aged effect. Um, um, yeah, Claire's obviously uh, the expert. So any questions that you have about liver of sulphur, can I use this with anything else or is it just copper? Uh, it's on silver as well. It works beautifully oh, okay. on, on silver. Yeah. So, and it basically creates that oxidisation, is that right? Yes. So, so what we're going to do, is, if I show you the difference here, so if we look at, because you've got these coming up, and these are, I would say if anyone's ever wanted to make um, any stacker rings, this is your perfect kit. So if I show you... <laughs> might need to lose oh, Sorry, shall I to take these off? It's, it's funny, <laughs> we're just looking at these little stars <laughs> do, uh, dotted. Right, <laughs> so if we have a look on here... Yeah. So um, this is how they're going to come to you. So they're beautifully polished um, like that. If you, so I would say if you wanted to ever make um, stacker rings, this is the pack for you. You can, um, and I've, I've used quite a lot of solder on here so that hopefully you can see it. So that's, that's with it soldered oh, yeah, just and polished. Just. So it's now, and, and you know, you can buff that off. So that would be a complete, um, uh, a complete ring. So you can see there. They come that they're, that they're open, but then if you wanted to, and you want to work with your, um, your liver of sulphur, that gives you that darker, the darker tone there, which you can then, if you can see how Ooh, this is then starting to. So it, it really draws out the pattern. Yes, so it, it's anything that sort of works, you know, if it's got, if it's got the indent, so whether you've, um, these come ready textured, Oh, so you didn't even have to do that. These these are coming up, by the way. Um, okay, so, I mean, how how much... Because I've got, what, 29 so There's a tiny bit. So, shall I have a look here? Should we have a, should we have a little go? Yes. Let's do it. I tell you what, we've just found liver of sulphur on the website elsewhere. Um, so, £14.70 for the same size bottle, is that right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same size bottle, same, same brand. I tell you what, we're going to pretty much match it. It is exactly the same as what Claire has right now in the studio. Let's bring you an unbelievable deal. We haven't seen it in months. And you use the smallest amount, Claire, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to... Hold on to your noses, everybody in the studio. It's about to get whiffy. Let's see if it's got a... Okay. Have a little sealed lid. So you would it? have... Um... I'm just going to pop that there. Okay. Um... You would have some, uh, if you've got like baking soda or um, if you wash it in cold water. So, so you put it in water? I'm just going to put, this is quite warm water. Okay. Thank you, Dan. So if we just give that a little... Right, you ready? Let's have a look. So if we does it, pop so these in... So it doesn't smell in, of anything yet? Oh, it will. Can you oh. see how it's starting to... See how quickly Darken, that's Darken, yes! Gone? Yeah, so if we look at... Oh, yeah, there you go. That, and There's you can see that. there on the um, on the copper. So if I pop that now into the... So that's where you have your cold water, your bicarb there. Let's take this off. Let's dry this off there. I'm just going to get rid of that stinky bit there. Stinky Put bit? Put that by you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Claire. Oh, oh. Oh, has it hit you now? Yes, it, it hit me a long time ago. Oh. I've got a blot nose. That's saying something. What a deal. 7 99 Claire. I mean, 
if you this this is one of the best things that you will get because what this does if you think about your you know when you're stamping so you think about stamping yeah you, you created that that indent in there but you need to see it or so engraving. This, you could put it in your engraving couldn't you yes yeah so it's anywhere where you've got you've created a texture so if i just take start to take some of this off this is quite abrasive so if we look at so something like that what it's doing is it's staying in the um in the the indents and then you can highlight different areas so that will work beautifully with your if it's textured like this yeah if i bring over um so the wire work here so if so we that look at the wire work lovely. and that's it that's liver of sulfur so this is liver of sulfur so it started off life like this and i can show and I'll, I'll set up the wires so that you can see the pattern but you can see so here this is um this is how it will come to you mm -hmm. uh, and then this is when you start to if you want to have it so you um you can see you'll get that really pink and that lovely shine if you're happy to um work it we you know with your polishing compounds you'll get a really really bright shine but if you look at the if you look at this so if i show you all around this this bangle now actually with this bangle and i, and I can talk you through how i set the wire work up with this there are lots and lots of different um because we've got different wires coming up but you can see so if i actually turn it over the in side actually looked a lot better than the outside just because of the positioning of the wire so you can see I've got a twisted wire here but that wouldn't really you wouldn't be able to see that twist as much no. if you hadn't done the liver of sulfur because yep. it's picking everything up there so and then and because you've got the different layers so when you're buffing over and when that you're polishing you obviously you can't get to everything so those recesses are going to stay um stay that darker color which means then it, the, the the bits that are forward and the bits you can shine really really the contrast makes them pop so it, it works really really well and it would actually work beautifully so if i bring this one out you can see so in the, the 12 o'clock kits you know what you've got there are textured uh metal so you could absolutely use them on that as well and, and don't forget with anything like this if you've got that textured sheet it's going to it's going to really enhance the texture there isn't it as well um can i ask a question um if yeah, say you do use the liver of sulfur and you think oh okay that's maybe too much or i preferred it before is it is yeah it so just, just no, yeah just buff it off and then on the reverse of that as well is if you want to seal it in you know you can work with like your renaissance waxes and things to to, to seal it in but i think the lovely thing with the the copper is you know it it does you think about you know like um verdigris roofs and things you know we've got that beautiful the, the greens yeah and, yeah you know, that's the beautiful thing with um with copper then there's lots of if you have a look online there are lots of different recipes that you can use so things with um coffee you, you'll get lots and lots of different effects so it's not just sort of like this darker um depending on how long you leave it for how much you put in lots and lots of recipes so that is brilliant brilliant but brilliant it happens stuff. so quickly it, it is it? it's like um so like alchemy isn't it um, yeah and, and half the price of where we found elsewhere um, so let's bring you those jump rings. Yes. Play it. And I'm just thinking about you made me a really lovely ring, which I unfortunately slid off my thumb and it's oh, gone. Oh, no. I know, it's really sad. Um, but how lovely would these be? Just as those, as you said, stacker style rings. Yeah. So, um, the, and you know, they are chunky, um, chunky pieces um, of, of bare copper. So, yeah, I would say if you have thought of maybe, you know, you see the sterling silver stacker rings and you want to have... Um, uh, maybe you want to make lots and lots um, and have more of them. Um, this is a great way of doing it. Absolutely great way because the ring is already formed for you, but you can see it's, uh, they are really chunky pieces. And I've worked with them on, um, you know, the ring, the ring stretcher and reducer. Oh, right. And okay. no, so um, you can work with them on that. There is nothing to stop you if, our, if you've got your ring mandrel as well. So if I take one of these, so you can see... So as I've said there, you've got, let's have a look. So you can see I've soldered this so, uh, and way, way uh, too much solder just so that you can see the contrast. So we know it's, um, we know it's a complete ring. And so there's nothing to stop you from stretching it. stretching it out because you've got so much of that. So you can see, and you've got all the sizes there. And these are bare copper as well. So bare there's, copper. You know, there's no plating. No. So there's nothing, you know, you can treat them in the same way uh, with your sterling silver. And so, like I say, mix the two. That's a really, really popular look. So I've just taken one of the sterling silver solderable accents on there. Lovely. Um, and soldered that, soldered that to it. Well, look how many you're getting. 80 pieces in total. That's 20 pieces of each size, um, four sizes. But you can, you can, in the same way that you would sort of, um, uh, you know, upsize 
or downsized rings yeah. um, on your mandrel and using what, just a rubber absolutely. mallet? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. But, and then don't forget as well, you know, all of your, thank you, all of your, you know, your chain mail um, work mm, that, that you true. want to do with that as well, because, you know, these open and close, um, you know, really beautifully as well. I mean, you can see here. Now, 80 of them, lots of you getting involved. I adore bear copper. I think it looks yes, so beautiful. It is, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, great for chain mailing. Oxidising yeah. your chain mail too. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, because you've got stunning. that sort of that historical. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine. Well, I think I mean. Twelve ninety nine. That's fabulous, isn't it? For bare copper. For I'm, that much. Bare copper is. I'm right. You know, it's it is a natural component, and it's expensive copper. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's why you take it and you take it to the. Take it to scrap, scrap it in, don't you? Ah, oh, it's sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. That's wonderful. That's why you yeah, any old iron. They're always looking for copper, aren't they? It's what, sorry? Any old iron. Do you get yes. them round by you still? I do. Um, usually very... <laughs> <laughs> why do they have that sound? <laughs> that Adam sound. <laughs> <laughs> any old iron. Yeah. Um, although it would sound weird if they went, oh, any old iron, please. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Has anybody got any iron? some lovely luster on that. <laughs> on that Have copper. you got any copper? <laughs> um, okay, what would you like me to do next, Roscoe? Beam. Oh, what would you like us to do? That, that's a good, yeah. No, so the, the findings pack is, is, is very, very good. <laughs> Look at all of those. Yeah, so this, is, this is like Christmas. I mean, it's an incredible, incredible One. amount of findings anyway, but the fact that it's bare copper. 1,631 yeah, pieces. Yeah, there's a few in there, isn't there? Are you kidding? Yeah. You've got bare copper... Oh, right, let's go from the top, Elle. Work your way down. 100 copper eye pins, 30 S-hooks, 200 bare copper round beads, 4 mil, 500 bare copper round beads, 2 mils, 100 bare copper crimps, uh, 50 bare copper shepherd hook ear hooks, 100 bare copper ball heads, pins, sorry, um, 15 metres of bare copper 0.6 millimetre wire, 200 bare copper jump rings, 7 mil, sorry, 5 mil internal diameter, 200 of your bare copper jump rings, 3 mil internal diameter, 50 of your bare copper toggle class, um, and 500 of your bare co copper tubes. So there's a few, isn't there? There's I mean, a few. you're going to be fairly well stocked. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think this is the, yeah. I this wonder... is the pinnacle of findings packs, isn't it? Where does the one come from? I'm... 1,600 and what? 31 pieces. But where's the one? <laughs> yeah, the extra. Maybe it's a wire. Yeah, a Maybe it's wire a wire. Pack. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. And this would work with your liver of sulphur. It works perfectly. So if you have a look, if I show you, let's look at the, let's look around this one. So there, and you can actually see some other colours starting to to come through. So that is that's with the. Oh, that's um, like a titanium. It's nice, isn't it? So Ooh. you've got so, sort of starting to get, you know, almost like a rainbow's coming um, coming in there. So yeah, it's a yeah. And that's the jump ring, the coordinating jump ring. Look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, they do. They absolutely do. Hang on. Hang on a minute. £34.99 <gasps> for over, well over 1,600 Oh, that's brilliant. Findings. That's we used incredible. to do bare copper findings, but in packs of 13. Didn't I they? have never, ever, ever seen a, that amount of... Um, and the storage, is not forget that. Yeah. You get the storage box too. Ad, uh, bless, sorry, Dan actually said to me, El, I, I didn't take them out of the bags. And it was, do you know what it was? I know what he was actually saying, El, don't take them out of the bags. I know what, uh, <laughs> I won't, Dan, as there is over 1,600 of them. I promise you that. Goodness me. Here we go, here you go. You can see again, so this is where, if you look at the difference, um, you can see how, so the, if you wanted to oxidize, you can see how they're, so this one is, um, this one's oxidized and this one isn't. So you can see there how that works. It is so good, that bank. Yeah, totally agree, Adam. It's beautiful, isn't it? Thank you. 
So, yeah, so, so know that all of those where you can either keep them that bright shine or even polish them up even more um, or you're going to get that lovely oxidised aged look. Do you know, do you know what, what, in terms of money, what do you call your coppers? Your ones and twos? Yeah, your ones and twos. Yeah. One, two, one, two. This is 2p per finding. Well, when did we, when did, I can't think when we last had actual raw bare copper wire that you're getting loads in there of a great gauge, you know, that you can do your weaving with, you can do rosary linking in. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, there are the, every, and, and the spacer beads that you get and that, and that graduation, you've got crimps, crimp covers, you know, your toggles. 2p per finding. That's, That's including amazing. the yeah. wire, mind. Yeah. To so good, be. so so good. As that'd be very very useful, and and I would say if you've if you've not worked if you've not worked with bare copper before, and, you, and maybe you try I don't know the tubes or something like that. I think you, I think you'd kick yourself by it's it's awful, isn't it? Sorry. Will you put that right next to me? <laughs> oh yes, sorry, I forgot about that stinky bit there. Sorry. Um, I'd so I would say you'll kick yourself if you don't get that because I think when you work with when you start working with the tube. Um, uh, like that. It's such a nice, um, <laughs> it's such a lovely way to work, a lovely metal to well, work Well, Adam with. just said, he's like, I think that's got to be the lowest price per component that we've ever done here at Jewelry Maker 2p. 2p? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be, isn't it, up there? How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 50. Ah, there are a lot of you wanting it as well. So do make sure you check out those baskets, lovely jewelry makers. Um, and we've got the thicker gauges of your copper wire. We've got some lovely tools as well coming up. We Don't have, forget the yes. brand new tool coming yeah, up also. Yeah, we've got some, and we've got some really unusual um, sort of focal parts as well and connectors. Amazing. There are loads of you with it still in your basket. Monica, Sarah, well done. County Antrim, Miss Janet, hello to you. Anne, Yvette, Julia, Gabrielle, London, sorry, Carol, Debbie. There's Patricia, Northumberland, Johnny, Claire, Avon, uh, Bristol, Manchester, uh, East Sussex, Carol, Johnny, uh, Shropshire, Northumberland, Karen and John, you've got yours. I can't keep up with you. There were only 50 opportunities, though. So please, if you're desperate to get hold of these, make sure you check out your baskets. 50 doesn't hang around for very long. And it's worthwhile just maybe just dropping the liver of salt. It is stinky. There's no two ways it about punky, it. It is punky, but it's worth it. It is yeah. worth it. And it does, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, it's funny as well, isn't it? Well, I find it makes me laugh every time I use it. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you remember back in school when people used to drop stink bombs? Yeah. It's worse than that. It's worse yeah. than stink bombs. <laughs> do you be like, oh, no, someone's dropped a stink bomb in the corridor. Right, where do you want to go to next, Claire? So the other thing that I think is really lovely is, um, is the tube. I think this is... This tube! Is, I've, I've, I've loved working with Oh, it is tube. I thought it was a wire. Yes, there's loads. So again, you think about this again. It's um, So I've used it in wire work pieces, mm. uh, but these are great, you know, bales you could use. You could, you know, talk um, necklaces you can use them part of. You can, uh, hinges you can work with. Nice. So many things, so many things. So um, if I sort of um, show you, so if we look, um, I'll show you the different areas that, it's, that it's, I've used it in. So if you look at the bangle that I've got, oh. so there we are. Or you can see here, so it's this central, oh, okay. central so part the there. One. So yeah. it's giving you um, really lovely structure. But then it also, because it's hollow, it gives you lovely structure, but then it means you can put finer wire um, going through it, which then means you can attach Oh, right, yes, absolutely, that makes sense. That focal piece. So it's giving you the look of a really, really heavy, chunky structural wire, um, but it means you can add in wire work as well. And like I say, hinges are really good. So if you want to do lockets or work with your copper sheet, you know, hinge bangles, it, it works beautifully there. But what you're looking at is you've got a lot of, um, a lot of, copper mm. um and it looks you know it looks chunky but it's actually it's it's you know it's it's, it's not too heavy no absolutely um beautiful 2.4 millimeters it is brand new by the way we haven't had this before yeah it's um so i i worked with um lovely sam to to create these because it's things like you know I, bare copper is it, I, I think it's that, that midway between working with your you know your plated metals and your sterling silver mm. And it, agree. you just get such lovely, lovely results with it. Yeah, I totally agree. Gosh, I, I'm, I'm amazed by the prices of bare copper. That's fantastic. 
Four ninety nine for all three, and these lengths are what thirty centimeters. So you get three, almost a meter. That's brilliant. Ninety centimeters of bare copper tube. Goodness me, that's amazing. I remember when bare copper used to be absolutely quite that's, that's that's really good. And you know, there's nothing to stop you if you've maybe you've got your um, you know you're happy to work with your um, your saw if you've got you know a piercing saw. There's nothing to stop you from just creating your own spaces as well. Um, you can keep them straight, so you could oh, just like cut, little yeah tubes. go along maybe yeah maybe inch um, inch tubes. If you've got the the tools that are coming up, so if I sort of show you, so yeah. this is the tube here. Yeah, we've got this. So if we? you were going to work with your um, and just have your spacers, so you could just keep straight spaces like that. If you want to work with, so we've got some of these coming up. We're going to do those next, actually. Yeah, these are wonderful if you've got these. These would be very, very useful. So if I sort of show you there, and then you just cut cut here, so you can see those, that, that spacing there. So you think if you've got one gemstone and then lovely. a curved copper tube, that's going to, how lovely is that going to look? Oh, so these, these are so limited, though. Yeah, yeah. These are absolutely... Tube sold out, clear, I think. Yeah, it's, it's, a, very, it's, very a, yeah, it's a really great... That tube is wonderful. Would you, if, if you do cut it, Claire, would you recommend putting something through the centre? So I would put something buckle. through it, yeah, or, or ideally work with, um, work with your, your saw. So you, you're cutting it by uh, cutting through it rather than putting a, a, a pressure on it. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Top tip there. Yeah. So, so these, if you, if you haven't got these or you've only got one pair, I would absolutely grab these. These are one of my favourite. You do love these. I you? do love these because, so they just mean, um, you know, when you're, so something, uh, so the copper tube, um, they'll work with, but they also, you know, with your sheet as well, they work with, yeah. your wire work. So with something like this, you can see how I've got that nice curve there. It's, it's, a, it's a malleable metal, um, so you can shape it as well. But what you don't want, I mean, that's, that's a wonderful price. For a specialised tool that you will use, I, I promise you, all the time. If you do any sort of wire work, it's so good for that. Yeah. Um, but you can see, so I'm just going to go along here. And it also, when you're working with, um, if you look at this bangle, so this bangle is made up of several different pieces of wire. So if I sort of show you the wires that are involved there. So I've got a twisted square wire. I've got um, some uh, thicker round wire and then I've got the tube. So what I need to do with those when I'm making the bangle is I want to get a nice curve and an even curve with all of them together. So if I start going around like that, you can see it's neatening everything up. So, so you can see that is really, it's neatening up, it's straightening it out and it's giving me that lovely lovely curve and there's nothing to stop you from working so if I show you on so this is bear in mind this is the tube you can see how these work so it's not squashing it is it no also it's not hardening it, did you just say it will do because you're um you're sort of you've got the process of the um you're, you're shaping it aren't you as well but it's not going to mark the it's not going to mark it you see how lovely and straight and neat this is now So and to do see. that without these pliers, I guess, would be quite tricky. Yeah. So, so, I mean, there are ways, you know, if you've got different sorts of mandrels, you could shape it around a bangle mandrel. Um, but I would say this is, you know, and I love bangle mandrels and it's, and it's great to have all tools. I think this is a, a nice, easy um, way to, to do it. So I'd start. So when it's something like that, I start it out and then I open out. But there's nothing to stop you when I work with like, uh, you know, feature uh, bangles where I usually have the, um, say a cabochon in the middle, these are what I use. So if I sort of go the one way, so if I just cut a couple of bits of this, if you take, so if I cut two pieces here, so this is how I would start with most of the structure of my bangles when I know I want to have a, a, a focal piece in the middle. So if I go about in the middle and you can see there, so on mine, I've got that, uh, like a, a permanent marker here so I know the center point so if you go out sort of and straighten those out so we've got a slight curve there and then if we open it out and you line them back up that's where it gives you that lovely super neat central point so you can then oh yeah 
have that and then that goes into when you start to wire that together that would then sit and you know it's it's, it's neat because you've formed it around something so that's a great way of um, these are a really good way of just getting lovely nice nice curves or a bend beautiful well 14.99 they're at, yeah Brilliant. exactly and they're an investment that you will use moving forward as well yes yes you will and and like and like i say your um it works if, if i sort of show you as well can i just reach over here so if we look at these so this is the sheet can you see how that is working oh, as well? okay. and it's not marking look at that so you can see yeah how that's working as well they're Perfect. absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant Perfect. Um, okay. Well, okay. Shall, shall I bring the wire? Yes. And then yeah. So so and I can then just show you the, so, sort of yes. the setup of that of, makes of sense, doesn't it? And I can show you. So the these pattern. are the wires that you used in that. So bunker. so these these wires are slightly different. So this is you know we talked about. Um, it, so it will give you the look. These <laughs> wires give you the look of um, a, a polished. Yeah. bare copper but these have actually so it stays so it won't oxidize these have actually got a, a oh, coating okay. on top so it's not like a raw bare copper that you wouldn't be able to use these with your liver of sulfur okay righto okay so um so you're getting three 10 meter coils four six and eight but as you've said claire and you showed us in that bangle it's yeah. actually really nice to get those the differences. Well, it's nice colours. to have. Yes, the, the 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 two together, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a nice it's a nice look, definitely. So you're getting all three 30 meters um, of your beautiful bare copper. Should we do it? In we do great little, gauges. Should we do a little Christmas Eve deal? Yeah. There's a hundred available. Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Which, by the way, you don't you know. If you're not a wire worker, you still use these gauges of wire, don't you? Things like rosary linking and... Yeah. Uh, uh, or... You need another sausage roll. <laughs> Five, that's two pound a reel. That's very good, isn't it? Very, oh very good. Oh, my you, you know, if goodness. You, if you look at... I mean, you can see <coughs> it's a, such a lovely colour and the fact that so you've got your 0.4, so you're weaving, um, binding wires there. Um, 0.6 of so your rosary linking and then if you're if you've got you know good dexterity as well or you get used to it you can weave with that as well um, and then you've got your 0.8 so you could do all your findings out of that if you wanted to um, your more structural wire so yeah how awesome brilliant. is that I remember really reels good. Would, would have been well every single one of the reels was more than 5.99 yeah. wasn't it yeah way back Absolutely. when we were in the old studio yeah though. yeah um they were they were at least 6.99 yeah they were if not more they were. Um, but you're getting all three of them today and we've got a hundred opportunities do make sure you check out your baskets on these even if you don't consider yourself to be a wire worker we're going to need them aren't we yeah and it's um, such a popular color you know you look at some of the cabochons and things that we've had yeah. we talked about how beautifully it goes with um uh you know like that coppery color yeah um you know, it does. It, go, it goes with an awful lot. And um, we've still got, by the way, there's almost like little mistletoe or, or berries yes. um, to come as well. And of course, the big sort of connectors. Yeah, no, I love those connectors. Um, it's it's really nice. So I think actually, are you going to do the connectors now? Are you do doing... you want me to? Uh, do you want us to? I do think the they. I think they are. Um, they're nice, and I think they are quite unusual. So you've got here, um, and these are again. These are I think more of a, a brass than a bare copper. Um, yeah. So I have had to go with. Um, putting them in the liver of sulfur. Love it. These are so these are so nice. The detail that you've got on them, they're just really, really unusual. We'll be bringing the graphics for these in a short while. Um, do make sure you check out your baskets on your bare copper. That's an absolutely bonkers deal on your reels of wire. Again, just to recap, you've got 0.4, um, 0.6 and 0.8 um, in these three reels. So they'll uh, even if you're not necessarily a wire worker, they're going to be absolutely perfect for, for things like, I don't know, your briolette wraps and your wrap loops and, yeah. you know, all, all manner um, of techniques. Yeah. Um, we had a hundred of them. Ella, Tina, Dagmar, Yvette, Lynn, Helen, Patricia, Janet, Denise, Johnny, Sarah, uh, Carol, Carolyn, Ruth, Jill, Margaret, Gail, Shropshire, Kerry. Congratulations. Do make sure you're checking out. Um, so do, did you want to do these now? Yeah, well, we could yeah. do either of those. But yeah. OK. Yeah. Let's do, well, uh, forgive me. They're actually more pendants, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. But what you can do, so, um, I mean, they are they are lovely. Just put them on a, um, a jump ring and on a chain and they've got a lovely weight to them, haven't they? And, and the detail um, 
Like chrysanthemums. Yeah, yeah. But it's again, it's a, you know the, the the layers that you're getting with that um, that detail. They are really really nice. Look at that. You see, you've got the sort of layers within. It's like almost uh, two dimensional, isn't it? How beautiful! So, and they really work with the copper. They do work really well. So if I, if I pass that one over to you, so that one's actually been in the liver of sulphur. Um, so you can see the, the effect. So it takes a little bit of it and it gives it that um, sort of oh, like that, that vintage look. So what I wanted with mine is that, um, so I wanted to have it that um, I was using the one side um, as a connector to it. And then I've, I've connected <coughs> it. Um, and and I've also used it in the, in the forming pliers. So you can I was going to say you've good. created a curve. Yes, yeah. So yeah. you can actually form these too with those pliers. Absolutely, those pliers are genius. Six ninety nine. So good, there. isn't it? So good. Um, absolutely beautiful. Really, really lovely. And you're getting three of them. I know. So you think there? So yeah. Sold out. Well done. Well done. Okay, we'll take it away. Okay, so. Tubing sold out too. I'll tell you what's still available. The findings pack. So I'll bring that to your screens. Not many though. There are um, 19 available right now. And any questions that you have for lovely Claire, message us via the website. You can do that all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And um, there's a little box there for you to drop a message. Okay, so I'm gonna show you if you wanted to if you wanted to make the um if you wanted to make uh, this wire work bangle uh, and you've got the pieces um, of how you'd work it because this is where the tube really, really comes into its own. So if, um, and I've, I've very, very sensibly cut uh, one of the pieces of wire that I actually need to, so um, we'll have to use our imagination here. So you can take, um, uh, so I've got a piece of tube. So that's gonna be sort of like the central part, the spine. And then I've got I've got some twisted uh, twisted square wire um, and some of the uh, the round wire as well. So the the sort of the pattern that is going to be uh, with this is I'm going to have um, if we look at it like that. So I've got the round wire, then I'm going to have the square wire, then I'm going to have my um, the central spine which is the tube, and then the square. And then the round. So that is the that's the pattern if you want to do it. And like I say, the um, the inside is actually looks a lot better than the, the outside in as much as you can really see the um, the twisted wire here. So when you're doing it, just watch your um, watch how you, your tension and your position, um, your holding of the wires. So th like I say, this is where the tube really really comes into its own because what I want to try and do is I'm going to try and include this binding wire into um, into the piece so I don't have to add it in um, afterwards. So I'm gonna feed my wire and I've used the bare copper that's out of the, the wire in the findings pack, so the 0.6. So I'm, I've got my length of tube and I'm gonna feed that through. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming around here and that's gonna go all the way there. So I'm gonna pick up the wires and obviously you would have longer than I've got here and it's gonna go like this I'm gonna line all of these up but what this means now is I can then start to wrap around so I'm gonna start and just take your time. It gets easier as it goes on. So making sure that these aren't gonna come out of shape. So then I'm gonna squeeze that down. And I'm gonna hold. And with each wrap, so if I bring that round, I'm gonna go in and squeeze down. Not too much on the tube, although the tube is quite solid. And I'm gonna get a few more wraps in there. And you can see how, so when I'd done mine, I actually formed it. So I'd formed the shape first and then I wrapped it. But what's actually happening as well is that that wire, the, the square wire is pushing itself to the back. So I think I'd be tempted if you want to recreate this is maybe do it flat and then get the curve with the forming pliers because then you can see which one is gonna work better. 
with, with, you know, where you're, um, the position of your wires. So I've got the wrap, the, the wraps binding them here, and then to get, give that detail, so if we look at it, how it's sort of going across here, I'm gonna angle my wire going across, sort of maybe about um, sort of inch, and I'm gonna hold here with my thumb, and again, so I'm going to now come down, so it's coming down at the back. One, two, three, four. So whether you do four, I'm going to do five on these. So whatever I've done on that, on that one, I want to make sure I've got on the next. So I'm just going to make sure these haven't come out of position. And again, give that a pinch there. So you can see how by just having the, the tube, you know, the different, um, different sorts of wire there and being able to do that liver of sulfur, how it's just a very, very simple wrap, but because you're binding the wires, it gives you that lovely interest and effect with the, the wires and the copper. So you just keep going. And if we have a look there, so you can see, so, Make sure you don't do like I have there and cross the wires over, but you can see you've got, you could choose whether you have, um, so that's gonna be the, the front, but then you've also got this long part of the wire there. So there's nothing to stop you when you've reached the end. If you want to then come back, you could then go across. So I'm losing it in there. And then coming across there. So you can see now how that's giving you that effect, which in the copper, that's what that looks like. You then go along, you can turn your ends in. So either you um, uh, just turn them in with your chain nose pliers. So if I sort of show you what mine looks like in here, obviously that, that one, the copper tube is gonna be a little bit tougher than the others, but you can get there, just really grip it firmly and turn it in. Um, and you can see how that then looks. Look and that's that. going to go like that. Claire, it's beautiful. Absolutely nice, beautiful. Nice, isn't it? And it's been lovely that you've got, we've had literally all the components to make these yes. pieces. Yes, brilliant. There's really just good. two more to squeeze in. Yeah. Featured in, in yeah, lovely designs. Lovely, lovely. And if you particularly like those almost, I don't know, they kind of remind, they could be, I guess, because we're on the festive mood, they could be classed as sort of mistletoe. But I also think these look very um, Grecian. Yes. Don't they? You yeah, know, yeah, like it's... almost like laurel. Yeah. 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 Oh, they They work so nice. And again, these are so you if you want them flat, they'll they'll work and they'll you, you know you've got oh, you've so if you want those. earrings, they can work as well. So you could you know you can have them so that they're going sort of either side. I form use the forming pliers again. Um a nice, few... nice bail on them. So that's that's gone onto, you know, like a substantial wire as well. Yeah. Um, and then just on that extendable bangle. So pretty, aren't it's they? Gorgeous, so isn't pretty. It? Um, you've got obviously the six of your laurels um, or leaves, um, and then you've got the little, little, uh, little. Oh, they sold out. Wow, they flew. Absolutely flew out the door. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, um, Claire, absolutely awesome. And if you love the idea, if you're just sort of really getting exciting about, uh, about sort of metal smithing really um then make sure you stay with us for the 12 o'clock hour also yeah. because claire's got sterling silver and don't be frightened of working with sterling silver as well it's actually you always say don't you much easier it is yeah it's lovely to much work much with, easier yeah. um yeah. so we've got amazing kits textured sheets coming up at 12 o'clock we've got a brand new tool yes which is exciting i mean look at the rings look at the jewelry that claire has made and um, they're the spinner rings just at the top um look at those i mean i would never even have entered it's lovely. Being able to create something like this, Claire. So nice. So make sure you're with us from 12 o'clock today. Now, also coming up, lovely jewelry makers, it's been a busy Christmas Eve. We have some of the most incredible pearls. The most incredible pearls. They're your deal of the day. Are we doing these now or after the break? Okay. Um, not long to wait for these. They're natural purple pearls. Oh my yeah. word. 
Now these have been specially per, uh, yeah, yeah. First time ever be actually available outside of a kit. These have been under lock and key, especially for Christmas Eve. Um, and they've also planned a very, very, very exciting Christmas Eve deal. Now this is the most exclusive deal of the day I've ever done. There are, how many did you say 20? Sorry, 24. Completely natural. When they say purple, this is, you know, pure purple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, oh, Ross, 10 minutes approximately until we bring you the deal of the day. There are only 24. I know there's a lot of people messaging into the studio wanting, oh, my goodness, Ross, there's 24. <laughs> Shall we put it available on pre-order, then? Yes. I'm not going to tell you, that. sit here and say that these are... They are going to be more of a considered purchase. The quality of the pearls are absolutely amazing. Oh, really? Ross is saying, L, you think that? They're drop shapes as well. Mm, We're already way lower than we should be. Wayne's not here. He's off for Christmas now. Just got probably jet lagged as well from his trip back from Vegas. Um, yeah, he went to Vegas too. I know. Did something very exciting, did our Wayne over in yeah. Vegas. Um, anyway. We're going to put these available on pre-order. We're at a £1,000 and we are going significantly lower, Ross. I think, I tell you what, I think you're feeling very brave putting these on pre-order now. Two have gone. These have slipped through the net in terms of... Um, in, well, they were, they were reserved for today's show, especially. First time ever ex available outside of a kit. But the Christmas Eve deal is we're going to go even lower than the one that was actually discussed in the board meeting. Right, OK, let's do... Oh, my goodness, Claire, on the back of your, your ah. creations, this is so perfect. Um, we're going to bring you another beautiful ice white translucency, white jadeite master carvings in a stop Sorry. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't. Adam's in the festive spirit. Uh, uh, all the while this hour, I've just heard him going, and Orion! And Orion! He's probably got the... Yep, literally, so funny. You can't, you, do you know what you reminded me of? Have you ever seen that video of the cockatiel with, uh, um, with the cup? Have you ever seen that? Oh, no. Oh, it's so funny. On YouTube, Google it, cockatiel with a, with a plastic beaker. And he's just, I love cockatoo. Is it cockatiels or cockatoo? Cockatoo. And they literally, he's there going, ha, <laughs> ha, just having a whale of a time. It cracks Brilliant. me up. Yeah, things like that. And there's one of him stomping around. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we all laughed. What did, did Adam just say? We just, he just did the counting us back in, didn't he? But in a... In a very jovial northern accent, yeah. yeah. Right then. Um, I, this is one of my favourite carvings. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's it's ice white. And what that's referring to is your translucency. Jadeite is different to your diamonds. It's not the four Cs. Um, I suppose it is to a certain degree, but not in the same way. Um, so obviously you're looking for carrot weight. You, with, with jadeite, you're looking for colour. Well, this is ice white. You're looking for translucency. This is ice translucency. You're also looking for artistry. Well, let me just show you this. That's exquisite. Isn't it's it? beautiful. Mm. Are we going to do a Christmas Eve deal on this? Yes. There are 45 available. I love this piece because if you can imagine, if I just kind of hold it against, look how look how beautifully it That's sits gorgeous. against yeah. the skin. It's stunning. It kind of lays mm. against the skin. Um, it's, it's not too big. It's not too small at the same time. Let me just grab my mobile phone so I can show you that ice translucency again. Um, I was prepared today, so I'm not constantly going, done, done, done. Um, look at this. 
absolute look you can see from there beautiful translucency wow. and let me just draw it away oh, and then you can wow. really appreciate that a skill the skill the the curves of this beautiful leaf i love it i absolutely love it can i just throw this one out there it'd be really nice with your pea pods yes it would yeah and scale wouldn't it it's a funny sentence isn't it your pea pods be lovely with your pea pods <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it like that as well. It's, it's your it's, wire work would be lovely with yeah, that. Yeah, with it? your kit, yeah, Claire, yeah. most definitely. Um, love that. Right, it's Kiss from Steve. We've all got a definite, a definite sort of spring in our steps today. We've brought you some amazing, some mad deals. We're about to do it in the deal of the day as well. We're going to absolutely do it with this. I've only got 47, though. First price crash, not what you were paying. So, um, you need artistry. Tick, 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 tick. This is hand carved, oh. not machine carved like a faceted diamond. Hand carved. First price crash, under £50. You've got ice translucency and you have pure white colour. Think back to what Richard Wise said. A jadeite jade with pure white colour, a moderate translucency should be considered the finest of its type. In a minute... We're going to do a Christmas Eve deal. Why not? How about... We're already less than a pound of carrot. This. Okay, so the pea pod... Um, yeah, the lowest price white jade that we've ever done, we said earlier on. Oh, yeah, I don't think we have done ice jade lower than £50. I totally agree with you. Totally, totally agree with you. I mean, it's madness that it's less than a pound per carat already. This is literally, remember, shaped, sorry, created by Mother Nature and shaped by human hands. Mm -hmm. We talk about... Uh, um, we talk about uh, about artistry and that wow factor. Sotheby's have got that article that I shared with you only yesterday. That wow factor. This has it and then some... Um, we've got 47 though, or rather we had, again, straight away, lots of collectors getting involved. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's that love. It, it is a, described as a leaf, but it could also be like a bud, I think, like a flower mm, bud. Yes, yeah. Like a hop, yes, very nice. £34.99 for a type A ice jadeite. 53 carats. You're actually closer. Is it, 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 am I right? Is my maths right here? You're actually closer to 50 pence a carat than you are one pound a carat. Is that right? Is my maths correct there? I think so. Cynthia, Suzanne, Sonia, it's 66p per carat. Goodness me. Um, Sonia, Victoria, London, Richard, Lorna, load of multi buyers. Suzanne's got two, Sonia's got three, Dorset's got three, Lorna's got two, Julie, Susan, Heather, Helen, Victoria, Buckinghamshire, Lynn, Julie, Ayrshire, Maker, West Yorkshire, Moira, Janice. I only had 47 opportunities. I love this one. I think it's so sweet. Um, I'm envisaging, you know, like if you had a lovely bale and then just did like a tendr like tendrils coming Ooh, down. Like wisteria. Yeah, just just a couple maybe just coming down. Just you know, the ones that wisteria at hold on with. Yes. Yeah. There's probably a name, isn't there? Yeah, a horticultural yeah. name. Like a like that swirl, just yeah. like a couple coming across. Yeah. I think would be that sounds beautiful. In your bare copper. Yeah, lovely. Do it in your bare copper. Yeah. I think that'd be stunning. £34.99. pence. As my director has just said, happy Christmas, everybody, because that definitely is a Christmas deal, isn't yes. it? Definitely a Christmas deal. Fill your stockings, says Adam. <laughs> uh, you fill your stockings? He says, I have. Um, <laughs> shoes. He's wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure you check out those baskets lovely jewelry makers we've still got so much to bring you your dealer day is on pre-order they're already going as well first time out of a kit the most insane purple colour the most exclusive dealer day ever 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 um, we are going to be quite rebellious and we the management team said do it at this price that's a Christmas Eve saving that's amazing it's first time out of kit um, we're going to go basically. Okay, make sure you're with us. We'll be back after this. Happy Christmas, everybody. Hope you're having a lovely time. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Enjoy yourself. Eat lot, craft lots, and have a good time. 
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, actually, no, it is going to be Christmas day this weekend. And guess what? I am being joined by my beautiful little elf helper, the fabulous Susie Menham. Now, then, have you been good boys and girls? I think you probably have. We think you are anyway. So Father Christmas has given an answer to the list that I've asked for for you for Christmas Day. Would you like to know what it is? Yes, good. So let me tell you what we've got. So with the fabulous Susie Menham, of course it's pearls. We've got a pearl knotting and fresh water pearls kit, which she will work her magic on. Of course, it's Susie. Now listen to this. This is exciting. Rainbow Christmas compendium storage. We like a bit of storage, don't we? Jewelry making cloth in red because it's christmas and festive nephrite bangles and you know what our jade bangles are like these are brand spanking new for christmas day olmec jadeite carved ring oh, oh, oh yeah we do and listen to this a brand new vod what's a vod video on demand oh alan does that mean it's downloadable oh we've only waited 12 13 years for that fabulous brand new VOD video on demand. Oh, tutorial from Susie as well. So, lots more besides, lots of goodies. We always have a great time on Christmas Day. We might just crack open a bottle of bubbles. I haven't been drinking, honestly. So do please join us this coming Christmas Day for the wonderful, wonderful festive show from 8am till midday. Merry Christmas, jewelry makers. I hope you have a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to thank you for all your continued support throughout this year and to let you know how much you've inspired me. So I'd just like to wish you all, from the bottom of my heart, a very Merry Christmas. I hope that 2023 brings you peace and happiness with lots of opportunities for happy dancing moments. So once again, wishing you a very Merry Christmas from me. And not forgetting Tilly. Make sure you join us on Boxing Day. We've got Claire McDonald and an amazing show. The deal of the day is a silver framed South Sea Pearl Pendant with Zircon. We've also got the bangle forming tool. We've also got loads of basket openers and we've got an incredible hematite selection as well. We'll see you on Boxing Day. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Firstly, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your kindness and support throughout what has been quite a tough 2022 for us here at Chestnut Close. We've got through it all, we've got through it all with your help, so massive thank you first of all. And secondly, and most importantly, I'd just like to wish each and every one of you the happiest of Christmases and the most peaceful and safest of New Year's. Take care. Sorry, we just, I've just been laughing, that's all. Hobby maker are going to come into the studio and think... <laughs> I think everyone in the building might, because I've just taken it out there, so... Oh, have you? Have you just yeah. left it in the corridor? No, no, I did wash it out, but... Yeah, it's a bit stinky everywhere now. Um, anyway, right, serious head on, serious head. Uh, this is easily the most exclusive deal of the day I've ever done in my uh, 10 years, 11 actually, 11 years of being with you. Um, and they are just astonishingly beautiful, uh, astonishingly beautiful. I, uh, I think is we could talk about this and ordinarily, I guess, if you were looking at pills like this, you would be probably sat down with a probably nice glass of something, talking to uh, um, um, the pearl expert, 
uh, who would have the time to talk to you about the five virtues, would be have the time to talk to you uh, about the rarity of the colour. And I'll try and condense as much of that conversation into this one presentation. But please know that um, there are only or were only 24 opportunities. I know a lot of you have that wealth of knowledge anyway. But so just quickly, when it comes to pearls, you have your five virtues. That's really the, 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 the valuing factors. So you have the size, how big the pearl is. Um, they aren't measured in carat weights They are because they're organic gemstones. They are measured by millimetres. The larger the pearl, generally speaking, the, la the more expensive they are. Um, these pearls as well, when we look at a strand, and I think it's so easy to overlook this, that would be one mollusk per pearl. One mollusk. So to get that, 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 that continuity of colour, that uniformity of colour, is will have taken, no doubt about it, years to acquire that amount in one strand. So that's why they fetch the five-figure price points in most retailers. Um, so one mollus per pill. Then we start talking about the shape. Now, many people think that the spherical pills fetch the highest price point. And yes, to some extent they do, but I have to say Baroque pills and Keshi pills are, are, are dramatically increasing in terms of the price point and desirability. Drop pills, if you think of La Peregrina, the La Peregrina pearl, which was, you know, Elizabeth Taylor wore, um, the reason, one of, one of the many reasons that was so expensive was because it was a, a perfect drop shape. Well, you've got a strand of drops here a strand of them. Then you start talking about colour. Naturally coloured pearls, not dyed, are a real anomaly of nature in actual fact, because if you think about a mollusk, think about, I don't know, the black lip oyster, say the Tahitian pearls, um, they're black because the oyster itself has a black uh, uh, sort of shell effectively and it passes that color it secretes that nacre um, to produce the pearl itself that's one one particular species that produces that now you can get black ones you can get gold ones you can get white ones but there's a very 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 rare hybrid form of mollusk that now is producing these amazing natural colors Go back, I don't know how many years, I'm, I'm stipulating here, maybe so I'm guessing, I don't know, decades ago, you wouldn't have seen purple pearls of this intensity of colour. Very rare that you would see them in a full strand. And if you did, they were displayed, they were showcased to the world. Um, an example just here, alongside a red coral necklace worn by Sophia Loren, alongside the most unbelievable, can you see that, 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 that maid pearl as well? Just, these are so high-end and so astonishingly expensive. That was actually displayed at Tucson, the largest gem fair in the world, number nine I'm referring to, by the way. And read, this, read the details. Uh, pearl necklace, cultured Chinese freshwater pearls, not saltwater, um, and the reason why it's in there is because of the uniformity and the quality of that colour. So I've discussed the colour. These are natural, not dyed. Then we start talking about the nacre. So the nacre is a little bit like our skin. Um, so as the pearl, uh, or the oyster rather, or mollusk is secreting that nacre over many, many years, and these will have been many, many years because of the size that they are, um, you want that, 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 that nacre to be smooth. You want it to be smooth, you want it to be nice and thick. Um, because the thicker the nacre moves on to the next fifth virtue, the more luster that you get, which if you speak to the likes of Charlie Barron, he will say that's the most important of your five virtues. They should be almost mirror-like um, in terms of their luster. These are, as I said, astonishing in terms of all of those criterias. And I, I've, it's, it's, it's very, very, very naughty of me almost, quite frankly, to say, oh, we've only got 24 of these. I should have just one opportunity. And that's the thing. If you were to see these at Sotheby's or Yoko of London, they would probably only have one example of that piece of jewellery. There's Yoko of London, who, who, are, who are offering right now the Novus necklace, a freshwater pearl with 18 carat rose gold, price on application, well, we did apply, and it's 22 and a half thousand pounds, that necklace. So 
Uh, and do you know what? They're not wrong with that price tag because when I take myself back to when I first started experiencing pearls as high end as these, when I was in my early 20s, completely out of my depth in terms of the, the you know, the, the, the price points and the level of luxury, these were even then, some 24 years ago, five figured pieces of jewelry. So Yoko of London is not wrong with that 22 and a half thousand price tag. I was, I was experiencing that back in my early 20s. I can tell you these are not gonna be anywhere near, anywhere near that price tag today. Um, we have brought them to you before. They have been brought to air in the most luxurious kit that we possibly have ever compiled. Today is the first time that they are available outside of a kit. And we're also taking them to a Christmas Eve deal, lower than the Christmas Eve deal that was actually authorized by the powers that be. Um, we bring you exceptional quality pearls here. I actually go as far as saying that I think it's one of our greatest strengths here at Jewelry Maker is the quality of pearls that we offer to our audience. This is probably in my top five because they're drops, because they are that intense in their purple color, because they are as sizable as they are, because they're as lustrous as they are. And I don't want to talk about the price that we're going to because that really shouldn't be as part of the conversation. The reality is we should be sat in, in, a, in a guarded uh, uh, luxury jewelers. We should be sat across a table from one another talking about money that would really, okay, we've only got 18 now, well done collectors. Please, 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 at some point, and I totally get it, I know it's expensive to do so, but get it valued when, when it's complete as a finished necklace. I personally think this should go with gold, but that's your call, totally your call. Um, get it valued and get them insured. We are about to make this deal of the day available. It has been on pre-order. There are 18 left. Huge congratulations to those of you that have already secured theirs. You know, we are going to save some of the best pieces that we have ever acquired for your Christmas, Christmas shows. We are, we always do. This is, this is, this is years, we plan all year for your Christmas Eve, your Christmas Day shows. We, we do, fact. And I absolutely think we're delivered. And the deal of the day is the biggest auction of the day. It, not necessarily in quantity, but definitely, definitely in terms of quality. Um, I think these could sell out very, very quickly. I know what they're going to. Frankly, it is, it, it, it's astonishing, unfathomable. I have to say, please know that that's no reflection of the true value. The first price crash is already way too low, way too low. We're gonna go straight into three figures. Claire, have you, I mean, you, You've seen a lot of beautiful quality pearls here at mm. Jewelry Maker. Again, I do think it's one of our greatest strengths uh, as, as a channel. Um, and you've got to remember, we travel all around the world to make these acquisitions possible. But this would have taken years to acquire one single mollusk that would probably have been, and this is again, that mollusk will have had to have matured for about three to five years to gain a, a size of about this big. It'd be almost dinner plate size. Um, but and you think, what? What, what, what? Oh, your smaller pearls will go on smaller mollusks. Mussels can even create pearls. These wouldn't be mussels. These would have been huge in terms of their size. But they have to be that size to be able to house a pearl of, of, of look at the measurements here, up to 13 millimetres in their size. Let me show you this, this, this photograph. It's not the prettiest of pictures, granted. But that, pearl, that, that clam, it's literally a clam shell. Look at where the pearl is situated and you understand why it's rare to get that purple color because a pearl naturally forms more centrally, um, sort of in amongst sort of the flesh um, of the mollusk itself. It's purple because it's on the circumference, but look how small it is. Now like multiply the size and then consider that anomaly of nature in color. I think in it color. is, I mean, that, that it's, it's a real wow, standout, memorable strand, isn't it? And I think one of the things is, yes, is the color of them, but it's the size as well on these, isn't and it? And they're the, drops. Yeah, yeah. The next price crash. We're starting to get really serious. 
We aren't closing at the next price crash, though. Look at that. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. Look at that drop. Oh. Oh. Do you see why I say these are in my top five pearls mm. that I've ever seen? Not just here at Jewelry Maker, that I've ever seen. Natural purple drop pearls. Years of time investing into making your strand possible. Years. Because not every single cultured pearl will have this beautiful colour. Very, very, very few will have this purple colour naturally in any harvest. And we're not stopping at 499. Of all the Christmas shows that we bring you, I have to tell you, I think this is probably one of my favourite deal of the days. Are you ready? If you miss out, wish list it. You can get this home today, which is crazy, under £100 on your split payments, £399. Because, I mean, I'm just thinking, like, they are, aren't they? You, you could absolutely have those as individual yeah. pendants. And, and, and at... charge more than what's on your screens yeah. right now. Yeah. Charge more than what's on your screen for a single pearl. I will count them for you in a second. We had 24 opportunities straight away. I can tell you there are high-end retailers shopping with us right now. We've got no problem with that whatsoever. Absolutely not. What do you think they're going to do with them? Are they going to knot them with silk? Are they going to put them with an 18 carat or even a platinum, um, a, 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 a platinum clasp? Most probably. And then are they going to sort of ask uh, uh, for the, the, the uber high-end price tags that I've experienced in the past? Most definitely. Um, most definitely, because that's exactly, exactly what this kind of pearls deserves and commands within the high-end market. £399 for some of the most beautifully intense natural purple pearls. We've got people multi-buying. I mean, how incredible is that, that you can multi-buy um, on a strand of this length? 40 centimetres. Let me count them, though, because you have got a really beautiful graduation. So the difference in the sizes goes sort of down, um, starting from the smaller, not small by any stretch of the imagination. They're still over that milestone of 10 mil, which is a bit like I, I asked the question once to a pearl expert. I said, what's the difference in size if you were to put like your diamond hat on? And they said, OK, a 10 millimetre pearl, whether it's salt water or fresh water, um, is like the equivalent of a three carat diamond solitaire. That's how rare pearls of this scale are. A three carat diamond solitaire is the equivalent of a 10 millimetre size pearl. This is the, by the way, you know, I said we were going to take it, take it to a Christmas Eve price, but we were going to go surpass what the management told us to do. This is your management price. In a minute, that's exactly what we are going to do. You can get this home for less than £100, but we're going to give you even more, even more of a saving. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 30, huge, all the five Cs natural purple metallic pearls um if you oh, i just don't wait please don't wait you've got that 30 day money back guarantee you don't have to take my word for it no it's not going to take you long to find the prices and the rarity and all that information that i share with you and i've kind of, kind of, kind of condensed into this deal of the day presentation it's not going to take you long to realise just how incredibly valuable such an opportunity like this is. In six seconds, it is happening. This is what our management team told us to do. They instructed us £399 for this grade of pearls. It's in my top five pearl opportunities that I've ever brought to you here at Jewelry Maker. And to be honest, even outside um, of, uh, of my presenting career here, that's crazy absolutely crazy i mean look, look look you're probably i don't know three meters away from me right now have you ever seen pearls with that intensity of color before and it's completely natural and the uniformity of that yeah. of, you know when you realize how rare they are to have like 
an entire strand of them is amazing. In drop shapes. Yeah. We don't see the drop shapes and that's because of the rarity of them. We're so massively over allocated. Please don't let that put you off though because it does take confirmations to secure these. Jeanette in Hertfordshire, you've got yours. Yvette in West Midlands, you've got yours. Janet in Merseyside, you've got yours. Shaleen in Middlesex, you've got yours. Richard multi-buying, you've got yours, amazing. London's multi-bought as well. Joanne in Lanarkshire, Pamela in Devon, Maker in London. Um, again, these are literally top five, in my eyes, pearls that we've ever brought to your screens. I don't think you're gonna disagree with me at all. The quality of the color, the quality of the shape, the quality of the luster is just, uh, it's unprecedented. This is the quantity that we have left. Oh, gosh. Out of the 24, it's so exclusive, this deal of the day. But I tell you what, again, that's me kind of giving myself a, splack, uh, a smack on the, uh, on the back of the hand, saying, L, look, we should only have one. Mm. That's the thing. Mm. I should only have one opportunity, not 24 opportunities. Um, again, I do think it's one of Jewelry Maker's greatest strengths, the quality of the pills that they bring to their audience. As long as you understand, though, that that's not the true reflection of the value. Valentina, well done. Lincolnshire, well done. Sonia in London, well done, lovely. Taking us down to the final six. Oh, stunning. Um, I've got Maker in London with two in their baskets. I've got uh, Abiola with two in her basket. I've got Jill in Yorkshire, Carol in Cheshire, Morag in East Lothian, uh, Elspeth in Dorset, Amanda in Hampshire, Victoria in Kent with two. Uh, Sussex, you've got yours in your basket. Moira in Perth and Kinross, you've got yours in your basket. I've literally got six left. I'm over allocated. Some people will be missing out today. I'm ever so sorry about that. Um, yeah, get it home. They, they are literally miracles quite frankly um mm. absolute miracles um i can see the bidder, anonymous bidder on the phone as well congratulations to you all you're not alone in this opportunity you are sourcing you are purchasing alongside uh, and i can't say their names because of the um basically uh confidentiality but you are purchasing alongside luxury jewelry brands right now and i don't blame i don't blame them for purchasing because quite frankly 299 is way lower you think look 222 pounds for that yoko of london necklace mm. you purchase this well uh, uh, uh i'd say let's call it 10 percent. yeah just because i'm rubbish at maths um look at the margin look at the price mm. that they can actually generate and they're not wrong it's us that's incorrect in the price that we're bringing to air. Lincolnshire, you've got yours amazing. I've also got another collector on the app in Surrey. There are two opportunities. What is it? Sorry, it's not 10%, it's 1%, isn't it? Yes, thank you, Adam. London's just got three, well done. Well done. I've got one remaining, one single. Have you ever seen such mirror-like luster? No, it's every, it takes every box, doesn't it? Really and then does. some, yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen such uniformity? That's again. If I had the time, I would discuss things size, like size. I think yeah. it's the size of them, size, shape, color, yeah, everything, luster, everything. But also, they talk about the uniformity in a strand. Mm. So really, there's six virtues. Yes. Um, when yeah. we're talking about strands like this, because uniformity, absolutely. You got to remember, these won't have been sourced from, from maybe just one harvest. Mm. This would have been years, years and years and years of harvest. So to create a strand like this or ultimately your necklace or whatever you choose it to be i personally wouldn't separate these just because i think they look so amazing mm. together uh, <clears throat> you've uniformity absolutely adds to the value uh, 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 and the luxury of your piece of jewelry um has it gone oh there's literally one left but so over allocated unbelievable absolutely unbelievable well done ross I did a presentation um, not so long ago on Keshis. And the reason why I'm asking you um, for that is because I noticed that this, if I can find it on my sheet, when I was prepping for today's show, they're Tahitian. And you know that, that presentation I showed you, I think it was Asile, um, showed Tahitian Keshis in their jewellery. So what is a keshi pearl? Again, not everybody knows. A keshi pearl, they're little stowaways. They're not instigated. What that basically means is they're a natural anomaly of the culturing process. You can't call them natural pearls, even though it's really what they are. Because, because they are culturing pearls, 
Um, but they, there's no nuclear speed in the centre of a Keshi. So they would be like, so, I don't know, like winning the lottery effectively when, you're, when, when you are actually sort of harvesting the pearls. Can I read this? Have I got time to read this? Okay. Um, so this is from Asal, not my words, but it's a really lovely, uh, uh, lovely uh, um, retailer <coughs> that's very passionate about Keshi pearls. Um, and they say, what are Keshi pearls uh, and how to wear them? So you can see they've all got these really lovely quirky shapes. One of the many types of pearls, the brightest luster comes from the Keshi pearl. Beloved for their organic silhouettes and their incredible high luster, Keshis are often used by jewellery designers to make an unusual, one-of-a-kind piece that stands out from the crowd and becomes wearable expressions of one's individuality. Keshis also create distinctive strands for the pearl lovers who need the occasional statement piece in her fine jewellery wardrobe. Ah. Oh. Look at those, the highest luster of all, because that is pure nacre. There, and it, was, it will talk about this in a second. There is nothing in the center, in the heart of those pearls that will block the light. Mm. So that's why they are almost mirror-like. Keshis are nothing but nacre. Because Keshi pearls do not form around a nucleus, they consist only of pure nacre. For this reason, Keshi pearls have the very highest luster. There is nothing inside to block the reflection of light, and that beautiful glow of Keshi luster is remarkable and almost breathtaking. Keshi pearls are highly prized and very valuable because they of their remarkable luster. Since they are purely precious material, they are sold by weight, like a, uh, like a gemstone, and when collected and designed into magnificent strands or a wearable work of art as jewellery they become even more valuable. Keshis form naturally during pearl cultivation and can form in any shape uh, sorry in any type um, of nacreous pearl. Uh, when a cultured pearl is developing inside an oyster sometimes the mollusk secretes more nacre than necessary. Nacre is that precious lustrous substances that make up a pearl. The excess nacre deposits uh, on the lip of the oyster and over time becomes a keshi. Because they develop in such a natural process, keshis always have organic shapes. Some are long and thin, others are compact and intricate. All are beautiful. And here's some of the pieces of jewellery that uh, a sale actually um, offer. They're, they're, they're just beautiful. You can see the different colours, the different variations, stunning jewellery and definitely all one of a kind. Um, because keshis are made up of pure nacre, there is nothing but nacre reflecting the light, uh, making them extraordinary lustrous. Keshi pearls shimmer and shine with amazing luster. Similar to precious gemstones, the colours and luster of keshis remain unchangeable throughout time. This well-known sheen has been admired for many generations and cultures. Known as the gift of the mermaids, Keshi pearls were worn with pride for centuries by princesses of um, a Arabian sorry, uh, kingdoms. Uh, their special luster creates a remarkable radiance when worn on the skin. Pile them high, near to the face in fun, chic styles um, and, and or in layers. Love that. And that's what we're seeing on those catwalk pictures. Look how beautiful these gold mm. colours are. I love the folds of the fabrics really sort of complementing as well the Keshi pearl. Um, but there is one photograph in particular I'm looking for, and it's this. Um, there we go. Two Tahitian Baroque and Tahitian Keshi pearl necklaces. Now, if you've seen this before in my presentation and said, oh, I love that. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Keshi pearl, in, uh, a, a, a Tahitian Keshi pearl. You have now. Because I have a strand of oh, Keshi nice. Tahitian pearls. Remember, they're not just long and thin. You can get all different shapes. You can have beautiful ring keshi, the keshi pearls, pure nacre, pure nacre. You are sourcing, still historically to this day, freshwater pearls absolutely are commanding at the same price points now as many of the saltwater varieties. In terms of historic history, Tahitian pearls um, are up there um, with some of the best. They are literally sung to Tahitian pearls. I mean, how amazing mm. is that? The mollusks are literally sung to. These are some of the most pampered mollusks in the world. Their, but, uh, you know, their exterior of the shells are literally uh, uh, sort of rubbed so no barnacles can literally form and sort of uh, uh, hinder their, um, their ability to feed uh, uh, and filter the water. These are super limited. I've only got 49 Tahitian Keshis. Certainly the first, first time I've ever brought Tahitian Keshi pearls to wear. Um, I've brought you Tahitian pearls. <clears throat> I have, but not 
not Tahitian cashies. Uh, sorry, not Tahitian cashies, full stop. Um, okay, and I know that these are going to um, something absolutely amazing. They're a brand new premiere opportunity, again, purchased exclusively for your Christmas Eve show. Aren't they pretty, Claire? They're like nothing else, aren't they? No. They're, they're wonderful. And that's the piece, that's the necklace that it's, I was it's, thinking it's of. It's ident, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. necklace from, uh, from our sale. Those are, as you can see, Tahitian Baroque and Tahitian Keshi Pearl necklace. How beautiful is that? And, I, I, and heaven knows what the price of it is. It's going to be astronomically expensive. They're Keshi Pearls, they usually are. So even if we were to say starting from £1,299, I truly believe that will rival the price of the necklace that was just photographed. That's not where we're stopping. I wish I had more, but the reality is Tahitian pearls are, it's a very small area um, that they're actually cultured, <clears throat> um, just uh, um, within the French Polynesia. Um, a very, very small area. It's all literally done by um, pearl harvesters who absolutely love what they do. They're so passionate about um, looking after these beautiful uh, oysters. It's the black lip oyster that will have produced this as well and um, that secretes that amazing dark body colour that is completely natural. Even at 499 pearls, Tahitian, as soon as you put that location or, or your source pearls from Tahiti, you should expect to have to invest because they are expensive. You get the most distinctive color. It shouldn't be three figures. Should we get it to a Christmas Eve price point though? Do you think that if we could have purchased 400 of these, we would have done? Mm. <clears throat> yes, we definitely would have done. Do you know how many we could purchase? And that was it? But nothing like that. We only were able to purchase 47. Mm. That's the rarity. When you start talking about single locations of Keshis, we purchased 47. We would have bought as many as we could. These are so featureable on our sister channel as well. Let's bring it to a Christmas Eve price point. I'm so confident that these will sell out. Again, you can make use of your wish list. It's that beautiful, deep, aubergine colour that you only get from the French Polynesia. Seriously, at £149. You've got to remember, like, Keshi pearls, freshwater Keshi pearls. These are saltwater Keshi pearls. Uh, freshwater Keshi pearls, they will be... The scale of harvesting is much bigger. Much, much, much bigger. But saltwater Keshi pearls, so when you're, when you're singling out, say, your South Sea um, or, or, or your Tahitian, the scale of harvesting is much, much, much smaller. So you are relying on those anomalies, those little stowaways of nature to occur. But it's not instigated. It's not prompted. Remember, this is where the, the, the oyster itself has secreted more nacre than needed. At £149... You can get these home today for less than £50. It's the only Tahitian Keshi that I've brought to air. That was never your Christmas Eve price point. Who would like these at double figures? That's crazy that you're saying that though, Ross, isn't it? You know, salt water Keshis, firstly. Tahitian Keshis. So you are talking about an area comparatively to produce a full strand of Tahitian Keshi pearls. You, this is so time invested because each harvest of pearls, not every oyster will generate a Keshi. They're li those little natural stowaways, those anomalies. Who wants these under a hundred pounds? In 60 seconds, it is going to happen. I've got 47 available opportunities. The Gemporia partnership would have bought more if they could. I know that because these are so, these are so Gemporia. Um, they could easily be, 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 I don't know, finished with your silks and your high-end gold. These could easily just have one of them, I don't know, maybe like our style did, sort of surrounding a tanzanite. I think there was a piece of jewellery mm. um, where your little Keshi surrounded a single tanzanite, or maybe it was a chalcedony, actually, for thousands of pounds. They are so Gemporia. So if we could have purchased more, we absolutely would have done. We were able to purchase 47, and already 20, well, 20 of them, 21. 
We're down to 25 quantity. That's the, how quickly these are going, because you recognise this rarity. They're so beautiful. Full of, full of luster because it is pure nacre. Remember, no little uh, nucleus bead to hinder and block the light. You just get this mirror-like luster, all completely unique. I've never seen that. I've never seen that before. Because you have almost got like the best, haven't you? You've got the, you know, the Tahitian and then that, the, the, all the best bits about it being a keshi, and then it's come together. And oh. it's, I, I, I've never seen anything like that. It's the beautiful, isn't Yeah, it? really, really beautiful. The colours are... And, and it's just that, that, that luster, isn't it? It's, a, it's totally different. It's, so it's astonishing. Down to the final 20. Well done, collectors, who've got hold of this. <clears throat> um, I, I, I've never done Tahitian Keshis on our screen before. I don't no. know if Carol has. I don't know if, if Zena has. I'm not sure. But I've never brought Tahitian Keshi pearls to air before. So, so different. It's, it's, they're brand new. They're so exciting. Mm. So, so, so rare. At £99, that's absolutely unbelievable. Even if, can, I, I don't know, Ross, can you flick forward? Because whether they're teaching, just show these pieces of jewellery, like this one here, and it doesn't matter about the location here. So you've got Keshi Pearl, Diamond, Connector, and so it's using three, and they're blown up massively. Um, they're actually quite delicate Keshi Pearls. The next piece. I love this. Mm. Absolutely love this. Look at the quality of the Morganite that these are framing. You can visualize creating things like this, can't you? That's the rarity of your Keshi pearls. South Sea Keshis. Um, there, just, 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 just a single South Sea Keshi on the bottom of a Chalcedony. Um, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're not huge. They aren't huge. Even if you brought it more affordably to somewhere like Monica Veneda, who, by the way, these are freshwater pearls, not saltwater. They're not Tahitian. You're talking 100 pounds, 112 pounds for a single Keshi pearl. They're freshwater. These are salt water and their Tahitian pearls. We're straight down to single figure quantities. Christine Buckinghamshire, Helen Dagmar, Amanda Lorna, Sarah Mary, Victoria London, another London's got three. Um, I've still got people with it in their baskets. Good luck Maurice, good luck Gloria, L Gloucestershire, Linda, Susan, sorry. Um, I've got just four left, I'll leave those with you. Oh my God. Have a look at them. Please. Yeah, of course. I've course, never course, seen course. anything like that. <gasps> Oh, there are nine of these. Oh my goodness, straight away, as soon as you pick them up, you can feel the size of these pearls. These have a hint. Beauties. A sash. Oh. Oh, look, that literally looks like a mermaid. It does, doesn't it? These are totally the and there. utterly natural. Oh my goodness me. First one's gone, well done. Look, you've got natural papaya colors. If they were dyed, you wouldn't get this mix. You would not get this mix. You wouldn't get this beautiful blend. These are what we call fireball pearls or Baroque, whichever you wish. But where you have oh, this wow. wonderful, almost like a, <clears throat> a, a blaze of nacre. When I was in Tucson earlier on this year, um, they sell them individually over there because, uh, and, and our suppliers, um, when we've actually approached them about further opportunities oh like word. this, yeah, that's incredible, <sighs> isn't it? Um, they've said, look, they are going to be sold individually because strands like this now are reaching 10,000 US dollars. Um, they're just amazing, absolutely amazing. Most retailers do actually sell them individually as opposed to a full Well, they're strand. fascinating, aren't they? Yeah. In individually, they're wow look at all of them no two will be exactly the same look at this one. Oh my goodness oh color gosh oh my goodness color <laughs> oh my goodness me the color <laughs> literally just stopped me in my tracks wait we're at 499 pounds we've got five left oh can you imagine mixing these with the deal of the day and mm. i know that sounds just uber indulgent it is indulgent i it is there's no two ways about it but that's what Christmas is all about, right? I know, they're Look unbelievable. How about we match the deal of the day price tag? 
It shouldn't happen. Listen, I, I can show you text messages. I can show you literally screenshots of exchanges of conversations with our pearl suppliers who have said, look, it's not impossible to continue to bring you a strand like this. It is expensive. So we already know, we already know this is irreplaceable at the price that's on your screen right now. It will be irreplaceable at a thousand pounds. It will be irreplaceable at two and a half, but quite possibly. They're saying this is going to take, it's five figures now to purchase strands like this. Because of those natural colors, you've got to remember we've just come through what the, the, the global pandemic that completely decimated pearl harvests. People couldn't get out to the mollusks, they couldn't get out to the oysters. So sadly, they were just lost to the sea. 299 pounds and it's not something you can just go okay we'll just press that button and, and and those oysters will make more pearls no they've got to mature them to the size to the size to be able to generate these this I just, scale the, uh, you know every, you just look at them and it's i mean the colors in these are absolutely amazing aren't they beautiful just, and then you go along and it's the next one the next one the next one that one there mm. i mean there's one left so i'll leave that with you Amazing, amazing, amazing. So beautiful. Oh, God. I love our pearls here at Jewelry Maker. I was just thinking that. They're so, they're so different, aren't they? And they're just, they are just beautiful, beautiful things. Now, maybe you're thinking, that's not in my budget right now, but I still want to get involved with the high-end Keshi pearls. So in an ideal world, Elle, what you've just said about them being sold individually, that would be right up my street. Don't you worry, because we do have natural colored Keshi pearls individually as well. Uh, I, again, I found there wasn't that many pearl suppliers over in Tucson because of obviously the pandemic. Um, so unfortunately, there were lots of empty tables. Um, but the ones I did see, they were bringing them, bring them to air, uh, bring them not to air, sorry, um, bringing them to, to wholesale singly. Now I've got 45. There's a one minute clock. We're going to do it in one price crash. It's almost a take it or leave it price. If you don't, okay, fair enough. Shall I say that? I think so, because we'll be com we're being completely transparent here. Um, right, if you don't want this Keshi Pearl at the price that we take it to, then I don't think we're ever going to be able to interest you in a Keshi Pearl. Um, because I assume, and I don't know what it's going to, it's going to be a bit a bit naughty. This is not a small Keshi. Um, in terms of, I'll get it out of the box actually. In terms of its size, it's huge. Oh, look at that. Yeah, beautiful. It's not small. I mean, that if you were to literally just put this on a, on, on a chain, a precious metal of choice, that's hundreds of pounds worth of jewellery. Naturally coloured. Yeah, if, if, if this doesn't appeal to you in terms of the price point that we offer it, I don't think we're ever going to be able to... Oh, that's crazy. I do, yeah, I, I agree, Ross. I don't think you're ever going to want to get a Keshi Pearl. Twenty pounds for a natural. Everyone will be different, of course, because the, these are those. those remember what our sale said? These natural little stowaways. They're pure solid nacre. They actually form along the lip of the oyster, um, where too much uh, uh, nacre has been secreted. Um, that's where you're getting this wonderful luster. But you've also got those lovely colours. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. So we could, Claire, you and I say we were going to go right. Let's go over to let's go over to I don't know French Polynesia, and I'm going to start harvesting pearls. Can you imagine? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Be lovely. Yeah, that'd be I'd lovely. Okay, yeah. yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's do that. Um, but and we say, oh, but we're only going to harvest keshis. It won't. Be, it's not achievable. You can't do that mm. because you can't say I only want keshis. These are literally like it's like winning the lottery as part of the culturing mm. process. You'll get your cultured pearl, but then you'll also get this natural little stowaway just brimming with luster and amazing natural color. They are literally a, a, a miracle of nature. At 20 pounds, I had 40 vile available opportunities and loads of collectors have got involved. Absolutely incredible. Well done, well done, well done. Do you want that? Yes, I, I can tell because you shift on your feet when you want to look at something. <laughs> um, what do you want, sorry? Mm. Nope. Mm, they're coming up, they're coming up. Pack of six, purple pearls. Okay. Oh. oh. Do you know, and this, this, this should speak volumes. Are those our birthday pearls, Ross? I, th I knew it. 
Yeah, we launched these in May, and I know they're under lock and key. Um, I haven't got many. We're doing it in one price crash. These were launched... They actually started the birthday celebrations back in May. Uh, and do you know why oh, they're so memorable? A, how beautiful <gasps> they are, but also I know what the price is. Oh, look at those. These are all individual pendants, aren't they? They're just crying out to be individual pendants. They're half drilled as well. Oh, my word. <gasps> <clears throat> yeah. Beautiful brock pearls. So you're going to get these lovely uh, freeform shapes. When you say haven't got many, how many is not many? How many is not many? 20. Well, they're going to sell out. Out of the 560 that I launched back in Look May. All the tones in there. That's stunning, beautiful. aren't they? I mean, that one literally looks like liquid gold. Yeah. And they're natural, completely natural. London, Amanda, Carol, Debbie, Buckinghamshire, Sussex. If you want that three quantity, do check out. I only had 20. Uh, County Down, Debbie, you've got yours. If you haven't yet dialed through, there is still time, but you need to be quite speedy. Sonia in London, I can see you there, my darling. Each of these are individual pendants, or maybe the most beautiful drop earrings mm. um some time ago we had some uh, lovely little precious metal pegs didn't we just glue them in leave them overnight there you go job done six beautiful pieces of jewelry on Gorgeous. the verge of selling out um okay should we do a big whopper shall we yeah. I know that I know right now I've, I said it out loud and I was thinking oh, if Steve was watching he'd be like we just call the pearl a whopper L I know it's not the most beautiful description but it is a whopper there's 50 oh oh it's stunning I love that that that's become part of your uh, uh your dialect today your vocabulary absolutely shall we do a Christmas Eve deal yes <laughs> yes, Ross. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you can see the nuclear speed, can't you? But then you have this beautiful fireball, this wonderful tail of pure solid nacre. And if I tilt it towards you, can you see there's a little there's a little drill hole? There you go. So literally that's how it's going to sit in the pendant. Half drilled in 60 seconds. Oh, how many have I got? 50. For the Whopper, should we call it the Whopper? <laughs> no, not a burger. So, hang on, I, I hesitated then. Am I saying, what am I saying, Ross? Under what? Under 20 pounds. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. You know, we had those black diamonds earlier on. Oh, there. yes, yeah, one, yeah at the one. top. Boop. Yes, yeah. Just there, boop. Yeah. That's all you need so, to do. <laughs> It's all the colours though. I know it says white, but it's all those colours in there. Isn't so it? much more than white, isn't it? <gasps> yes. That's the yeah. joy of pearls. You get more yeah. than one colour. You get those really beautiful iridescent tones. I love that texture. Mm. You know, if you were to throw, do you remember, think back, I'm showing my age here a little bit, but think back to, do you remember the flake advert? When they used to throw up that silk and it used to land yes. on the bed in those ripples. Yes. Yeah. It's that, isn't it? It is that. It's yes. like someone's thrown yeah. a nacre silk. Yeah. But I love these because you've got the best of both, haven't you? You've got that texture and then you've got the smooth. So you have, it's, you've got both in um, yeah. both Good effects point. in one. Under £20? At that price point? We've never taken it to under £20, so that is a true Christmas Eve deal. At that price point, I'd be multi-buying because I'm also mm. thinking, how lovely, £40, I can make a pair of high-end pearl, Baroque yeah. pearl. Well, really, they're fireball pearl earrings, aren't yeah. they? <gasps> Stunning. How awesome is that? How beautiful. At, 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 at you know, £40 it's going to cost me to make those earrings. You'd never buy them at, at a luxury pearl boutique jewellers for £40. Never in a million years. Gabrielle, Lisa, Cheryl, Amanda, London, Debbie, Charmaine, Helen, Patricia, Joanne, uh, Anne, Julie, Anita, Jenny, Lisa, Maker Wanting Four, Sussex, congratulations. So beautiful. Absolutely love, love it. I've got another auction to bring you. Oh, there was a... Yes, I have. I've got to put them in. Um... And I did notice, um, I don't, I think they were the ruby ones, but you know, uh, the Princess of Wales, 
she's a big fan of this brand. It's a really lovely success story as well. It's about two sisters that start mm. a jewellery brand. And now there's... Um, here she is, the Princess of Wales, wearing their jewellery, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, isn't she just gorgeous, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. She and I love the fact as well that she supports these kind of businesses as well. Um, there she is as well. I think they're slightly different to the ones we first saw. There's another photograph of her wearing some Suru earrings. I think they're the ruby ones. Um, so they've done it in different gemstones as well. Now, um, we were inspired by this amazing brand. Because if you want to buy some Suru earrings, they're not astronomical. Let's be, they're expensive, don't get me wrong. But they're not like, what I'm saying is they're not like your Cartier's or Van Cleef price points. Um, these are a little bit more achievable. You are still talking about best part of £150 for a pair of Suru earrings. Um, and, and, and that's justified because these are Biwa pearls. So here we go. Um, so you can pop along to that website. So Baroque Pearl. Uh, um, drop earrings, um, 18 karat gold plated, uh, Baroque pearl and crystals. So you've got this really beautiful uh, parve, um, a little bit like your uh, cerulean, isn't it? Mm. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Uh, framing the pearls themselves. Now. Oh, I love it. They're stunning. They're absolutely mm. stunning. And I'm kind of kicking myself. Why haven't I bought these? Because mm. they're so Christmas yeah. Day, aren't yeah. they? And so wearable. How many do we have? 49 left, or maybe it's Christmas Eve then. Uh, not Christmas Eve, it's Christmas Eve today, New Year's Eve, I mean. Um, and they're beautifully finished as well. If I can just, I'll show you actually on these. The back of them as well, you know, so beautifully finished. And you can tell that they are, um, that they are quality. I, I love these, I absolutely love these. And instead of having to pay the, what, £145 um, for those Suru earrings, they are, um, they're genuine pearls in the centre of ours. You've got absolutely beautiful crystals, again, giving you all of that lovely parve luster. What doesn't make sense right now, the quality of the piece, and we all love them, don't we? Mm. The price point that we bring them to wear. Because you know what, you can get plastic pearls for the price that we're about to show you. Yeah, it is good. We are about to show you these at a costume jewellery price. They look so nice, Al. I love them. Mm. I love them. Why haven't I bought these before? I've got my phone right next to me. I might have to do it. They're gorgeous, aren't mm, they? They really are. When you move, you just literally see that, all that sparkle from That's the crystals. So good, Crazy at nineteen ninety nine. Listen, I've got no plans whatsoever for New Year's Eve. I'll still be wearing these, I reckon, if I'm lucky enough. If whether it's sat on the sofa, I'm going to be wearing these. They are so high glamour. Mm. And uh, and you saw the uh, um, the Princess of Wales. Can we go back to the article because they actually talk about lots of different celebrities actually uh, um, wearing their designs. Um, so who are Suru? Well, we are two half Sicilian, half English sisters, Francesca and Mariana. Uh, since 2013, we have been designing the luxurious, unique jewelry uh, jewelry of Suru together in the heart of England literally not that far away from us here in the studio. Our vision has always been to create jewellery that exudes creativity, happiness and Italian flair. My goodness, ladies, you've achieved it. Uh, made using high quality materials and sold at attainable prices. Each piece is ethically handmade in Italy and Turkey using solid gold, gold plated silver and genuine gemstones. We now send orders globally and can be found in retailers across the world, including Selfridges, Harrods, Fenwick and Harvey and Nicks. Um, see our stock is here. We've attained a diverse celebrity following, including Her Royal Highness the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, uh, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, uh, Chiara uh, Farang Farangni, uh, Nijin, I can't pronounce that, uh, and Rita Rora, Jesse J, Millie McIntosh, um, and many, many more. And it's easy to understand mm. why they're so beautiful. Ah. Oh. Okay, we're about to cut to a break, just so you know. If you haven't checked out your baskets and there's any of them left, I'm on it. They're so pretty, aren't they? Now, we've got coming up, after the break, brand new jade. We've got a brand new carved donut. We've got loose red jade. And we've got loose emerald green, a colour I've never discussed before. Um, we've still got amazing masterclasses with our lovely Claire. You've got the second chance to get hold of the Bursa Jadeite as well. So a brand new deposit that we launched very, very recently. You won't believe the colour of the Bursa, uh, Bursa Jadeite. It's absolutely incredible. Make sure you check out your baskets on these. Brand new tool coming up in the 12 o'clock hour as well.
which I'm super excited about. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers Claire, and I'll be back after this. Make sure you join us on Boxing Day. We've got Claire McDonald and an amazing show. The deal of the day is a silver framed South Sea Pearl Pendant with Zircon. We've also got the bangle forming tool. We've also got loads of basket openers and we've got an incredible hematite selection as well. We'll see you on Boxing Day. Christmas everybody hope you're having a lovely time looking forward to seeing you soon enjoy yourself eat lot craft lots and have a good time want to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Firstly, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your kindness and support throughout what has been quite a tough 2022 for us here at Chestnut Close. We've got through it all, we've got through it all with your help, so massive thank you first of all. And secondly, and most importantly, I'd just like to wish each and every one of you the happiest of Christmases and the most peaceful and safest of New Year's. Take care. Just wanted to thank you for all your continued support throughout this year and to let you know how much you've inspired me. So I'd just like to wish you all, from the bottom of my heart, a very Merry Christmas. I hope that 2023 brings you peace and happiness with lots of opportunities for happy dancing moments. So once again, wishing you a very Merry Christmas from me. And not forgetting Tilly. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, actually, no, it is going to be Christmas Day this weekend. And guess what? I am being joined by my beautiful little elf helper, the fabulous Susie Menham. Now, then, have you been good boys and girls? I think you probably have. We think you are anyway. So Father Christmas has given an answer to the list that I've asked for for you for Christmas Day. Would you like to know what it is? Yes, good. So, let me tell you what we've got. So with the fabulous Susie Menham, of course it's pearls. We've got a pearl knotting and fresh water pearls kit, which she will work her magic on. Of course, it's Susie. Now listen to this, this is exciting. Rainbow Christmas Compendium Storage. We like a bit of storage, don't we? Jewelry making cloth in red. Because it's Christmas and festive. Nephrite bangles. And you know what our jade bangles are like? These are brand spanking new for Christmas Day. Olmec jadeite carved ring. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we do. And listen to this, a brand new VOD. What's a VOD? Video on demand. Video on demand. Oh, Alan, does that mean it's downloadable? No. Oh, we've only waited 12, 13 years for that. Fabulous. Brand new VOD video on demand. Oh, tutorial from Susie as well. So, lots more besides, lots of goodies. We always have a great time on Christmas Day. We might just crack open a bottle of bubbles. I haven't been drinking, honestly. So do please join us this coming Christmas Day for the wonderful, wonderful festive show from 8 a.m. till midday. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. 
we offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It happens at Christmas all over the town. Streets full of snow. Merry Christmas, Jewelry Makers. I hope you have a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Here in the pipes, how happy to feel these vibes. Ah, oh, welcome back, lovely Jewelry Makers, and Happy Christmas! Yes! Oh, how lovely. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to have big cuddles today with <gasps> my... Oh, um, yes! Yeah, my daughter's coming home. When was the last time you saw her? Um, I haven't seen her for maybe about a month now. Because she's at uni, isn't she? Well, she's, she, she's back from uni. She's done uni. She, she's 27 now. No way. Yeah. I still think of her as literally yeah, no, going she's, off to uni. She's gone to uni. She's, she's come home and she's gone again. Yeah, so she's... yeah. So what's she doing there? Oh, she's a, she's a HR manager. Wow. She's very sensible. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, she's in Liverpool. Yeah, she's coming home. Oh, amazing. Can't Absolutely wait. amazing. Oh, well, I can't wait. The big can't. girl, yeah. Yeah, so you've got, yeah. you've got both the girls there together. Yeah. How yeah. nice is that? Um, and listen, we are, we are live tomorrow as well. So um, if you're at a loose end, feel free to tune in because we're going to be, we've got an amazing show. Yes, Christmas yeah, Day. yeah. Absolutely amazing. You've got Susie and Zena in the studio and yeah. I know it's completely jam-packed. They've been talking about the, the, the Christmas Day products. I'm going to say Christmas products, really. Um, literally since August, yes. probably. Yeah. Oh, you've got that for Christmas Day. Got, is that, would you agree, Ross? We've been talking about the Christmas products for probably since summer. I do know what the main deal of the day is. It's the first time ever. I'm not working, and I, and I know. You've got an Olmec Jadeite bangle. Oh. The first time ever. Oh. I know. 10 o'clock tomorrow. Um, so make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity. How, remind me, though, Ross, you will have to remind me. How many have you got? Not enough. Oh. 20. Oh. Yeah, make sure you tune in. Um, okay. But I tell you what, if you can't, don't you worry, because we didn't just put it all into one day. We wouldn't do that because we are very aware that some of you will be have places to be tomorrow as well. So... <laughs> hilarious <laughs> that's probably as bad as our <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the one of me me you and linda oh yeah that one well we look like giving each other the it basically yeah look like we're we're, we're about serial to put killers our... lined up <laughs> <laughs> look like we look like we've, we've all had a row don't we yeah. all staring at each other <laughs> yeah Linda's the most convincing, though, in that, I think. Yeah, she's like, yeah, she can literally do that stare. I wouldn't want to fall out with Linda. Anyway, <laughs> um, like, as I was saying, uh, we haven't just literally put it all in one day, because I understand you'll have places to be. Um, so if you can't tune in tomorrow, then don't you worry, because I've also got brand new Jadeite today. Mm. Four actual brand new Jadeites. Um... And I'm going to start with a brand new. Car I, can't, I can only see this from the from the side. I can't wait to see it. Let me get my mobile phone a sec. Um, well done to everybody who bought that those Suru earrings. They're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got mine. Well done. Um, uh, so you're talking about this side. Yes. Though, so I can just Claire. see it from this. Yeah. And it looks it looks beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I know. <gasps> look at this texture. Look at the intricacy of this carving. And yes, so that's how I've been looking at it, and I knew it'd be beautiful. But wait. <gasps> Look at oh. that. Uh, that's all carved by hand. So the, look, look, look at the leaves. Look at the little blooms, the, the flowers. Look how it wonderfully sort of crawls around the actual donut. And this, I, I, I love, there's been a couple of them now. You know where you've got that area where there is the, no carving? I just think that contrast, it, it's, it's so beautiful. I love these where you've got that area where there isn't... Oh, 
anything. Look at that. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful, the oh detailing. Gosh. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I love that as well, Claire. It, 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 I, I don't know, it just makes it, I think, more... I don't know, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but just having that one void, mm. that area, mm. that um, of, of just... <laughs> Of just crazy, crazy. Oh my goodness me. Go on, Ross, sorry, I got distracted then. Sorry. Ross, I love it. I love what you're saying, but it also worries me. He's like, look, there's nobody here, and genuinely there isn't. It's very strange coming into the jewelry maker studio over Christmas because the car park, which is normally completely rammed, um, is almost empty. Honestly. If 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 we were that type of uh, type of crew, we could do donuts in the car park. <laughs> Good, you're good, there's hardly anybody here. So yes, Ross, it's natural, type A, white jadeite, brand new carving. Um, flowers are symbolic of beauty, I think that's a fairly obvious. Um, and I don't think that's just exclusive to sort of Chinese cultures. I think that will, um, will be apparent across multitudes um, of, of cultures. Really beautiful, the haigu, that you've got the symbolism of the haigu. It was once placed on the chest and waist of deceased loved ones. Um, and uh, in ancient China, they believed that this would actually keep uh, the ability to stay communicated, if you like, even after death. Nat Natural type A pure white jadeite. How many do we have then, Ross? Four O. Oh, Forty-five. You can see, you know, just by the quantities of our jadeite, how how much more limited it is now. Mm. You know, back back in the day, we would have had probably two hundred of these, wouldn't we? When you know, back in the day, sounds complacent. You know, I, I don't know when when that window of opportunity opened for us to source. Uh, type A Burmese jadeite. <clears throat> we would have bought bigger quantities, wouldn't we? And we would have brought them and launched them at £199. But that wasn't Christmas Eve, was it? Next price crash, let's show you how serious Ross is today. He says, if I'm working over Christmas, I'll do Ross deals. <laughs> he says, I I I'll work over Christmas, but sorry, his say goes. Yeah, his say goes. If Ross chooses to do under ten, under twenty pounds, um, sorry, under hundred pounds, under twenty pounds, like he did earlier on, he's gonna do it. Just does his own thing. He does he? his own thing. We're twenty four pounds and seventy five pence on your split payment for something that is literally carved by hand. I love this. Mm. It could be almost uh, sort of quite a, like a wreath, couldn't it? Mm. Yeah. Could be Christmassy. It could be I don't know. People put wreaths up all year round now, don't they? You have your your autumn wreaths and your summer wreaths and your springtime wreaths. At ninety nine, that's an amazing deal. We I, we had far less than what I actually thought. Look at all that detail. Yeah, exactly. And you, you said see Claire, more and more, don't you, as you look at it? Look at that. Gosh. Even from that angle, mm. that level yeah. of detail, £69 for a 60 carat type A pure white mm. jadeite. All that detailing. Can you imagine, just to put yourself in, uh, and I know that Dave is actually going to be releasing a documentary as well, um, where for the first time... Um, we're actually going to be sort of venturing into the uh, the workshops of a, a master lapidurus that uh, that has carved jadeite. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so we don't believe it's ever been done before. And you're going to literally see how time uh, um, extensive, um, how much labour, I suppose, uh, labour of love, goes into carving a, a work of art like this. Remember, cast your mind back to what Sotheby said, um, type, uh, your jadeite should be considered, it's a miracle of nature that has been uh, shaped by human hands. At 69 pounds, we should, we can buy, look, we can buy a painting for that, which again, I'm not being derogatory, these are all works works of art, of course, but can you imagine a paint, to buy paint itself, or working with something that is the, one of the most rare materials on, on the planet, in existence? And I get, listen, listen, it's Christmas Eve, you might be visiting family, you might be thinking, I've got to must go to the shops, literally stay with us, because there's so much to bring you in this, this next hour and a half. 
Let's do a thank you for watching prize, shall we? Yeah. On a brand new product. That Should we a good be going idea. lower? No. But as we said, sales manager Wayne, not here. He's not here. He's checked out for Christmas, isn't he? Mm -hmm. There you go. We're, yeah. on, we're on Ross is the boss now, aren't you, Ross? Yeah. His say goes. He's the responsible adult, isn't he, now? Who, Ross? Yeah. Oh, dear. <clears throat> he said, he's, you're trying to pass yourself off as a responsible adult at the same time as putting a £12.25 on split payments on your screen for type A white jadeite. Um, I, I mean, yeah. That's uh, uh, stunningly beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. Yeah. I'm keep, I keep saying it with pearls. Can I... Um... Yes, what would you like? Well, it, what do you think? It would go with the textured wire or the normal wire, wouldn't it? Because you could literally just do like a, a, I don't know, create your own. Can I pass it to you? Yeah. Just almost create like a, a little halo just to suspend it from as a bale. Yeah, you could do almost like, um, I don't, what's the, what's the knot? You know where? Um, lark's head. Yes, you, well, you could do like a lark's head knot, couldn't you? But I mean, a very, very simple, and it would go in that, in that. Um, Look how beautiful that is. So it's almost like a... You know what it is? What are they call? Is it like a love... Is it a love knot or something? Is it a love knot? <laughs> I don't know, is it? Isn't it? I don't is know. It? I don't know what a love knot is. Maybe. Let's go with it. It sounds nice. Yes. So, so I, think, I think it is. OK. OK. I is. But I know that that kind of design where you've literally got that extended link, like a... Yes, yeah, like so it creates the bail, doesn't it? So yeah. you could have movement as well in We've there. We've seen high goos on, on first dibs. Yeah. Which look almost yeah, exactly absolutely. the same as that. Yeah. Not at £49. So again, Ross, I like the fact that you're trying desperately to pass yourself off as a responsible adult, but when you put £12.25 on the screens, you're not doing yourself any favours. I suppose not, although you are making lots of friends, which is lovely. So it's, as a thank you to our lovely jewellery maker audience for watching today. Well done. Um, oh, Burmese red jadeite next. I'd use these alongside. Um, oh, gosh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Looking at it. So now. pretty. <gasps> so, so pretty. They'd be lovely with the pearls that we've just mm. had. Now, these have never been on your screens before. When we've brought you red jadeite, and I've shown you photographs of red jadeite from Pillar and Stone's booth um, um, and little snuff bottles where they've had like an area of red. <clears throat> um, this is one of the rarest, uh, one of the rarest and certainly rarest in terms of the volume that, that actually forms. Because jadeite uh, uh, grows or forms in a boulder, effectively. These boulders can be small, they can be quite vast. And it is, um, without getting too... Uh, Jemmy, it's a rare geological condition that, for, uh, that creates this gemstone. But those boulders, which if you can imagine, amazing, utopia, we found a jadeite boulder. But they don't know what colours are inside. If you're lucky, your boulder will have oxidised. And if it oxidises, the skin, which is a very, very, very small part of the boulder, will turn red now yellows and oranges are also classed as red but just to give you an idea of scale of how much jadeite may and it is may oxidize it's literally like like biting into an apple the skin of an apple it's minuscule in terms of the color ratios um, because of its extreme rarity here we go as a diagram for you yeah, because of its extreme rarity, the prices can be astonishing. Take a little look at this carved bottle. A rare and finely carved red jadeite bottle. When I say bottle, do you want to know how big it is? It's like that size. Are you all right, Ross? Uh. Sorry, wheels fell off for a moment there. We're back in the room. <laughs> um, okay. 
<laughs> so we are talking about literally a couple of inches tall. It is completely natural. And you get literally, can you notice there, especially on the side photograph, can you see how shallow the red color is? Look at the estimate. And now look at the price realized. Estimate. 16,000 to 25,000 US dollars realized 18,800 US dollars. That's the rarity of red jadeite. I think we've got another photograph, haven't we? A complete solid red jadeite bangle. This is so rare. You know, the, I, I, I can't even fathom the rarity of this because it forms, like I said earlier on, it's almost like the skin of an apple. But then when you look at the price, 375,000 Hong Kong dollars. There's a snuff bottle. And again, oh, look at that. that's a small size. Price realized, 32,200 US dollars. Areas of yellow, you've got an imperial jadeite at the top. Look at the, I mean. Th that's incredible, isn't it? I love that. Here's another bangle that's described as red, even though the bulk of it is white. Look at the price, sold for 200,000 Hong Kong dollars, which equates to 25 thousand US dollars and that's an area of color whilst we're on this photograph I want to show you this because I actually like that separation of color mm. I think it demonstrates what jadeite is all about it forms on the exterior. It forms, not, in, not generally speaking, I mean, really, I should say, in those solid red colors that we saw in the bangle, you get normally a dual tone, dual color saturations. This parcel has never been on your screens. I love the blend of those pure whites with those really beautiful, deep, intense oranges. I love um, the ones which are completely almost like a terracotta color. These are certified completely and utterly natural, type A grade. And I have how many? 50 available. The graphics are live. We've never had red jade like this before. We've had red jadeite. We've had red jadeite, which is completely red, and I love it, amazing, and you should be really proud if you managed to get hold of that. But I, I really enjoy the blend, don't you? That, you know, I think it's the same as, it's this, isn't it? See, when you've got the two together, you know, like, so that the smooth and then the carved, they, they bring out the best in each other, and it's nice to see that that contrast, and like you say, it's almost like a mini bangle, isn't it, that you've got that coming in the, the the you know that lovely white bright white and then into that into that deep red and you know you think about all the different designs you could do whether you're gonna if you're gonna work with all of them together you you know you could graduate oh lovely rearrange Ombre. that line couldn't you yeah amazing mm. um pillar and stone they actually said these colors have turned the industry on their head the demand and supply is a real issue and as such we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients and at a more affordable price for the first time. They are talking about what Roland Schlussel is talking about right now is red type A jadeite that you have on your screens. Unfortunately, there are only 50 opportunities. Again, I need to give myself a little bit of a slap on the back of the wrist. Um, it's entirely complacent of me to, to, to say that. Um, only 50 is, is, is ridiculous. That's an amazing quantity for jadeite. At 299 pounds, for the first time ever, bringing you that really, that, that sort of dual color. I don't want to say bi, because if it was bi color, it's solely two. You might get more, and every single one will be unique. But, you know, when we describe, and you can say this if you, if you offer them to retailers, customers, or if you gift your lovely gemstones, you can actually explain, look, jadeite forms in boulders. Um, when it oxidizes, which it doesn't always do, but when it oxidizes, you can get this amazing intensity of red. The yellows, the oranges, and the really deep terracotta colors um, come under that red jadeite uh, description. But it is rare, very, very rare. We're talking about 20 pounds per type A natural red jadeite. 20 pounds. 
They've never been on your screens previously before. 20 carats. Your launch price today, there are only 50. We're at 20 pounds per red jadeite. Today, you can get the entire parcel. <gasps> Oh my goodness me. Not one of those should be anywhere near that. That's 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 single figure price each. Which does mean then, doesn't it? You know, your budget depending on your budget, but you could put them all together like that, couldn't yes. you? You know, just on a head pin. Long, you know, long length of wire, something like that. Be beautiful. A single figure price point mm, per mm, red jade mm. Again, Roland Schussel said. This, this price of type A jade eye is right now at an all-time high, particularly difficult for us to use, is the sourcing of the skin. That's what we, I've just been describing. Um, this is the fancy colours of jade eye, the lavenders and the reds. These prized colours are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidises. This is why you never get solid red colours, sculptures or jewellery. Um, the skin is so thin comparatively um, and the boulders aren't coming out in the current market. You are sourcing that grade that literally pillar and stone talk about and that was only this year roland schlussel his words here's the man himself one of the most um uh, uh recognized individual within the uh within certainly in the in the jadeite world and ultimately in the gem world you can see all his um all his achievements just there over 35 years of experience in international trade with colour gemstones, diamonds, jewellery and their marketing. Previously, he was head of the jewellery and gemstone department for the largest Swiss jewellery company, a member of its board of directors. With extensive experience in the development of jewellery lines as well as their marketing and branding, Roland is also a consultant to the trade. And here is him consulting you guys right now. This is irreplaceable. Red Jadeite. Um, there's a photograph of him with Dave and Jake just there and that's his wife as well um, at Tucson this year. He is literally consulting you guys right now. This is irreplaceable because it is the skin of the boulder. London's got 10. Well done to you. Dorset's got two. Tipperary, Allison, Maker. Um, well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Do you want to see? Yes, please. Yeah, I'd love to. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, what should we do next? Yes, pack a ten and pack a five. Pack a ten. The only difference other than the quantity is the size, so you could perfect if you want to create a graduation. These are four millimetres. Are they what I think they are? No, actually, I know because you said in my ear. But wait a minute. Where are these from? No way. They look. Do you know what they look like? They look. They look Guatemalan because of the translucency. When you see them on the white on the white piece of paper, there's a reason why I put these on the white paper so you can actually appreciate the level of translucency. Look at those. Those aren't Olmec, which I think most of us would have assumed. They're not Guatemalan jades. Oh, emerald oh. green. Oh my goodness. Four millimetre rounds, type A, natural. They are natural, natural, natural. These are not enhanced in any way, shape or form. How beautiful are they? They are, aren't they? Absolutely. So what this, uh, and, and again, this is just my experiences. I've kind of learned to learn with you guys because I never thought we'd be able to bring you, um, bring you jadeite like this um, way back when. <clears throat> so these have transitioned through the imperial jadeite. These, the emerald green colour is that step before they dive into the black jadeite. So these will be some of the oldest jadeites out there. They've got amazing translucency. Um, you can see that. Uh, you know, if, I, if we were to use the, the term imperial purely based on translucency, then definitely these are translucent. Mm. These are definitely imperial. I love that colour. It's got a deeper, deeper green to what you've seen previously. So if you prefer the darker shades, if you've longed to have sort of the really dark, intense, uh, um, natural colours of, uh, of your Burmese jade eye, then here's the parcel. I've got a matching... Um, I've got a matching parcel with larger sizes, but less. So perfect to go together. All with that emerald green colour. There are 50 available. 
Oh. Oh. Were you expecting that? Were you expecting that? Ross loves throwing these little... Uh, oh, I think these might be my favourites, you know. They they're beautiful, are. aren't they? They really are. That colour and that translucency. Mm. Can I just single one out? Yes, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Just check. Look at that one. Oh my goodness me. When you see them all together, you kind of, it, 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 yeah, they blend together. When you start singling them out, you really appreciate the quality of the parcel that you're getting. I mean, we talked, don't we, you know, like with the black diamond saying just like one on a head pin. Yeah. That's exactly what I'd, I'd do with that. I think you'd have a similar effect, wouldn't you? It's a, you know, that is absolutely stand out. I Sorry. love the size as well of them. That on its own shouldn't be 29 99 no. Wow, we had 50 opportunities. They are brand new. You're getting six carats in your four millimetre round, 10 pieces in total. I agree, just literally have that. I'd go, <laughs> I'd go, I'd go and get a, 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 a gold head pin and, yeah. and pop that on a you know solid gold head pin. Just I'd use a, that with yeah. all of the white jadeites that we've had. Yeah. You know, the high goo, yeah. you know, the, 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 the pea pod, you know. Uh, um, mm. Yeah. Uh, the landscapes, all of those amazing carvings that we've brought you, the flower, I'd put one of those on top. Because the con contrasting colour is just amazing. Look at that quality, and we're under magnification right now. That's just one of the parcel of ten. Why is there a clock clicking away on the screens? Oh! It's Christmas Eve. Uh, uh, this is why. Because Christmas Eve says... Because uh, Christmas Eve, because Ross says, if I'm working on Christmas... It's Ross's rules. Yeah. Yeah, Ross. Yeah, Ross. And he says, I'm taking these Wayne? under 20 pounds. Yeah. So there, Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, he's just rolling his eyes away, <laughs> isn't he? Yeah, all right then. And us, get, and us getting all big for our boots. Under 20 pounds for 10. Beautiful type A, emerald green, genuine jadeites. So Wilcher, lovely. Wilcher, Sandra, Lorna, London, Sharon, Jenny, Alison, London, Elaine, Margot, Janet, Maker, Sharon. Lots of multi-buyers. I, I, I'd I, agree with you, Claire. I think this might be one of my favourite colours. I love that. And the quality of the translucency is just unbelievable. Mm. You're not just getting one, by the way. You are getting the entire parcel. It's just I wanted to single it out so you can really see the, the quality of the translucency. Look at all those that you're getting. Oh my goodness me. Yeah. Look at that. <gasps> Hand selected, mm. each and every single one. Well done, Kerry, Tipperary, Diane, Diane, West Sussex, Vanessa, Elaine, uh, Wiltshire, Sandra, Brenda, Janet, new customer Sharon in County Durham. Amazing. Um, you can get hold of this parcel. They were, they're four millimetres, which we rarely ever see in any location. Yes, yeah. Um, really ever, 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 ever. It's all the verge of selling out. Amazing. And I'm about to bring you another parcel. So if you love that, what? They're bigger though. Ten carrots. Do you like that? It's very good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ready? Ready? Oh. Oh. Oh, they're lovely. Oh. Uh, can, I, can I also show you something else that's literally... Are we doing this today, Ross? Please. Please say you're doing this today. This. Right, I'm gutted, but it is coming up tomorrow. Ooh. I think these would be perfect with this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> look, look, you got your dragons. Oh Can my you see? word. How beautiful is that? And the drill hole, yeah. These would be perfect. Can you imagine? Oh yes. Coming down yeah. into a V towards this pendant that's coming up tomorrow. Olmec Jadeite. Different location, but I don't think that really matters. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, right, you're getting 10 carats. These are six mils in their size. They are probably some of the best translucency that I can imagine owning, um, especially if you're saying they're under 20 pounds. Under oh. 20 pounds. 
that beautiful dark green so again this has transitioned beyond your apple blossom greens it's gone beyond sort of the soft almost uh, sage like greens it's gone beyond uh, um, your imperial greens and it's at that point just before it tiptoes over I would say really into your black jadeites you've got this beautiful it is almost Olmec isn't it in terms it of its yeah. colour I'm yeah. not saying it is Guatemalan very grandidurite s. Mm. I mean can you imagine that we're making this comparison with jadeite you know beautiful translucency um, hang on a minute how have I not done this Oh. Look at that for translucency. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Where's my torch? Hang on there. Oh, wow. Look. Look at that. And we are so close up that you can even see the natural formation, the crystal structure, effectively. We're not messing around on cameras here. We are right up close. Right up close. <laughs> <laughs> how beautiful are they look at that translucency oh just stunning look at that they look beautiful they are, don't yeah, they yeah they really are i love it i absolutely love it down to the final few we only had a limited quantity of those as well um, okay, let's do last of stock Bursa purple jade. Have you seen this? No, before? I haven't. Now, Dave stepped into the studio. Was it last week or the week before, maybe? Um, and. Uh, launched uh, Bursa um, Jadeite. Now, for those of you thinking, what's that? Well, it's a it's a location, a new location um, in around the Anatolia Mountains, um, which the Anatolia Mountains in Turkey produce uh, is, is very gem rich in actual fact. So um, there was this little discovery and it is a little discovery. It's actually rumored to be already mined out um, that was that found boulders of Jadeite. Um, not all the jadeite looked like this, but they did find certain amounts of that discovery had the most unbelievable natural colour. And if you haven't seen it, it's going to blow you away. The colour is just remarkable. Let's go back. These aren't described as lavender. These, uh, and you'll see why in a few moments. This is purple. No doubt about it. That colour is incredible. It's natural. <gasps> natural jadeite natural jadeite so only in this location do we describe it as purple because frankly that's the only location which i've ever seen this intensity of color lavender jadeite jade has become one of the most expensive colors in the jade market i tell you what we have brought you lavender pure white red and some of the best green colors mm. i've seen today it's really been amazing um, and it's easy to understand why one of the most expensive in the jade market um, here is a, a, a slice that Dave, and this is actually in discussion to that bangle. Do, 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 do you see the similarity? Mm, yes. Um, this yeah. is a slide where Dave was discussing that the bangle that we sold earlier on this morning, the remaining quantity, um, where there's little areas, little patches, if you like, of jadeite. That's what we should I expect. It's soft and much more muted. Um, this location in Turkey, there's nothing muted about it. It's not dyed. That's natural colour completely natural color and it's not just a patch um, you get the entire entire bead but let me explain to you why it's rare to get this intensity of color lavender jadeite is very rare in color um, in jadeite jade due to the fact that it needs trace elements of vanadium and magnesium uh, to produce the violet purple lavender color in a crystal structure of jadeite that makes it lavender um, makes it lavender in color those two components, vanadium and magnesium, uh, manganese, sorry, uh, did I say magnesium? I think I did. Sorry, manganese, really form alongside one another in nature. So it's very, very, very rare. Um, can we read on? Vanadium is considered extremely rare, uh, particularly in the Burmese locations where jadeite is found. Uh, and for it, to for, uh, for it to naturally exist in sufficient quantities to produce the lavender colour is one of the reasons this colour is just so rare to find um, in any real saturation. Well, outside of the Burmese location, it did occur. But I keep, need to mention it is 
rumoured to be mined out now? We will find out because Dave has said that him and his team will be heading over to the Antolia Mountains. Um, there's other gemstones there, of course, but he does. They, they have normally in the gemstone world. There's no smoke without fire. Uh, highly unlikely that this is still going to be um, unearthed from the from the ground. Lavender jade has become one of the most expensive colours in jade market today, and as a result, it's conti continued to demand extremely high prices, um, which have continued to rise each and every single year. Now, we know the current status over in Burma. Um, we're at that point already within the Antolia Mountains. Bursa jade it's totally natural, just unbelievable. You know, the, even when it was fully operational, the Burmese mine never really saw this. This, this is almost ultraviolet, mm, would you agree? Mm. This is last in stock opportunities. I've only got a few of these left. Five. Five left. And whilst, yes, we know that after Christmas and in the new year, our team are going over to this location to really establish, you know, what, you know the, the, the exact situation... It has almost been confirmed with us that the mine's closed already. It was only ever going to be a limited opportunity. There are five available. You can get this home for now for £149 or on your 0% interest split payments, £49.66. This is the thing. We can always bring you diamonds. We can always bring you rubies. We can always bring you emeralds. We can always bring you uh, sapphires. But this... It was only found in this particular colour saturation in one location, and that mine is done, so they say. That colour is incredible, isn't it? Have you ever it? seen anything I've like it? I've never seen anything of like it. Of any gem. That's amazing. There were five. I'm straight down to the final one. I have got lots of you with it in your baskets. Catherine, Sandra, uh, Maker, West Yorkshire, London, I can see you there as well. There was only five opportunities. And if you want to create the most unbelievable graduated necklace, again, this is very limited. The impact of that, that, that colour together. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And, and can I just show you this piece of jewellery right now? Lavender jade at jade has become most, one of the most expensive uh, colours in the jade market today. And as a result, it has continued to demand extremely high prices, which have continued to rise, rise each and every single year. Look at that. Look at that beautiful necklace, which did set records um, in the auction houses. I think we've got another photograph of that as well. There it is. That's as close to this colour as we can possibly be. That is, uh, again, a, a real miracle of nature. Look at the price. I can't even I can't even say that price. Twenty-one thousand. No, twenty-one million two hundred and forty thousand. Twenty-one million. And granted it's got the most amazing translucency. I'm not going to give you... This, this doesn't have the same translucency, but also it's not 21 million Hong Kong dollars either. Mm. But it's the colour, isn't it? Yeah, this it's is beautiful. The, this, is a, this is about the colour. So £129 today. It's absolutely amazing. Meaning you can make that piece of jewellery for less than £300 or even less than that if you do it on your split payment. If you get those bo uh, both of those strands. That's if, of course, you're going for the full 360 necklace piece. There was literally five of each of these opportunities. We brought you the larger strand first. Now we're talking about <clears throat> uh, this one just here. That's all natural colour. It's from a mine location that is room rumoured to have already closed so, yeah, it may well be now or never. It's so exclusive, isn't it? It's wonderful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, ah! Is this from that same location? We had it in coin. Of course we did. Oh, my goodness me. Um, it will be your new gem two launch happens in the next hour. Don't worry, lovely jewelry makers. We've also got a lovely sterling silver kits to bring you as well. Um, look at that colour, That's Claire. Incredible. This will be perfect with your kits, actually. It would. Yeah, I was just thinking how wonderful it would be. You know, cocktail rings. Can you imagine those? So you bezel set or prong set them. I think I actually said that during the launch, Claire. Did I was you? talking about you using them as cocktail mm, rings. Yeah. Because you've got that nice flat sort of table facet, if yeah. you like. 
Um, they are limited. And it the is, size, yeah. I think, yeah, it's the size, isn't it? It's all going to be limited. The whole parcel is limited. Yeah. How beautiful that yeah. is. 129 pounds for 75 carats in this beautiful bursa purple jadeite totally natural no enhancement it's not dyed it's not reconstituted this is literally how it came from the ground i think there's a photograph of one of the local miners actually holding one of the uh, um, boulders up to the uh, to to the light and you can see here we go there we are um and you can see uh, look at that colour, and it's beautiful, and it is, it's a very small boulder, that one. Um, and you can see it's a beautiful uh, purple colour, obviously, but that, that I would describe as lavender. Look at the intensity of colour that you're getting within your strand. Um, absolutely beautiful. I only have um, a limited quantity of these. Buckinghamshire, Gloucestershire, Sandra, Heather, maker in London, congratulations to you. Down to the final few opportunities. Um, and, and again, just to reiterate what Dave said, it's unlikely that we are going to get another parcel of these. Never say it never, because mm -hmm. we'll always endeavour to when it's something as beautiful as this, but it is unlikely. Um, now, I've got two different shapes, is that right? Still to bring? Let's do the cushions. Perfect with your kits again, Claire. Oh my gosh, look at the colours again. This is lovely. So the, yeah, this is the first, your first experience of it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? It really is, yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, with the um, taking inspiration from the, um, uh, you know, the piece where I think it had got like a, a bright green clasp. Do you remember the, um, uh, the Malachite slider bracelet that we had for that pop of colour as well? Yeah. I'd, I'd be tempted to put maybe put one. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Between. I'm just going to swap over the strands a minute because it's this one I'm doing. Okay, no props. Again, what an interesting shape. I like this. This is actually one of my favourite shapes because, again, I was thinking with you with your like your uh, your bezel strip yes. and your gallery yeah, wire. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, yes. Can you imagine that in gallery wire? How beautiful would that be? Frame it perfectly. Have it? you ever seen this kind of colour though in, in a natural gemstone? Never, never. That would be rings, definitely for me. And purple is such a popular colour. I can mm. understand why lavender jade is as is in demand as it is. It's beautiful. Um, but this is so much beyond lavender. It is definitely that purple. Completely natural and certified as such. At £79 only. You can get it home for £39.50. Goodness me. Um, from a location, a new discovery in the Antolia Mountains of, uh, of Turkey. Again, our team will be going there at the beginning of this year. Uh, sorry, next year. Um, however, we have kind of, uh, from, from the news that, we, and we know quite a lot of sort of mining groups over in the Antolia Mountains, obviously, because you think about Zarite, etc., um, not too far away. Uh, yeah, so we know of a few miners around those locations. The rumour is that it has all but gone. So do get it when, uh, when you get the chance to. It's quite it's hugely, hugely, hugely different to any um, of the lavender jadeite that I have seen from Burma. Um, and that's really the only other place. Mm. Um, hello to you. Message coming into the studio. Oh. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Ovals next. The ones I gave you a little sneaky peek for. Beautiful. Um, hello, Avon. Can I wish the presenter, designer, crew and all the members behind the scene a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year? Um, and thank you, jewellery maker. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Happy Christmas to you yeah, as well. Merry Christmas to you. Merry That's Christmas. Oh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, not just day. The festivities. Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow. Unboxing and we will day. be with you as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You're on Unboxing Day, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, I'll see you on Unboxing Day. There yeah. you go. Yeah. And have a new year as well. We're here every single day of the year. Um, so you can always tune in and say hi. Oh, that's really kind of you to message in. Um, 70 carats. <laughs> a beautiful, natural, purple jadeite. Um, not from Burma. This is uh, the new deposit that's been discovered more recently. I know they are limited. Thank you for your kind message. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Isn't that lovely? £39.50 yeah. only, or 70 uh, sorry, £79. I've got two more, and we're going to dive into a break, and then we've got a beautiful masterclass and a brand new tool. Yes. Tools, 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 tools. <laughs> you like that? Tools, tools, tools. We do love tools. Love here tools. at Jewelry Maker. Do you know what else we love? Cubes, cubes, cubes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. 
Oh, we do love them. It's at this point, I think my husband, if my husband was watching, he'd be like, oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the crew, they're used to it. They're so used to it. So is everybody else. Yeah, it's fine. You're used to it, aren't you? So used to it. We've jumped up in carrot weight. We're bringing you cubes. What more do we want? Natural jadeite. Natural purple jadeite. Look at that. Oh, I Rosary like this link. one. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Ooh, with your copper. We had it oh, on. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'd like that. The pinky tones in the copper, yeah. Or with your silver wire that's coming up yeah, in the next hour. Sterling. I think that would be yeah. lovely too. Look how beautiful they are. Again, I mean, that's almost... I, I don't know, I can see like a fruity colour. Mm. It is a great colour, isn't it? Ah, oh, beautiful. Um, the last ones. I love this again because it almost re... It, 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 I love it when jade dye is in sort of these freeform shapes because it kind of demonstrates what Mother Nature intended, um, giving you those lovely uh, uh, sort of... Well, they form in boulders, so it's kind of replicating I, that, I guess. Look at the... Look, uh, amazing. Look at those beautiful markings. Again, the intensity of that deep ultraviolet. That's how I describe it. It is a definite deep mm. ultraviolet colour. Um, so beautiful. And you have almost rivers of blue. But when do you get that, that blue intensity? And can you imagine? So what I'm thinking about is, can you imagine finding it? Can yeah. You discovering this, that incredible colour. Listen, I mean, we've worked with gemstones for how many years? All of us? Lots and lots of years and years. But imagine if we were all just sort of kicking around in the Antolia Mountains and we came across that. I'm sorry, oh, but... yes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, don't, I wouldn't think it was a gemstone. But would you pick that up and go, oh, it's a jadeite, that is. <coughs> I wouldn't assume it was a jadeite. But I'd be, that colour is... It's even, beautiful, yeah. and it's so rare in yes. Mother Nature. Yeah, yeah. Who fancies... A, 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 this is a parcel that we launched only a week or so ago. Um, this is the biggest carrot weight of the launch. Shall we do, do the lowest ever price, though? Yes. Of the whole selection yeah, of your Bursa it. Purple yeah. jadeite. Do it, do it. Shall we? Yeah. Even though it's the biggest quantity. Let's do it. 60 seconds ticking away. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 50. That's not that many, but then to be honest, they were never massive quantities, were they? They weren't ever massive quantities because oh, of the rarity of it. I absolutely Which love one? that one. one. Well, I love this one, but then I also like that one with sort of like that, that streak going across as well. Would you use oh. this with your kits in the next hour? Yeah. It'd yeah. be lovely, wouldn't they? They would be really, really lovely because you've got the textured thick band, so you could maybe bezel set across there if you wanted to. Beautiful. <gasps> we're going lower than £79. Natural, rumoured to be mined out. Be some of the, the most intense, not some of, it is the most intense mm. natural purple colour I've ever seen in any location of source of jadeite. Um, in 10 seconds, we're taking it even lower. Sorry, what was that that you just flicked to? Not available so far. As a result of the researches, although green and white jades uh, deposited in many regions around the world... Um, have been known since ancient times. The rich mineral deposit containing gemstone quality purple jade has not been reported in literature until now. That's this parcel that you were sourcing. Uh, um, therefore, the world's only known source of purple jade is located within the geologically studied region. Uh, the most typical raw blocks of purple jade material are obtained from the field near Ak. Ak Ak Apinar, Ak Ak Pinar. Um, this bulky material, which is fine grain rather than coarse crystal, I think we can see that in our recording right now, is known for its very suit, uh, very suitable into cutting various gemstone objects. But again, if you look at the the pieces that he's holding, it doesn't have anywhere near the colour that no, you're getting in this amazing yeah. parcel. There he is. £49. It's the last remaining strand that we have from this parcel, quite possibly ever. Um, again, certified completely natural, only re recently written about in literature um, and also rumoured to be mined out. As if you can get hold of something that is literally just bursting onto the gemstone scene for £24.50. Yes. You know, I imagine when jadeite was first discovered, mm. all those th hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Can you imagine there being first in line? I'm not saying you are literally the first person, but, you know, right up there, aren't you? It's just you? wonderful to see. Awesome. Loved seeing it.
We had 50 of them. They're already flying out the door. Remember, we've got a brand new tool coming up as well. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets. Lovely sterling silver kits coming up with our lovely Claire. And we're going to be uh, uh, learning about spinner rings. Is that yes, right? we are. Yeah. Plus, we've got also yeah. the advent calendar to bring you as well. So don't go anywhere. Claire and I are back after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. Firstly, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your kindness and support throughout what has been quite a tough 2022 for us here at Chestnut Close. We've got through it all, we've got through it all with your help, so massive thank you first of all. And secondly, and most importantly, I'd just like to wish each and every one of you the happiest of Christmases and the most peaceful and safest of New Year's. Take care. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, actually, no, it is going to be Christmas Day this weekend. And guess what? I am being joined by my beautiful little elf helper, the fabulous Susie Menham. Now that have you been good boys and girls? I think you probably have. We think you are anyway. So Father Christmas has given an answer to the list that I've asked for for you for Christmas Day. Would you like to know what it is? Yes, good. So, let me tell you what we've got. So with the fabulous Susie Menham, of course it's pearls. We've got a pearl knotting and fresh water pearls kit, which she will work her magic on. Of course, it's Susie. Now listen to this, this is exciting. Rainbow Christmas Compendium Storage. We like a bit of storage, don't we? Jewelry making cloth in red, because it's Christmas and festive. Nephrite bangles, and you know what our jade bangles are like. These are brand spanking new for Christmas Day. Olmec jadeite carved ring, oh, oh, oh yeah we do. And listen to this, a brand new VOD. What's a VOD? Video on demand. Video on demand. Oh Alan, does that mean it's downloadable? No. Oh, we've only waited 12, 13 years for that, fabulous. Brand new VOD video on demand. Ooh, tutorial from Susie as well. So, lots more besides, lots of goodies. We always have a great time on Christmas Day. We might just crack open a bottle of bubbles. I haven't been drinking, honestly. So do please join us this coming Christmas Day for the wonderful, wonderful festive show from 8 a.m. till midday. Merry Christmas, jewelry makers. I hope you have a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Make sure you join us on Boxing Day. We've got Claire McDonald and an amazing show. The deal of the day is a silver framed South Sea Pearl Pendant with Zircon. We've also got the bangle forming tool. We've also got loads of basket openers and we've got an incredible hematite selection as well. We'll see you on Boxing Day. this year and to let you know how much you've inspired me. So I'd just like to wish you all from the bottom of my heart a very Merry Christmas. I hope that 2023 brings you peace and happiness with lots of opportunities for happy dancing moments. So once again wishing you a very Merry Christmas from me. And not forgetting Tilly. Here at 
Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Happy Christmas, everybody. Hope you're having a lovely time. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Enjoy yourself, eat lot, craft lots and have a good time. Who would like a brand new tool? Yes! Oh. <laughs> brand new, never been on our screens before. This is, let me just say this right. Hang on a second. I, I feel like I need to read it. A spinning ring expander tool. Yeah! Yes. What, so, <laughs> stupid question, what does it do? It's just gonna like flare. Yeah. So you make a ring that's like that. Yeah. And then you use the tool and then it flares, flares it. it. So it creates the spinning ring. So it, by in simple talk, so if I show you. Yeah. So if we look at. So you look the at before it, and after. Yeah. So can you see, so like that. Oh yeah, because otherwise it's you're gonna, gonna take lose your it. ring, aren't yes. you? If you don't yeah, flare yeah. it. Yeah, so if you didn't do that, so if we look at this one. Oh, it would come off. Yeah. Whereas this one, because we make that little lip. Oh, look! So it spins. It spins around. It's so beautiful, Claire. They're lovely, aren't they? And I have to, I have to say that um, Piaget do like a spinning ring, and they're literally so much money. Yes. So much money. Yeah. Well, you can make you can make them, can't you? Sort of, um, you can, and you can add in as much as you want, depending on the thickness. Uh, and you can make them as in intricate as, as, as you want. I like that one. You like that one? Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, really so, yeah, it's a, this is a lovely, lovely, and lovely And we've got project. the lovely sterling silver sheet. We have, and these really gorgeous. Like um, a honeycomb. Yeah, and you've the, got the different accents. So, if I, shall I, shall I take that? Yeah, let's, let's have a look at your pieces, because this is what you're going to be able to achieve with this tool. Yeah. Um, and then we'll bring the tool to it. But look at those, Claire. So it's a lovely effect, isn't it? So it takes it from that, obviously, that straight edge um, and then gives you that, that flare out, so that, yeah. that little lip. And you can do it on your different, um, so you can see, so these obviously, you know, the, the, these ones aren't as wide as this one. Um, and there's nothing to stop you. So if you look at this one down here, uh, you can see, so depending on how, you can, you can pop two, you know, two oh, lots. Oh, look. On, you know, two lots on there. If you You're so to, clever. Two, or one. You're so, so, so clever. Thank you. Um, I've loved making these. Absolutely, they're very really new, lovely, um, lovely project. Very you. Um, but in terms of actually tools, because I, I, I'll be honest, I'm one of those people that if I can cut corners, I will. Um, I'm being really honest. I am. Like in terms of, like, I don't know, just put DIY. If I can cut a corner, I will do it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have the right tools for the job. Yes. It does give you that proper professional finish. It really it? does. And I think as well, especially with um, with jewellery, because what you're working with is, is it's something fine. Is it, it's obviously, you know, it, it, what's well, usually a fine metal, precious metal. Yeah. And you need it to be, you need it to be neat, you need it to be smooth, comfortable um, and very precise, really, because that, that's what, you know, a lot of jewellery is. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you do want to have um, the, the proper tools that are designed for that purpose. Um, but I, w I would always, you know, I think with this tool as well, whereas you might think there's going to be a lot of um, force on it because of the way it's designed, it's actually not. It's just it's like a nut and, and a spanner as well. So it means that you've got a good control. So you, okay. you flare out quite, quite gently. OK, um, so, well, should we do the tool first? Yes. Now, yeah. we've, got, we've yeah. got how many? We'll do the advent calendar at the end of the show, actually. Um, there are a hundred of this tool um, available. We've never done anything like it before. Um, I've never even heard of a tool like this before. Um, is this it here? Yes. Yeah. So you get a spanner. Yeah. So you get your, your two different sorts. And, and you get a spanner. What are these called? Sorts? 
What are they called? Did you say sorts? Sorts? I yeah. Did I? I, I yeah, you said two different sorts. Yeah, just, just two different uh, sort, sort. Oh, two, I was in different types. Yeah. I see what you mean. I thought you meant that's yeah. what it's called. <laughs> Sorry, easily confused. Um, so you get two of these. What's the difference? Um, so it's, I've, I've used a mixture of them to get a different um, sort of uh, flair with it. So like the thickness of the band that you're going to use. Um, but I've had to go as well with, um, uh, so using the, the, the large, so the sort of like the, the shorter one you like so this one yeah with a mixture and so swapping them over as well sort of like give you um just different flares really on the um different you've got different on the angles different, yes you, yeah I suppose yeah. yeah um one's more more acute angle yes. than the other so you're getting those two you're getting the spanner itself and, and obviously claire is going to demonstrate it for you um it's brand new we've never done it before it's the spinner ring edge expander stroke flarer very exciting set of two so you get the wide which is this one and then you get the slimmer rings as well which have yes. obviously created yeah. these beautiful pieces that, um, that, that that Claire has in the studio any questions then do message us you can do that via the website or the w's at jewelrymaker.com now we have a hundred of these I do think they're going to go oh they already are they're already going crazy yeah. so oh, make morning Marge yeah lots of lots of people there do, who did you say morning to? Marge, Marjorie. Oh, She's Marjorie. Yeah, yes. lovely, lovely lady. And she oh, comes yes, on my Marge. workshop. She's lovely. Nora, Nona, Monica, Olwyn, Jill, Francesca, Sheila, Cheshire, Wiss, Wenda. Brilliant. Absolutely Should we do brilliant. this in one price crash? Because yeah, there's a lot of people it. there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to give you one minute. And that's when we'll bring you, we'll go straight down to your, your brand new tool launch. We had a hundred, a third of the stock has already been confirmed. Uh, probably another 50% is actually in baskets on the web, but don't let that put you off dialing through and speaking to our call center. Um, they're here, they're on it. You know, they are, we're all very much still, it's, it, it, it's business as usual here at Jewelry Maker, even though it's Christmas Eve, business as usual. Tell you what, we've got an easy gig actually, because when I worked in the Juniors, I used to be, um, Christmas Eve, I used to be there till nine, 10 o'clock at night. Did you? Juniors, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, used to be one of the busiest days of the year. Oh gosh. Um, absolutely, business as usual. We are going to go straight down to that price tag because you clearly want this tool. Can it's a really useful tool, isn't it? I mean, it's a, um, an, an, uh, you know, I haven't made. I just said to you that, you know, I haven't made of all the of all the pieces of jewellery. I, I haven't actually made um, like a spinner ring like this before. So it's a new project for me, and I, I I've loved every minute of this. These are gorgeous. It's so clever. Yeah. It's so clever that you can, um, it, you know, of what you can what you can do with the tool and the design. It's, yeah, it's it, brilliant, it's so good. And that, I mean, that's really for two tools, isn't it? Yeah, you're actually getting two tools. That's a really good point. For two tools. So it's like £12.50 each. That, that's really, really good. Um, the kits are coming really, up as well. Really the textured sheets, the little components and the silver wire. Plus we've got some additional tools. Yeah, that's a really good point, Claire. You're actually getting two tools. Yeah. Say yeah. that fast then. Two tools. Two tools. <laughs> So you can, if you have a look at, so if that, that's what, that's what it's doing. So it's stopping, you know, and you can put anything that you, you know, that you want on there, but it's giving you that, isn't it? That, that flare. Um, so it sort of traps everything. So you can see, so I've got movement there. So it's moving up and down, but it's not going to come off. So if you've got any of the beaded wire that we've done, so I've used a twisted wire, you know, <clears throat> you can do anything, anything that you want in that, in that little section. Mm. And then, and then by adding that flare, obviously it's a neatness as well. Um, it just gives added interest, but it actually serves a purpose too, doesn't it? It's so pretty, Claire. So, so pretty. Really Everything lovely. about these pieces, the texture of the sheet, sterling silver, yeah. the little <clears throat> components, that flare detail, which I imagine is very comfortable to wear as well. Yes. Yeah. We, we had a hundred, but the call screens, I'm literally looking at f uh, three full, there's lovely Ted, um, three full rows of names who've got yours. Well done. If you haven't, we only had a hundred. Um, and, and, and I, yeah, Claire's raised something there that I, I hadn't even thought of. It is actually two tools. Two tools. Yeah. yeah. Right. With a great spanner as well. With a great spanner. Absolutely. <laughs> so three tools. <laughs> three tools. Three tools. It's gone from yeah. one to two to three now. Yeah. Um, again, you can, right, okay, we're pushing our, um, the fourth row of names now. Make sure you check out, see where we are on those So good. Lines. Claire. Um, yeah. Shall we dive into the demonstration so you can show? Shall we? Shall we have a look? And I, yeah, and I can. Um, and you can talk cue you me when to put the kits on. Yes, wonderful. Thank okay. you. Because we've also um, there is also uh, another really really useful. Um, like I've I've noticed some names of some of the ladies who have done 
um, quite a few of my stacker ring workshops and rings are so lovely to make and you've also got um, this one coming up and that's really useful as well okay really really useful um, so I know yes. I use I use those in um, in my uh, workshops so what what you'll be looking at here is we're working with sterling silver and you've got your different components so if we break them down and I have a look at them here and we'll we'll see how they then all go together because what you've got here is you've got lovely components but they do actually need to um, they do actually need to fit fit together so the first thing that you're, you're going to have is you've got your incredible and and the you know the, the the designs on these different sheets is so nice yeah. the, the three of them they're very different um and they work so well and you're going to get an awful lot there so if i sort of show if i pick this one up you can see so this one that that's the thickness you're going to get i've hard that if you want to keep it as the uh the full amount um, it's going to give you something like that. So these are, you know, you're going to get a lot out of them or they can be a nice, um, you know, chunky, chunky ring. So if we look at um, what we want to do, so, so we've got, um, you've got your, your sheet part of it. So that's that bit. Then you've got um, your wire. So with, with the wire that um, you'll get in the kits, you've got um, a one mil round wire. And so you can see, so I've twisted this. Um, so I've got that that band there. The other thing that this will work really, really well with uh, in conjunction with if you've got any of the um, uh, the dies that we've done, you could have a go with those too. You're just looking for any sort of decorative um, or plain band um, uh, to go around, around the sheet. And then you've also got um, your lovely, lovely, lovely little solderable accent. So you can see there, so I've got a little, little elephant there. So you're just looking for these elements and, and you so you're going to create them all and then have them so they all fit together so if we start off um so the first thing that i started off with doing was um is to is to make the uh make the base of it so that this is the part of the with the sheet so i'm looking here and it's and it's thinking about basic your basic uh principles of whenever you're doing any sort of soldering so you'd, you'd be looking at the, um, the, the size of your ring. And what I tended to do um, was uh, went a, a little bit smaller and then um, uh, stretched, stretched it out as well. So the first thing I want to make sure is that I've got a good, um, a good match and a good fit. So thinking about your standard soldering, you want to think about having no gaps in between. So it's really important that you line up um, the seam very, very well. Now, and, and the other thing with this, I guess, is that the, so the test is going to be of your soldering because what you're going to do is when you're putting pressure on, um, it, it will test the seam. So if when you're, when you're working with the tool and you're um, uh, you know, putting the pressure on, which is by tightening the nut here, if your soldered seam isn't great, um, what will happen is um, it could pop. So if we look, I'm just going to show you the, so my seam is, um, I think it's there. Okay, so it's in just in this part here. And what, uh, so I've, I've worked with this so to get it so that it's quite uh, neat. And that is where this tool here has come into its own because obviously I can sand and use the different um, different papers to get a really nice neat finish. But so before we get to that neat finish, what we want to make sure is that we've got a really good neat closed seam here. And whether you decide that you want to um, do it so it's formed as the round or if you've got um, sort of D-shaped pliers that you, you, you get a straighter edge there, but you're looking to get a neat straight seam here. So you'd be spending your time, so you're looking at it and you don't want to find any daylight. So let's, and you can also see with this texture, you can line that up and we can get that. And don't worry too much about these bits, we can, we can sand, that, sand that down. But what we do want to, we want to have that neat, a neat seam there. So I'm going to get that ready and we'll solder that. So we've got this, this element. I'm also going to, so if I just, I'm actually going to bring this in and we'll solder this so that you can see 
see that. If I if I set the soldering, are you all right to bring a, of a course, kit in? Is that of okay? course, of course. Well, yes. funny enough, we just put the graphics on your screens uh, for Call of the Wild. Ooh. Um, and this one includes uh, the elephant and the dragonfly, which is just there. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. The textured sheet, you've got um, a really beautiful leaf design. I will try and uh, hold them up for you as well so you can see them as best as possible. Um, so really pretty leaf design. I also do see hearts. Is there anybody else that agrees? I can see a little bit of hearts in there, little wavy, wiggly hearts. Um, your little sol solderable accents just here. You've got the... Hang on, they're absolutely flying, so we're just going to crash straight down to it. You've got, sorry, the little effalump. There he is, can you make him out? I'm kind of, the trunk's just here. Um, and also you have a really beautiful little dragonfly, which I'll hold up for you as well. You'll probably see them better even on Claire's, um, on Claire's jewellery. Plus you're getting the uh, one metre of your one millimetre sterling silver wire, which is obviously what you're creating, that internal spinning ring. Um, we're going to go straight down to um, your price point for you. All sterling silver components. Twenty nine ninety nine, Claire. Goodness me! Stunning, absolutely stunning. Aren't they lovely? Yes, I'm, I'm amazed by that price yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely lovely. And so, don't forget <coughs> as well, if you um, <clears throat> uh, you're going to get so many, so many uh, uh, rings out of that that one mil wire, whether you decide to twist it. Um, or... Yeah, because it's not just one ring per kit, is it? No, and and I guess the and the other thing to think about is is uh, you know when you've got because you're going to have more than enough of that. So I always say you know the, so the rings that I wear all the time don't take these off. That that there is that's a one mil. Um, so I don't take the you know you think about all the you know your thumb comes you know it it, it moves yeah. around a lot doesn't it? it? You grip a lot. You know that is a one mil wire there. So you know that it will hold its shape if you. Um, if you hammer it, you polish it, maybe tumble it if you've got a tumbler. Um, so that you can just make standard stacker rings out of and that. And don't that forget one also your liver of sulphur that you showed earlier perfect. on today. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. So if yeah. you want to use your liver of sulphur with the textured sheets, for example. Yeah, absolutely. Um, then you can do that. How many did we have of this kit? Oh, they've gone. Right. OK, let's bring you. Should we bring the kit up next and then? I'll, yeah, I'll show you the, the kits and then I'm going to interrupt you about it. No, lovely. Because the other thing as well to do, because I had I had quite a bit of the sheet left over. I think it it's, yeah, so that one there, if you want to, you know, you're happy with like uh, piercing out. And so you can see, so that one, um, the the actual bit that spins is I've cut a little heart ah, out of the, of the sheet as well. Because, it, you know, that is that textured sheet is abs it's lovely, yeah, really, it is. really lovely. And you'll have quite a lot left over depending on how many oh. rings you, you make. Now, I've got one with like an animal print texture sheet. And then I've got... A bird and a, and oh, a dragonfly. This, wait till you see this. This is the most delicate, oh, lovely birdie. Look at him. It's like a little kingfisher. Um, look at him. This is called Freedom to Fly. Oh, look. That's so sweet. Again, nine, can I stand him up? I wonder. No. And then you've also got this lovely, lovely little dragonfly. All so nine two nice. five sterling silver, almost like a giraffe print, I guess, in the um, in the in the sterling silver textured sheet. Plus, then you're getting a one millimeter sterling silver wire. If you want to see him in in situ, that's yes. where he's, he's on my demo piece. Isn't he lovely? Oh. I mean, not in a million years could you. Well, I said I couldn't pierce that out, or you know, no. How could you ever create that? <coughs> wonderful. I mean, um, yeah, because they are. You know, they're really delicate little, little yeah. pieces. Yeah, in my but I would just look like a shape. <laughs> also, what, can you imagine? You could have got, yes, yeah. And can you imagine if, you know, with the some of the little um, lockets that we've done? I mean, oh, he'd be so yeah. nice in that, wouldn't he? Hummingbirds are only about that big, aren't they? Yeah, little weeny thing. Tiny, beauty, tiny, yeah, tiny beautiful little, thing. little birds. Yeah, very beautiful. Um, amazing. And then you've got the gorgeous dragonfly. It's going to sell out again, Claire. Um, so, yeah, it's gorgeous. better if I bring the kits and then we can literally uh, leave you to it. Um, amazing freedom to fly oh. beautiful kits what if I, about if i've Stunning. never ever ever done any any form of of sil uh, silver work so what of, of soldering if if you didn't want to solder you perhaps um you you might struggle unless you're going to maybe rivet um, okay. but you could absolutely just just form the sheet around um 
uh, around a ring mandrel if that's what you wanted to do and just maybe overlap slightly um, so it would almost maybe perhaps be an extendable one um, or and then twi maybe twist it together using a wire there you go. so there are ways of creating big chunky but um, soldering isn't that intimidating when Claire no, says it, 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 it isn't it isn't it, you know it's a uh, you know and have a have a go yeah have a go at yeah it. absolutely again very close to uh, uh, actually sort of selling out um we've got one more kit to bring one more kit i don't want you to miss out on these and then of course any questions that you have for claire which we've got the, the the rest of well the rest of the show frankly um um to sort of go through sort of techniques and things like that um how many have i got left not them ross two oh right okay I'm, I, might as, I might as well move on. Um, okay, the last one. I really like the texture of this sheet. That's beautiful. It's wonderful, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful, this one. It's, um, yeah, so it's a, a really intricate. It's like a really beautiful lattice effect, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Oh, I love it. And so then nice. you've got, ah, in the garden. So you've got the little flutterby in flight, I need to point out. It's not just a flat flutterby. Mm. And you also have the sweetest little ladybird. Look at the detail. Even though these are tiny, you know, really delicate little pieces, none, there's no detail. They haven't, no, you know, scrimped on the detail, have not they? Not at all. There's your little butterfly as well in flight. Look how beautiful they are. Again, you've got your one millimetre wire. Um, you get a metre long length there. You've got your 925 sterling silver uh, Texas sheet, which is, by the way, seven by one and a half centimetres with that wonderful diamond effect. But as Claire said, you can probably make a, a couple of yes, pieces out of yeah, that. Yeah. Um, or certainly turn them into maybe little accents. Um, plus then you get your solderable accents, which are around about six millimetres in the size. How many do I have of this kit? Same 40 and it's sold out. Um, okay, Claire, okay, all so, eyes on you then, lovely. So I've, I've, I've popped the, um, so we've, we're really trying to line up the um, line of the piece. So the seam we're actually going to look at, I don't know if you can see from the front, um, if I move this out as well. So I, I'm not going to be able to see it as, as obviously as well because it's pointing at you. But what we're looking at, so basic soldering here, we want, the, we want our edges, um, the seams to uh, be butter, butting up to each other. So there's no gap in between so that, that ideally using the heat so the capillary um, action the heat from the torch that's going to bring that piece of solder coming up through that seam and then and then fill in between so what we need to make sure is that little piece of solder that's that's gone here that it's touching both sides of the um of the sheet so that when we put the heat on Ideally, it's going to run up um, both sides. So, and, and you might have to have a couple of goes at this. Um, uh, you don't want to sort of like overload it with solder, but you want to make sure that you've got a, a, a nice um, seam. So what sometimes I did, depending as well on how good my soldering was, how large the piece of solder, um, I do one side like this where it's going to run up. So if you see from the front, um, if you can see there, so it's, uh, and then I swapped, turned it over and then did the, did the reverse as well. So, you know, if, if you get it in one go, amazing, but that's not, you know, you, you get, a, you can have a couple of goes at it. So if we're watching this seam, so if I start, so we'll get, let's have a look. So I'm just going to try and get a bit of heat into it. And it might start bubbling up a bit and then I'll start to come round. Now remember, I can't actually see what you can see, so give me a shout. Hopefully I'll be able to see that it start to run up that seam. So I'm gonna get, start to get some heat in, coming in at the top. There we go, can you see it go? Do you see it go all the way up there? So let's have a look. Okay, so. Let's have a look. Let's pop that in here in the water. Okay. So what we're looking at now is, there we are. So if I just have a look at that, get some of the, let's dry this off. So what we want to make sure is that that has gone all the way up. So it looks like, if we look at the back, we're looking for that shinier effect there. 
So it looks like, I could probably have done it a little bit longer. I've got quite a concentrated part here, but it does look like if you follow that sort of that, sh that shiny bit, you can see it is sort of running up, running up here. So I'd probably, uh, if I was at home, I'd pop that in the pickle, have a look at it, um, and then we could try and clean it up a bit and then just see what that is. But you can see that it has actually run all the way up, even though we've got a concentrated amount there. So if we have a look, and we see here. So what we need to do now is I can already see, so I've got a little bit of a, a little lip there, a little ledge, so we need to sand that down. So you would prep all of this. Okay, mm -hmm. so then we're gonna make sure that we've got the round. And if you've got, um, you know, when we've had the, the ring stretcher tool, that's very, very useful um, here. Okay, so you're now looking. And I guess you're like uh, the, 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 the forming pliers as well, if you. Uh... Yes, yeah, yeah, to get that first curve. And you, yeah. and you saw, you know, when we had those, those pliers, how, how easy that worked. Okay, so we've got that section now. So we've created the um, sort of like the work with the, the sheet. Mm -hmm. So what then we want to do, so I'm just going to, if I move this over for a minute, so if I just pop that there. So if we look at the next part of the of the of the ring, so what we're going to do is I'll just pop the lid on there. You've then got your um, your twist your plain wire, which we're going to use the um, the wire twisting tool. So we've got two lots of the one mil, and then I've twisted it together. So I've got something that that looks like that. Okay, so you can see, so we, it's now going to, it's given us a bit more, bit more structure and we've got something like that. So then I'm going to start to make, so if we have a look how large this is going to go. So you would make your, your ring there. What we want to have is I tended to make mine, so it's about roughly about the same sort of size. Mm -hmm. um, and so you would do exactly the same as this. So, and we've made, I've made lots and lots of stacker rings uh, before. So, you know, you can have a look on, on YouTube for those demos. So remember, you're gonna um, go in and, and cut. Again, same principles as your soldering. You're looking for, you want a really, really neat edge, neat seam. So with something like that, take any excess <coughs> off. Do the same here. And you're gonna line these up. And this is where if you, if you feel more comfortable and you want to have that, um, so it's not in the, the ring shape, you might find it easier. <laughs> Sorry, that's me coming my chair forward. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. <laughs> so sorry. I was literally trying to scooch my chair in closer. Carry on. Nothing to so, see. So, nothing to see here. Um, you can see, so if you, although it's not in the ring shape, but we can form that afterwards, you might find it easier um, to have it as that straight edge first. So you do exactly the same there, and you see the same process, so you solder, which gives you something that's, that's like that. So you've got a complete ring there. So we've now got a complete ring here, a complete ring here. I would then take, as if I was doing um, a, a standard stacker ring, so once I've got a complete ring shank here, Again, you would go in and solder your element mm -hmm. onto, the, onto the ring and uh, uh, prep that. Then what we want to try and do, so if I move this over now, what we've got now are we've got the components we've got are the larger sheet yep. and we've got our, the, the stacker ring that is sort of, it's going to go, so if we look at something like that, so it's going to be about sort of this size. So what we want to do is we're going to, either if you've got the, um, the ring stretcher uh, and reducer, that, that works very well. You can just keep where it's just sort of like on the lever. I just want to try and get this so it's a little bit bigger. So actually, yes, yeah, sorry, I wouldn't have put the elephant um, on yet at this point, sorry. I raced ahead at the stage. So I'd size this and then put the elephant on after. So let's just check, you're just bringing that down. So like I say, a lot quicker if you've got that, that great tool. I love mine. So you keep going, turning it over, working it your way down the mandrel. And so what you're looking for is you're gonna keep doing that until you get, so it will fit in 
and it's just going to, and it will slide over yep. like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the new tool. Your new tool. New tool. Actually, it's new three tools. Okay, <clears throat> so let's have a look. So I've got the, um, I've got the vice. Oh, you're over there right now. there. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Like that. Yeah. So if we look at this bit. There you go. There. <clears throat> okay. So if I also move that out. So what you're looking at, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from the side as well, um, if I move some things out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got, I've got my vise here. So the part of the, um, I've popped, popped into the vise, this it, so it's going in and it's holding that, that nut there and I've tightened here. Okay, so. There are only okay. 10 left of the tool now. So if you've got it in your baskets, stock update, 10 left. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that off. I'm just wondering what, what stuff have I got behind me? Hopefully it's I think you're. Tidy. I think you're all right. Yeah, yeah you're okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take this off. Try not to drop it. There we are, that's gone in there. Okay, so let's start. And I did a mix of both. So let's see how it works with this one. We might use the larger, have a look. So we might have to use the, the longer one, we'll see. Okay, so that's in. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh. Um, let's see how this is going. So, let's go now and do that. Do you need to have a certain amount of strength, Claire, or is no, the tool do it for you? No, the tool does it. The tool does it for you. And silver is a really. It's actually, although you know, it's very. It's quite a soft metal. Um, so it's, you can already start to oh, see, yeah. can you see the, oh, sorry, the, the flare started to, that lip has started to form. So I'm going to turn it round. Nice. Let's pop it back on. And let's just do this back up. Okay, and I'm going to start. if it popped now and that would be my well, older join let's see how we're looking there yeah but you could always go back and resolder it can't you yeah yeah absolutely you can i think that's the thing with you know and, and you've got to expect sorry just tighten this up a bit you've got to expect um i think if you're making things that are um you know handmade like that mm. things like that happen uh quite a lot and they're often the best um, learning experience you can have because it's very rare that you'll make you know the same mistake over and over and over again so let's see how we're looking here so you remember before that slid yeah off slid off it's so not. now with that flare that means you've still got the movement around that central part yeah which is what you're looking for but then obviously this doesn't come off now, so that means you can. How awesome is about, that? Yeah, so it's entirely up to you whether you know. So if you want to add the two rings, oh, there we are. You you would put the two on and then flare out. Amazing, clear. That's so, so good, isn't it? awesome. Such such a good good tool, and you can see how easy that was. Yeah, that's just that. So lining up in your vise and tightening the the spanner, um, and then you know you've got the two different sorts then. Amazing, amazing. Now you there did say go. that you used <laughs> You did say that you used these as well, didn't you? Yes, yeah, I use it exactly like that. Are you flinging my um, three boards around. Again, you've got it's not just one one tool in here. So you know when we what you think what you you know you're thinking about, aren't you? That all of the um if you think about a ring, you, you you're wearing it, 
you want it to be super um, comfy, you don't want any sharp uh, bits inside. So when I talked about, you know, when I did that, that part of the, and I got that element of the little bit of the solder on the inside. Yeah. So if you're thinking about it, what you want is you want a tool that is going to help you uh, yeah, to take that off. Yeah. So if you've got the if you've got this tool and you've got all the different grades of the paper that are numbered, so if you when you take them off, if you look on the inside, so you've got sort of number number one is in in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So On you just inside. you just work your way. What down the numbers? Yeah, so what, numbers. so you sort of like go up up the numbers. So okay. if I pop that that on, so if I okay. have that in there, and then it's ah. going to work. Which would be quite tricky without with, without that it's kind very, of yeah, shape. really really difficult, really difficult. Um, so you get the wooden sort of mandrel effectively, and then you get the how many is it six different grades. Um, of paper, which I guess you could always replace as well. Yeah. So you can always replace yeah. that and shape it's it. It's a great little around. tool, isn't it? That that little bit in there. It's, really? And it's, it just, it's really, um, what's the word? Ergonomic. It's exactly, yeah. you know, it fits really nicely into, so you see I'm sort of holding it and supporting it, that, you know, that part of my um, palm and going in. Look at that. And I guess if and you, you so that's And you can see how it's for... starting to... Um, just take a little bit, and you can already see how it's starting to yeah. getting a nice, nice shine in there. Because what you're ideally trying to get is, so the the soldered seam was is in here. So you can see we're trying to get rid of any any sort of line. Um, Three ninety nine, Claire. Uh, wow, how fantastic is that? That's absolutely brilliant. How many do we have? And I, you know, I can't recommend these enough. These, these are exactly, it's exactly these ones that when I do workshops, this is what we yeah. use. They are so, so good. How many so do we have good. for us? So good. Okay. Um, and I guess this is going to work with your, with, your, with your copper as well? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, at that sort of price, what I would do is keep, keep is, is for doing them separately. So I would keep the sterling silver one, you know, for, for 3 99 so that you're not, you're not mixing and um, mixing your metals have it so that I've got one for my sterling silver and one for one for my copper. But it's just a lovely, isn't it? Don't you think it's, I, I just think it's a really, uh, it's a nice traditional solid. Tool. Oh, you can't be, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, um, yeah, something, there is something nostalgic about. Yeah, wooden, wooden definitely, tools. definitely, yeah. Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. I mean, what, we've literally had everything today, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. So good. Awesome. And I love so that demo. Love the tool, which is single figure quantities now, very close to selling out. People are multi buying on this. And I guess once the, the, the grain of the, uh, um, of the emery paper actually sort of runs down, you can always replace it, can't you? Just yeah, replace it, into it yeah. Cone shape. If you've got some flat, flat paper and then you, yeah. you can make your own, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mind you, at 3 99 just stock up, yes. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome, because you probably couldn't get the paper for that price. No. No, that's it's true. all done for you, isn't it? It's all done for you. Actually, sandpaper is quite expensive. That's a really good point. Make sure you chock it. Uh, you, you check out your chock out your basket. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've lost the ability to talk now. <laughs> uh, check out your baskets. We had two hundred, but they are flying out the door. Um, I think we got just about time, lovely Claire. Oh yes. Oh, and I think you should do it. Christmas Eve. Yeah. So op open the Christmas Eve box. Last one of the months. They've been amazing. And, and when I launched the Christmas Eve box, I said then that I think it's the best one we've ever yes, done. Yeah. I think you'd all uh, agree. If you don't want to know, look away now. We'll only be quick, but look away. It's the last one. If you're opening it tomorrow, I think you're going to love it. Now, Anne and Sue have made pieces out of theirs. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh. Is that what I think it is? Am I looking at white onyx? Am I? Donut. <gasps> white onyx, completely and utterly natural. How beautiful is that? Okay, right. I'm going to put it away just in case anybody that hasn't opened their jewelry, uh, their, their, their advent calendar. Amazing. Well done to everybody on their advent calendar. Um, absolutely awesome. I've loved today. I've really enjoyed oh, it. Oh, and me.
been Amazing. so it's much really fun. Nice I think we've had such a beautiful lineup. Congratulations to everybody from the deal of the day to Claire's kits in the nine o'clock hour to the masterclass kits just gone um, to uh, all the last of stock and brand new launches, Christmas Eve launches of your jade item. I mean, there's been just literally tons, too many to mention, hasn't it? Um, wow, 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 Claire. Happy Christmas, brother. Oh, Merry beautiful Christmas. beautiful girl. I love you very much. I love you. Oh, I hope you have Aww. a wonderful day tomorrow. Um, and you're coming back on Boxing Day. I am. I'll be back amazing. on Boxing Day. Yes, yes. Have a lovely day. Lovely day tomorrow, everybody. What's your day plans? Tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to see my parents and, yeah, with my babies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got the babies yeah, coming Yeah, I got the babies, got the yeah. babies. I should imagine my day will start very, very early as I have an extremely excited pair of girls Aww. at home. Um, yeah, Tiggy doesn't know what's going on as of yet. She just knows Santa. And whoever Santa is, he's awesome and he's yes. exciting and something is going down. Yes. Yeah, Aww. I know, I know. So, and Willow, yeah, could literally combust. She's that excited. Um, so have a wonderful Christmas, everybody. Yeah, and don't forget, you know, if, if you haven't any plans, you can always tune in to us here at Jewelry Maker because our amazing crew uh, will be here. And it is actually one of the busiest shows of the year. So please do tune in. We'll all be here as we always yeah, are every single day. day of the year. Um, you've got some amazing, amazing pieces launching tomorrow as well with Zena um, and Susie. Happy Christmas. And can I also just say from all of us here in the studio, thank you so much um, for your friendship and, uh, and tuning in um, on a regular basis. I hope you're all well. Enjoy uh, the rest of the festivities. I will see you just after uh, Christmas. Take care. Lots of love. See you soon.